a lot of teams get into a fight here. Another team that I want to see. You know what? Let, let, let's just speculate right now. <sighs> teams that I want to see fighting against each other. Alpha 7 and Nova. Just, just oh. give me that. First mm. game. You know what? Yes. That'd yeah. be amazing. How about you, Hajux? Which is your, uh, your, oh. your pair? You stole mine. You stole mine, honestly. That'd be great. Honestly, Jeez, I guys are we are live. Like, I just think that that's such a PMGO main event. Nova uh, China we'll going against all the global mm. teams. What? Which one do you want to see? Uh, challenge After each other here. Year, right off the bat. Can Nova still dominant the, the whole scene? Ones, so I'm gonna. Yo, good morning, guys. Over. Morning, Let's morning. Like good evening, good morning. Over. How are you guys? Oh. A7 IHC Falcons. Oh, and the heartbeat rate is here. <laughs> of course, the cream of course. Of the crop all like in I one didn't know the game. They would have started the whole show like Imagine before nine because I saw their scheduling. <laughs> the they start the live stream at nine. I thought they're gonna take thirty minutes to start the whole stream. So I set my stream like nine. I didn't expect that um it would start like you know before nine. So, I'm excited. 98, of course. Like, yeah, let's go. A lot of you are saying, like, where is Zute going? I guess Zute is waiting for us at the main event. Let's see. And also, as you guys requested, I got the Harvey Ray detector. I got it wear it on my wrist so that we can monitor my live Harvey Ray. Even though I'm not playing, I don't know why you guys want to see that. But anyway. How's the volume? Mic check 23. And how's the game volume? How's the live stream volume, guys? Welcome to the 2024 PMGO Brazil. Okay, we, I don't miss much, right? Did they do the interview on Parable or something? Did I miss that or something? Let's go. Oh! W cameraman. What did I see? What did I see, guys? I think they hired the PL cameraman here. They definitely... Okay, I don't wanna... HC 2023 champions. Where should I we go? Where do I belong? Champions and Nova I don't want to block their face. I don't want to block their legs. And like, where should I go? Guys. Uh, let's, let's do in the middle. Right here. Right here. Disputa na fase preliminar. Me, e hoje like, damos o pontapé inicial para descobrir quem será o grande campeão da PMGO. Be careful if I'm watching. Get this man out of the chat, guys. This alien guy is trolling me in the Discord server hard, hard. Get this guy out of my live stream, bro. Let's kick, kick alien, bro. Kick, kick alien right now. Oops. Okay. Os 16 melhores times do mundo. Estão reunidos aqui hoje, estão presentes, entre eles, os atuais campeões de 2023, IHC Esportes, S2G... About time they have female casters live on the main event, guys. Nova Esports. See, my heartbeat rate is okay. 90, bro. Only 90. W. Let's hit the W in the chat. Now we are live in Sao Paulo with only one goal in the next three days to crown the two I need the right champion. casters now, info in one minute, trophy. guys. All they want is a chance Can someone pin her not only Instagram Brazil, in my chat? Also to the whole world. <laughs> e aí, pra quem que vai a sua torcida? Let's go. <laughs> Brazil, let's go. Brazil Hoje W. É dia de começar Big W. A fazer história, família. Anissa, she we will Harvey. go beyond the top. Rise of the girl and appears on the screen. Nah, nah you're trolling. Huge venue here in Sao Paulo, here in Brazil. Bro, Vamos conhecer os 16 I could be there in the stadium. So let's start first with IHC Esports and Alpha 7 Esports. Bro, she said the way she said Alpha 7 is so gentle, bro. She could do. She literally could do some ASMR. Esports and S2G Esports. She found quick question right or left. I would go with the right, man. Zebra oh, the Monster left one. And Nova I would go with the left one. She found definitely in love. Team Falcons and G plus Kia. G plus Kia. Reject and Boom Esports. 
Why the stream is a little laggy? Is it me or? Death wolves and dragon and carry a bra. Wait, is that is that Dandy in the chat? Is that Dandy in the audience? Is it my stream a little bit laggy or like they're a little bit laggy? H -M -I -Y -S -E with the live. I Y S E Sports and Smoke Gaming. Your glider let you book tickets, man. It's sus. You are you guys are sus. Let's start the competition. Yo, Hare. Yeah, now we have the live Hare beat. Hare. We don't want top two. We don't want top three. On the live stream. We want to win the championship. We want to get to the They're lagging. Not me, right? Okay. Uh, at the PMG with Aura, her we came to win the PMGO okay. championship. <laughs> All right, drop your prediction for Nova Esports today. By the end of the day, guys, Nova Esports can they get top five by the end of the day? She found FT volume. I don't know. I was like, I'm going to get my own account. I'm not going to get my own yani çok destekleme Nova 5th top 3 Yo Chip welcome back Ailemden biri annem her zaman onun için çabalıyorum onun için şey yapıyorum uğraşıyorum Most dominant performances we have seen in years First, obviously, and Frank in the, in the chat. Yeah, I think she team quite interesting. They're all touching. So good. But what? How are you doing? Good. How are you, Sagar? Obliterating their opponents. IHC are your champion. Carrillo, the only one on full HP, but this guy can fight. This guy can brag. A ladder around the foothills. God damn. NHP could be there. At the PNG was out of her. One second, let me let me make a let me let me make a Instagram post. Where we make a post? And here we go. The first match of the PMGO Brazil Finals. We are headed into Sandhawk. Shiva has a Harvey right Seven now. 7WG. Yeah. Oh, the game started. Join me up let's on go. here as we get right, this first me. match started. I know you are so excited to see how this is all going to begin. This is a huge, huge game here. My question to you, brother. How many hot drops are we going to see off the rim? You took my question, man. That's what I was gonna ask you. I was wondering how many. I drop on Nova. We're gonna be DK? seeing here because if we go by anything that we oh, see, no. Oh, it seems like Dick is going. Dick is going, guys. Dick is uh, going. There's a lot of teams. Dick is challenging, but they, it, there's a lot more at stake oh, here. Oh, Dick versus Nova. As Let's we were go. the main event here of the PMGO. If you are gonna be DK hot versus dropping, Nova, this will be the only match to do it on. After this, don't even think about oh, it. Oh, it's, it's coming! It's coming, guys. DK versus Nova in Pinan. A team that has actually been quite strong. When it comes to San uh, from what we saw come on, come on. in the PMGO prelims, has been Vampire Esports. Vampire Esports has gotten two chicken dinners as we're already starting to see uh -oh. a fight here between Reject and Royals of War. Royals of War getting punished here as they already down nice two players, but they end up they do have to finish. It's been Vampire Esports. Vampire Esports has gotten two chicken dinners as we're already starting to see uh -oh. a fight here between Reject and Royals of War. Royals of War getting punished here as. Where, where's DK? Should the DK fight? Dreamy got knocked! They do have the finishing Dreamy got knocked in the back. Reject. You can see the Duelo over here on this corner. Trying to hold it down, but this is oh, so... Oh, long got one. Any loot at all. I don't even think one of the players has a has a weapon from Rules of War. Yeah, this is what happens. Well, just when whenever you get into a new lobby with new teams, you don't one really down know for what DK, One down for you know, Nova. Sometimes the teams do end up... Korea, Korea versus China. Media. But Which team will prevail? Things change. Do you kick out the revive? Want to test out their ego Nova right still not now, reviving. I mean, oh, Nova got the revive as well. Up losing a player. Luckily for them, they so it's four v four. Still in pine end. One, Nova from, player took some damage. From Royals of War, but HP. this needs to be careful because the third party, especially the 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 amount of third party that we've been seeing in Sandhawk in this PMGO, 
has been insane a bit of a slowdown here to this fight they're trying to figure out which way we're gonna be going and i love i love those player camps that we have right there because we're oh. gonna get just that pure emotion whenever it does something goes wrong oh. or something goes right and Wait guess what second. i was talking Here's about the third what? party they're starting Here's already vampire esports coming in that's what i was about to say i was like when you when you have a fight like this you got to get it finished as soon as possible especially at this stage because in sandhawk those third parties are going to come almost oh, yes, instantly so getting a knock from vampire is going to be tough but reject's going to push on in here kolgo holding it down with that m4 shuts them down and team reject are actually oh, going to be the first team Nova. out Japan, Japan, Japan. Korea versus what China. We're expecting out of you. Okay, I see China, Chinese side. They have their POV. They have Chinese POV. Global event here. We were talking about Nova it. You even heard Su I mean, say the, how the this team usually like takes struggle on at a global event and Nova. to lose to Rolls War out of everybody. But too, they don't that's like going to be a massive POV, shock for this team. But now we're going to be switching over to a different fight going on in Pinan, which is going to be none other than D plus N, a team that's a lot of people's favorite, Nova. Oh, this is going to be huge. But man, second, Reject the had all the advantage in the second, world there. But I think it was just down to the luck of the draw. They end up going against Rules of War. One of their players had an M4. Reject had a QBU, you know. And not to mention, you got Vampire shooting you in the back. Oh, that's so tough. And that's... I have trouble hearing them. Bro, the mic sucks. This is the one guy is by the wall or something. One guy in the warehouse. Can, can one of you help? I saw, I saw three. I saw three. Fairboy said, I saw three. Fairboy knock one. Nice. They're, they're they're smoking. They're about to re get a revive. I knock another one. Knock another one. So there's one more there. I knock the third one. I knock the third one. Easy knock for Pinan, bro. DK, get it out of here, bro. Nova fought this Pinan thing for like eight years. Jesus. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. Bro, what is DK doing? What is DK doing, bro? Do we stick to the Chinese POV or like do we go to which POV we're watching, guys? We're watching the China one or the like which POV we're watching? I'm confused, bro. What is DK doing, bro? Cross like that, jeez. Now, now to me. Okay, okay, okay. Now to me. Okay, let me let me switch. This is gonna fix a little bit. Um, I disable this. I open this and open this. G g give me a second, sir, to okay. gather myself after what I just saw there because my what goodness, is doing? That was seriously, so that those players got knocked and eliminated. D plus two. This is this is not like some some scrub team. Where they this like that one from South Korea? High expectations out. coming to the PMDL. If they want to fight, Nova they gotta fight. Makes it look so easy, man. So fluid. The angles they were able to get. You mentioned it too. They don't need any scopes. Ironside AKM, one of the hardest guns for everybody in the world to control. The hard drop is so free it's though. The hard drop is so free for Nova. This is why we are one of the best Free in the for world. a kill. Free for points Disgusting. at the start. Hashtag Nova strong for sure. I mean, how else could you want to start off? And that's what I'm saying is that first game is so huge. If you have a great, great start, the rest of the tournament just feels so much easier. But you know what's not going to be easy? Royals of War. Yeah, Royals of War already down two players. They have none other than Vampire Esports coming very close by. And I think Vampire Esports might. I wonder if they even know that this player is going to be here. A cold goat is going to be staying close by. That was a little bit deceiving there. They're going to be on the other side of the mountain. So they definitely don't know that this player is here. Cold goat could end up surprising them. But at this point, it's going to come down to what does he want to do, right? We saw a lot of teams, especially during the prelims, the, even though this is a completely different lineup, uh, focusing a little too much on the early fight. Uh -oh. Well, guess what? It's a little bit different now in high fives. They're going to be looking towards Nova. I don't know if this is a fight you want to take. I know you guys took the fight <laughs> earlier with Falcons oh. in the qualifying Yo, finals. Yo, high fives. Let's see. Let's see There's how good the fight high fives is. But hey, if you can actually 
eliminate Nova Esports here right off the bat. Boy, an even bigger confidence booster for a team that's already so yeah, confident I'll switch from what we saw in their interviews. If they're gonna fight, I'll switch accordingly. If that's how actually they strong they start off. Cold Goat actually gets the initial knock. I was surprised Rules of War even wanted to press this with only two people up, but he's gonna have to make it happen here as Vampire's coming in hot. A beautiful name oh, Vampire on Schweppes. Puts him down to one HP. Throw of Wars, oh, traded. Doing so two knocks on Vampire. So far in the back, he's not gonna be able to support his teammate. Oh man, that hurts right there because Royals of War, it looked like they were going to be able to get even more points. Tonka, as you mentioned, just too far away. And now Vampire Esports is going to be able to more than likely get a full reset here because Tonka is not going to be wanting to push this. Nusi is going to be very far away and I'm sure his teammates are going to be looking to make that rotation towards him and stop him from bleeding out. Overall though, Tony K there, I mean, a player that would be talking about the superstar for this team coming in clutch there for his team as he was able to get two eliminations vampire esports though a little bit scary that's what i was talking did about you, a little bit scary there. they weren't really you have the players here war. players were there they were a little bit too focused towards boot camp and team falcons anything can happen here in sand hot this is why now we like to get the madness out of the way this is why sand hot is one of the first matches bro, what that are, we what do end screen, up playing bro. as we do see end up seeing high fives it's not me it's not me it's not me very close to each other and it's not me esports might have been able to spot them yeah, let's see how that ends up working out here. Got to give a big shout out to that Royals of War player. The, the, the Mexicano is coming in hot. And I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful play. I mean, almost got the squad wipe by himself. But I mean, it's hard to be able to do a 1v4, especially against a team like Vampire. But to get that close, I'll give him some props. But that's why you need that whole squad up, especially in a, in a match like Sandhawk here. Nova now going to look to leave Pinon. We haven't really talked too much about the first circle. It's pretty dead center in the map. So nothing too surprising as we're going to see Vampire start heading up the hill, headed towards boot camp. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I think we're enjoying just the fight that we're getting very, very early on there. And it's going to come down to rotations. I mean, we already saw some of the other teams rotated, right? With Vampire Esports, remember where they ended up dropping. They ended up dropping in ruins. They ended up third party in the fight. They're super early on between rejects and Royals of War. I gotta and say, now, this high fight team is early smart. rotations. This might end up setting them up to take a fight here with Nova if they end up being spotted in Nova. Deciding not to take any vehicles as there weren't any nearby. And now, what's wrong <laughs> they, with the quality? I, this is what I think because they were bad. hoping to do right from the get go. This is why reason. they got a little not bit, uh, a little bit surprised there, but even not to take any vehicles as there weren't any the nearby. And now, <laughs> This is what I think they were hoping to do right from the get-go. This is why they got a little bit, yeah, uh, mean, a little 40, bit surprised there by Rolls of War because Vampire mm. Esports was looking to take that boot camp from the get-go, like, hot dukes. One thing I don't yes, understand is that, to get that how come the Chinese one, the PL, here, has such next Ruya go up much more, much clearer POV. And they're going to be battling it out there. As the high fives are going to be losing one player in that process. Like Much better than the you YouTube quality, to be really honest. Really heading towards that central position. That's something that Sir Tanny, the coach of Vampire Esports, was talking about, is how much they needed to go central quicker than later. But we got a big battle coming up here at the bottom, oh. Seven. We do next have Ruya, a big battle coming up. It's going to be none other than the next Ruya versus... S2G, actually. Wow. Okay. For a second there, I was a little bit Wait, confused why? on which team it was going to be. But now we have high fives as well. Very close by. And high fives finding themselves not in a good spot. Oh. They ended up getting two players eliminated. One more player is going to end up getting knocked. And that's going to be a tough one because they know exactly next Ruya where they're at. Frozen, the team. A player that has had a lot of hype in the past, fight. but we I'm never really got a chance to, to see it showcase at a if global event. Fighting? I'll I want to see what he's going to be capable of. I want to see switch. if today, this year is going to be Guys, his make year sure for like and subscribe. for him to show up. We have 700 viewers in the all those amazing chat. Let's make it like 500 likes. We look at the Let's elimination go. feed. Everything's going on. Falcons getting into fights with Vampire Esports. Alpha 7 being able to get some knocks as well. Madness is going to start happening, and it's going to start happening soon, Haju. I am so glad I am not one of the observers in a tournament like this because every single fight is so insane. Guys, There's so today is a busy day. Today is a busy day. I don't think here. I can do push ups. You can see two have to teams pretty close to each other as well. Both and oh, that Team Falcons time. vampire fight is ever so interesting because, you know, Team Falcons, they like to drop boot camp. So they look back and they're like, hey, who's over there at our house? It's none other than Vampire Esports. And I was talking about it earlier, right? Sir Tanny was talking about how how much he stresses playing central circle Yo, thank you, in Vinny. big tournament. Nova, Nova, Nova. Really well thank you for the super chat. In the Let's prelims. Go. And so far, it doesn't seem oh, to be Oh, high five versus next Ruya. Here, we're going to look at none other than next Ruya. Yeah, going up against high fives with the DBS action. Oh! What's going to happen? It's going to be Monkey going down. So that is the qualifying team eliminated early.
Yeah, you can talk as much as you want on in those interviews, but when it comes down to it, you gotta show up. It is only the first match, though, so we'll have to wait and see what's gonna happen there with high fives. But next, we are being able to come out on top there with four eliminations so far already for them. Bro, we saw them earlier. I'm looking at the leaderboard here. I mean, <laughs> seven. Some surprises there for me. I was not expecting Row to have three LMs and only one player standing after this time. Seven. I'm just gonna remind you. Remember that interview we saw during the prelims with yep. uh, well, I think it was Monkey, right, from High Fives. He said, out of all the teams he was worried about, he said he wasn't worried about Alpha Seven. Remember that? Yep. They're not even gonna get a chance to see Alpha. <laughs> Too much bias? <laughs> yeah, they're not careful. Honestly, at this point, like we told them, like, it's going to be a hobby level right? as soon as nah, they get my cousin's here to this stage, and right. I think they already got a good little taste of it. But there's still a lot of matches left to go. Anything could happen. But knowing, you know, Carrillo, you know, we, know, we met this guy right, in person. Mine. You know, these guys don't take to that kind of talk very lightly. So we'll see how that plays later on. But meanwhile, Zebra uh, watching Master, two, watching two streams looking at that, some nice shots onto Smoke Gaming. I don't pay attention to Nova and pay attention to the global stream at the same time in paradise resort and you can see now they're starting to get those angles it's going to really be up to miyaki here holding this choke point it is going to be up to miyaki and i don't think he's going to be able to pick up his down teammate there as zebra masters is currently yeah, being able to set themselves up trying time. to find those off well, angles too but they don't want to overextend too much they don't want to get a little bit carried away because we do end up seeing SDG Nobody's there on the zone horizon now. And that's a team that could end up third partying you. And we saw what happened early with Vampire Esports. We've seen what happens with this type of third parties. They're just going to keep raining down on this fight. And at some Which point, you're going to back away for? from this fight. And you're going to actually start for... focusing up a little bit more on this circle. Because it, it just kept tougher and, and tougher to get into this circle towards Oof. the end in Sandhawk. Yeah, especially in Sandhawk. I mean, this zone moves so quickly. So you definitely want to be as central as possible. If you're playing edge, you're hoping you get that hard shift of the zone straight to you as Death Wolves are just going back and forth. And let's see how this ends up playing out. Actually, they do end up eliminating this team. Oh, no, not yet. Here they go. Here they go. Death Wolves down to one player. Got to be careful. Regnum Karya coming in hot, and that's going to do it. That is going to do it. Luckily Yo. for Dead Wolves. I mean, they were able to knock one player. They're going to make it. Uh, actually, they were able to knock two players there from Regnum Kari. They're going to make it a little Team bit harder bra. for them when they do Still. end up making this rotation. And the crazy part is we're seeing him being able wipe. to pick up his Four teammate. Kills. And then on the horizon, guess what? Guess who's going to be winning for you? None other than Team Falcons. I mean, this bro, look at the is remaining absolutely teams, bro. stacked. Nova, you see players there from Mox Smoke Gaming and Super Master Empire, Steel, taking on fights. We have Boom Zebra, Esports and Nova Alpha Esports 7, very XC, close by. Look and see if they can maybe geez. get into a fight as well as so Smoke Gaming out. ends up getting eliminated. There goes that fight between them and Zebra Masters. Good to see Zebra Masters was able to win it with just only with only losing one member so that's good to see as they're now going to be able to focus a little bit more on that final circle now s2g looking to see how they're going to be approaching this fight because they could end up gatekeeping some of the players from zebra masters well here comes the toxicity of sandhawk here this is stage four a minute on the clock as this thing starts closing down here comes zebra the Master. shotgun action the pop shotty oh switches that gun oh gets the knock you got it done there for zebra oh, master what a clutch. keeping it alive and that's against none other than s2g ceo ceo later needs to see you later done. to that name oh, right there oh that does tap them up pretty good and they're gonna start retreating after that one ray z looking to do something similar here as all oh, another this team is, is crazy this is impossible all to the catch teams all are the action up. and the crazy part too the knock from uh, zebra masters they weren't even able to confirm it on an elimination it was actually two falcons that ended the up stealing stage. it and now oh, stg is gonna be taking on two different fights regnum karya they're gonna be able to knock two no players as regnum karya was trying to make that push on them one player still gonna be alive stg looking to finish clearing the players from zebra masters and it's gonna be none other than bitinho as he's gonna be the last player standing very low hp he's getting shot from the back he's getting shot from the front it is gonna be a tough scenario here for him oh, oh, as he gets grenade and gets him back to the lobby and now s2g gonna try to focus a little bit more on regnum karia but the off angle from the player of regnum karia being able to come up in a big big way as raised from s2g gonna be gonna knock, knock, i think he's gonna way, end up getting eliminated jukes they're fighting boom they're break of the knock. over the place here let's see what silas can do on the though. boom player silas gonna be throwing that nade downtown the zone is starting to close though you don't want to be inside of this circle they do have that edge so they're able to creep in it's just really against them versus s2g here all the you the revive? start getting thrown out here come the dbs's as well that bro, why, why boom esports is like backing out they literally have like the perfect with the gatekeep control control. on the circle 
CEO later is going to be able to spot Boom, that player there. Silas, this is going to be a bit of a bittersweet moment there for him. As Silas is going to end up oh getting knocked God, guys. This by is, his previous this is teammate, insane. by his former team. Still one player alive here from Regnum Karia. They could make it even harder for S2G. It is going to be a 1v1 in oh, the crazy part is that everybody else boy. is just waiting to see what's going to happen with this fight. Waiting to see if they can maybe find some angles. As we haven't even gotten a chance to see Top. And he's already at three eliminations. No with That's six how kills much already. of a fight oh. they've been getting into. And we did not even get a, get a chance to see them. As they end up getting eliminated, Team Falcons. But they end up with the massive, massive seven okay. eliminations. Switching, switching, oh, guys. Speaking of massive, here comes Nova with five eliminations to their name. Looking to add some more as they're starting to press up against Boom. And they have every single player. Can I get smoke? No, 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 don't revive, don't revive, don't revive. We should spread more to the heal side. That's Alpha 7, that's Alpha 7. He's on, he's on top of the hill, he's on top of the hill. The guy's on top of the hill. They, it's all Alpha 7 players. Once to our right, once in front of us. Order said, let's crush, crush, crush my red marker. Let's see if this works for Nova. Oh, they're crushing on NR. NR is a two man, bro. That's, if this, if this some, if somehow they put it off. No, but Jimmy, like, Alpha 7 can't have the full... Alpha 7 has a full line of sight on Nova now. Paraboy said, be careful, be careful, don't get knocked by the, your all angles. Be careful, they may be a solo guy, like, on your back. He's nading, he's nading. Help, cover them, cover them, Drumi, Drumi. Cover them, cover them. Oh, what a nade from Revo. The double nade landed on Nova. Can he, can he possibly get the revive? Can you, can you come? Can you come? We can be revived. Dreamy said, Dreamy said, wait, let me smoke up. No, they're done. They're done. Nobody's done. Let's switch to global POV. Wait. Oh. 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 Long's one HP though. Long wants to survive. Help long, help long, help long, help long, help long. He knocked the order again. Gario got knocked, though. Revo. Nice. So, on, to on top of you guys are Alpha of a 7, and uh, uh, there's a another team in the compound. Three teams. Paraboy said it just um, prone and like slowly prone and go to your zone. Be careful, be careful the compound. They may step out the compound and knock you guys. Oh, this could be good for Nova. And now versus Alpha 7. Mafio Dreamy got knocked by Mafioso. Order is the last one alive. The PMGC Grand Final MVP. 
There's him, there's him. One guy, knocked. Over oh, something, they're fighting, they're fighting now. Oh, order. One me three? No. I think it's very hard. It's gonna be hard. Oh, nice one, nice one. They got tw second place. Get knocked there by Alpha That's Seven. Good. Alpha Seven with a great push here and oh. taking care of Nick Struya and Nova Esports at the same time. This is the Alpha Seven that we want to see. This is the Alpha Seven the Brazilian crowd has been waiting for. Can they actually clutch it up? Can they finish off on this great star, Hot Jukes? Alpha Seven not even letting up for a second. They know they have the advantage of this circle. They're looking to get it done here as they take out Nick Struya. One more player left. And now we'll see Alpha 7 win the first Yo, chicken that's faster? dinner of BMW Nova Brazil. Nova is faster, guys. Let's see how they do it. And it's done. Order is out of Nova there. Nova is faster. It's the hometown champs winning it. And what more could you ask for here? The crowd is going for First chicken to Alpha 7? That's what we wanted to see out of Alpha 7. Everybody that didn't wake up in time in Brazil to make it to the venue are going to be know that heartbroken that they didn't get to see their this hometown is heroes this get is that in Brazil, first chicken though, dinner. This but is actually great, in Brazil. Great place, man. Great, great position by this team. And this is a team that we have always known they are about Grimmie doesn't that have momentum. global experience. They are about how they're able to start and they're they're able to carry it through. And they couldn't have asked for anything better. And they didn't do it just with any teams, Hot Jukes. They Shifan were able to manage a fight there with Nexruya. They were able to I mean, manage a fight with Nova Brazil, as well and so S2G. I assume there are going to be a lot star. of like Brazil, Absolutely Brazil amazing fans. star by it's Alpha normal. 70 Esports. I mean, we talk about pressure. Same seven, like, right? Having, there is no team if you that has more you know, pressure like on their backs than Alpha the, Seven. They have the, the highest. The, 90, X the 80 percent of their the female audience will just cheer Everybody for the Everybody in the crowd has the Alpha teams, Seven right? in their hearts, and they started. Unless you look so like Justin Bieber, strong. like Tixie. I mean, even though they okay? have the position, then that's when the Chinese girls will cheer. Actually, cheer for you. Some if Alpha you don't look like Tixie, if you don't like Justin Bieber, bro, not a chance, no shot. From start to finish. Alpha 7 was on top of that mountain and they were saying, this is Brazil. <laughs> That's exactly what they ended up saying to all these teams. Look at them. The excitement. They're going to be so happy, man. A little bit of pressure. <laughs> Carrillo is like so light work, like, guys. Carrillo is like Come light work. In. Easy. Tell easy. us, what were you thinking during all this madness of Sandhawk? I mean, name a better trio, right? Alpha 7 and Sandhawk. Plus the fact that they're in the hometown of Brazil. I mean, with those three factors combined, they're winning that for sure. The first game, of course, they're going like to win. Like for real, like, I will know yeah, that Justin Bieber. Like if you look like Justin Bieber, Bieber, that's when the ninety percent or eighty percent of the I think Chinese female knows. audience will probably cheer for. I think he knows you. job's not done yet. They've been job's here before. Yep. Yeah, he he's he's the player that is caught in so close so Imagine many H times. Imagine Alpha Seven you know, choking you know, the you know, whole tournament now. Let's see, let's see, we'll see, we'll see. Mm, and you know well, why he's he locked in too? Like because you know what the team he had to finish in order to win that game? It was Nova, you know? And they do not want to lose a championship in their hometown to this He's does they guys think? Yes, it is. In that end game, and they know they got a lot of eliminations. Makes them think that, yeah, we beat you this time, but we're going to have to definitely work <clears> a lot harder here for the rest of this tournament. Otherwise, they're going to be in big trouble. Not only that, too, it was a, it was a great... Bro, what happened to Zutai, bro? Nova because Nova was looking strong. I mean, we saw what they were able to do to D-plus right off the bat. We what happened to Zutai? We see much of what Alpha 7 was doing into those early matches because there were just so many fights going on all over the place. Overall... It looks like Zutai's girlfriend really drained all of Zutai's right energy, now. bro. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Zutai's energy got drained by his girlfriend. Back, baby, and it's back with a statement with all this global. <laughs> so he's smoking here, weed, fighting it out for the prize pool for for just that trophy that we saw there at the beginning too. Man, I can, honestly I couldn't have asked for a much much better start there. But I am hearing that we're gonna be getting an interview here shortly, so I can't wait to see which one out of Alpha 7 we're going to be interview we'll have to wait and see for that overall then man wow what 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 a performance she might want to hard on your screen right now all Seriously. i keep saying is wow that's my hard Harvey I was Ray. about to say, I was like, I don't think you could have scripted this better. Come on, right? I mean, PMGO, you got teams qualifying, doing all this work to get here. The hometown hero come, win the first match, going against one of the most legendary orgs ever. I will say, it was pretty scary, though, to see seven eliminations. Guys, so what do we do now? I'm very confused. Guess what? 
like four of those were from Paraboy, and three were from do Paraboy i switch Day. do i do i sw yeah, still I switch to the, the nova pov once they got in the fight <laughs> of Damwon, right and of course Paraboy. Bro, I swear, they're they're they're, they're like a they're 1440p is very laggy, and there's no difference between the yeah, 1440p the and the 1080p for the uh, for this team. <laughs> of Damwon, right? And of course, Paraboy opens it up because he's a long range specialist. Order with the quick follow up, and it's just between them two, they they dismantled the team. The other two teammates didn't really have to do anything. And another thing that I would love to mention about Nova is we're seeing the resilience out of Nova. They survived for so long. Look at this highlight. They were stuck down there on the low ground for so long and they still got a revive and managed a second place finish. Oops, sorry guys. E o primeiro chicken dinner nas mãos da Alpha 7. Já tenho aqui comigo o jogador Alpha Carrilho. Seven. Parabéns por essa primeira vitória. E eu já quero entender qual que era a maior expectativa de vocês aqui pro dia de hoje. Bom, bom dia a todos. Acho que a maior expectativa nossa era ganhar a primeira queda, começar bem. Acho que todo time pensa assim. É muito importante para os três dias a equipe pontuar bem. E nós conseguimos essa vitória e... Cho, she finds 75 is normal, Ray, or why your, yours is 80, 90? Because I just finished the gym, maybe that's why? Because I'm so excited and burning my calories and stuff? Not because of him watching the female caster stuff. Guys, calm down, calm down. Well, I think it's the constancy, né? The Alpha 7. We are a very constant team. We always enter very focused in the championship. And I hope that the PMGL is different. Ainda mais aqui no Brasil, jogando frente à nossa torcida. Espero que a gente possa ir bem mais uma vez. Falando em torcida, veio uma galera. Wait, what placement did Falcon? Did the Falcon finish at? What placement? Nah, Shivan bro. Bro, Shivan sells resting heart rate is too high. É muito importante essa torcida e esse carinho dele. Pô, tem palavras. É tipo assim, quando a gente tá sentado e a gente olha pra frente, tem... Várias pessoas torcendo por nós. Isso é gratificante. E agora, expectativa para a próxima partida? Manda aí. A expectativa é a melhor possível, né? A gente espera fazer uma boa queda, pelo menos pontuar bastante. A gente sabe que é muito Wait, difícil. Wait, did he just say the... Quedas. Did, did the Carreo just say the P-word? Mas a gente vai dar o nosso melhor e vai tentar conquistar de novo. Did the Carreo call some team pussy? Passam muito barulho What? para Carrilho, jogador da <laughs> Alpha 7. Did he just say the P word, guys? What? Qual que é o seu palpite pro próximo chicken dinner? Yes. That that's exactly what I wanted to hear from Carrillo. I agree with absolutely everything he said. Let me see what he's trying to do. What that man Nah, China China has no interviews, bro. We don't watch we don't watch we don't switch into the Chinese POV. I know what he said. I'll tell you exactly what he said. Between breaks. My name is Mr. Brazil. Between games, between matches. You know, and I am staying true to my name. And and uh, I'm going to destroy everybody. Nova, the old news. Old news, right? We're in my hometown, and I'm going to get it done. Damn, after the female exactly caster came, he... Oh, look at who's the MAP! <laughs> order, order, order. With the four eliminations, 669 damage, Sute. Is that Shivan's Harvey? Yep, yep, yep. Nice I got a Harvey rate. Right. Right now, on the live order, and I mean, of course, you can't have a, you know a first game. Bro, what happened? What happened to yeah. order, man? So with a seven, without a little bit of an upset, right? Which is order getting the MVP. This is yeah. this is the F F team photo, guys. F team photo. Right you guys already mentioned it. You couldn't have asked for a better first game. I think all the storylines just from that very first match are already being. Yeah, I'm starting to get Shifan, my let's push up Shifan. into play. <laughs> for, you know what? This for, shot's right order here. MVP. Okay, I don't want to go back to being speechless, but the way that this team was able to take care of this spot with Paraboy being able to get those angles, you could even see it right here. Quick little shots, takes care of it, and then they start moving on to the next position. I, I can take a... Uh, I'll do the push-up on right the here. final I'm standing, okay? If Nova's first place by the end of the day, I'll do 16 push-ups. They were able to manage that. Because it could and if they're dead last, I do zero. Like you know, you like you go from there. What do you this think? This is just craziness, honestly. Casting these games, 
is ridiculous. I'm so glad I'm from Texas because, like, towards the end of that game seven, I felt like an auctioneer. You know what I'm saying? We're like, uh, here comes Alvin 7. No, 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 no. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Fight after fight after fight, especially right here in this location. You told us you could push up for no really kills. held it down well for a good while. Not to mention, I mean, you got to give a big shout out to Regnum Karya. This is a tough push. Do you guys really want me to do push up for every kill Nova got? For Nova get? Like, do you guys really want me to do push ups? Plays, but a good effort from them regardless. You're saying auctioneer. I'm over here thinking, I'm so glad I watch uh, soccer or football, whatever it is that you want to call it in Spanish when I was a kid, because boy, it teach me how to narrate quickly and how to <laughs> hold that breath. Because right here, I was running out of breath. I'm glad I got you as backup, though. Overall, man. Yo, Ford, you do every day 80 push ups, bro. Show your we're muscles, bro. You gotta so show, show us your muscles, please. I kind of want to start thinking ahead, bro. What happened to the quality? This is what you get. This is what we got. Maybe I'm thinking maybe the Twitch one's better. Is Twitch one better, guys? Is Twitch one better? Let me check. We've seen it in the past. Let me see if the Twitch one is better. One. A top five quality sus. With minimum five or seven eliminations. Yeah, I would like to as well, but I will say, right, to start off this strong 18 total points is going to give them that breathing room, right, Zute? Just in case they do get that bad circle or or bad game, this will give them that opportunity to kind of relax. I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking if the... Make that comeback strong, because at the end of the day, we saw the prize pool, Zoo, right? It's really yeah. about those top three positions. And all the money in Portuguese, he said the... The rest is a participation. Your sound is low? Mm-hmm. And we just is saw my sound low? I feel like my sound is okay. It looks about to be correct, except Ooh. the fact that IHC... Etienne, Nova, start of strong, 14 kills? Honestly, DK is not ready for the hard drop. It's just like Why? How, what in the hell DK hard drop Nova, bro? Like, yeah, something that I got a chance to see there on that first page, too, that I didn't get a chance to see during the match ranking was uh, Team Falcons and Vampire yes. Esports. Even though they didn't get those places, yes, we have Zute today, they're still able to salvage their game by being able to put up a great amount of eliminations. And I feel like that's some of the other top teams uh, that are going to be challenging I think for that championship need to end up doing if you do Twitch end up having a bad match in regards to placement points. But they're just one placement point quality? or zero placement points. They need to back it up with eliminations. They Guys, need check this. Check this out. Check and this. The good thing is check that some of those Twitch teams are quality. able to get that within that short span of time. I mean, that's why I love working with you, Seven, because you literally read my mind as you were looking at. You this one better, guys? You this one better? This is from Twitch. I think this is also faster. Twitch better? We use Twitch then. We use Twitch. You got to win with a tough, a ton of eliminations. Team Falcons. I'm just gonna turn off the. Even though they were gonna have a mulligan, if they were gonna have an off game, the first match, I say each team. All these teams get one match per day, and why not just make a Sandhawk? Because now, if you can get in a roll here, we are gonna be suited. We're gonna be playing like the live stream, really guys, <laughs> for the better quality. Yeah, like the live stream, bro. That, you know, Let's make it a 500 likes. Stick to Twitch, okay? We'll switch. We'll, we'll, we'll stick to Twitch. My sound is so low. For real, Mike Test 23. Is my sound low, guys? They all did well minus IHC in my opinion. That was it. So Zute is drained, bro. Really show, yeah. You know, even in the craziness of Sandhawk, <coughs> there's strategy, there's skill, there's consistency behind everything. And it's come to, it's gonna come down to what kind of circle we are gonna end up getting here in Erangel. As boys, we are getting ready here for the first Erangel of the PMGO Brazil 2024 main event. Let's get it going. Yeah, Nova baby. POV is actually faster, guys. So I'm I'll be watching two. I will be watching two streams at the same time. Of the year so far. And uh, nice southern plane path. If there Zuka are you know actions on Nova POV, I will switch two. to <gasps> match number two. Aaron Gill, the tried and oh. true, as we all know and love. And we have Nova is actually fighting our W right now. Side. Not going up north much at all, and we saw you know a few hot drops. Out on Sandhawk, usually we don't see that on Erangel, but with a plane path like this, we might see some contention here. Yeah, it's totally possible. I mean, we talked about hot better? drops in Strong the last sound? match. We saw a couple for sure. I wonder if we're going to see some here it's in this it's match. Slightly because, better, I, think. I mean, it's slightly if you're going to try to avoid hot drops, I think you're definitely going to want to avoid them in a map where you're going to be playing the most PUBG Mobile in, right? And that's going to be here in Erangel. <laughs> three today. And three in the rest okay. of the days as well. So Let, let's just you watch. Be able let's to put just up watch. Most of your points here now. Let's just watch. Yeah, 
as we see the teams jumping out of the plane. Doesn't look like too many teams are landing too close to each other. I of literally just said they're fighting, guys. I didn't explore anything. Uh, quite a few teams dropping for vehicles there. And just as I say that, we do have rejects in a hot drop once uh -oh. again. They start off really rough on Sandhawk. Let's see if they can turn things around. We see pistols. Oh, coming slow in. gaming. Sorrow with that shot. They were like slow hand. gaming. We they were pretty stubborn with the smoke, with the with this freaking compound. AK Where's the fourth player from region? Like we'll play the PMP America so against gone. them. Like so they, they were like, nah, the we're not giving up the compound. Drop. Now they're gonna have to make it happen. Smoke happens to oh. have some really good weapons Rejack. here, but you can see. Oh, Sorrow there oh. with a pump shotgun shuts down the AK. That's gonna be huge. It's up to Miyaki. Yaki in a 1v2 oh, no. situation. Oh, he's got his the pistol. Maybe running back for a gun here. And yeah, got he it. drops him that AK. That's smart. He does not have time for this revive. 2v1. Make that 3v1 as Take they the get the revive through. Miyaki, this is going to be a tough one for him. I don't think he's got what it takes. He switches around the other side. Mm. His teammate does get thirsted. HP's, HP bars are low, though, for the side of no, Reject. But Miyaki already, is even no, lower. Their POV is already over. That is it. They didn't show the fights either. They didn't show the fights in their POV. That's why I'm not, I wasn't switching. Box for good measure. That's a quick four points. No, yeah, Long used the knife area? and knock one player, oh, and Nova get the full the reset. So Long actually has one like one kill so far. Match started off, so they're gonna come in here, not messing around. No, Nova is so knife fight, guys. Trust me, trust me, trust me. If Nova if Nova is in fight and they're showing the POV, I will switch for sure. Without a doubt, there, right? It's just sometimes that it can be a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, they got those four points. They're losing one player. After the match, please watch this power gaming game, game player. No, we're not going to watch any players so in the stream them, because you know, kind of flip that aggression uh, switch I think on and off as needed. It's fun. Yeah. <gasps> one thing Falcon action got thirsty by high five. About the Japan region in particular is that I feel like a lot of the top teams in Japan really have. A lot of strong players that are really mechanically focused. I'm talking like close range, quick scopes, quick lean peaks, all of that stuff. So when it comes to close range, individual gun power, Reject definitely has it. It didn't play out too well in Sandhawk. We did see that long range third party though. That might have slowed down the Reject's teams there. But this time around, no third party to be had. And they win that fight pretty convincingly, only losing one player. And Nova... Yeah. It's such a risk though with these hot drops. No hard drop. Going down with so little. We were saying you know, that oh, we got to kind of really hope in your angle, but they weren't. That you get the right weapon, and we did see yeah. uh, Smoke Gaming end up with a couple AKs. That's the gun you want to have at the start. Falcons will play sure. average One today. Headshot, come back no tomorrow. Moment, that's instant knock. So you think Lone Scar should be um, replaced? I mean, no. Like, like, no, there's nobody. That pump shotgun there's proving like, to be will stick with Lone superior in that for the whole PMG. Shotguns nowadays is pretty much meta, even if it's not that DBS. Players have really learned. Bro, this looks like a potato graphics. This is literally the best you can possibly well, yeah, find on YouTube. They did lose one player. They might be looking to oh, lose another as top. top. Last year's MVP. Wow, hi-fi. Definitely not gonna be. Did some homework. It's actually a uh, hi-fi. Hi-fi did some you homework. Know, they've got some bad blood, and with the way they came in hot and <laughs> just. After taking out top, ejecting right out of that, ooh, I don't think Falcon's gonna be too happy about that. One. That's for sure. Now let's see what happens here. Is Divine? This is the final BMG, guys. Uh, team reject just not letting up off the gas. Nice. Beautiful oh. nade to start oh. things off. Oh, if you got that knock, that would have been huge. Divine got thirsted. Him very separated from his team. Here comes the rest of the squad now, full committing on boom. Now it's a one v one. Who's gonna win it? Sara behind the car on the low ground, quick peeks, gets the confirmation on one, has no the pan in hand. No he's low what? tossing low some heads. I, I mean, I, I'm talking about mechanics here. He's pressing so many things at once, you don't know his next move, and maybe that's the plan. If you don't know what you're doing, the opponent definitely doesn't. Sara's still up. First aid coming through. Yo, W, w camera man. Eight points potentially w here. Camera, if he can win this 1v1, it's a cat and mouse nice. game. And Sara yeah. does get it done. They have eight That's kills? Mechanics right there. Bro. Eight points already. They have eight points? points? Who's that? Rejects picking up all the Elim points early on. Oh my gosh, dude. What the confidence. The confidence from Sara right there in that situation. To throw the pan on the ground. And you know why he did that, Tute? Why is that? Actually, he switched to meds. Oh. Yeah. No, but He's I saying, think I won't be needing this. I think he baited it out though, <laughs> and he said, "You know why? Let me cook. Let uh -huh. me cook." Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
he said, watch this. Let me cook. Let me grill this player up real quick, uh, you know? And that's exactly what he did. Asian he came down to that 1v1. He clutched it up. And, man, like you mentioned, eight eliminations. That's the thing is that uh, in a tournament like this, right, there's, there's obviously so many different ways that you can play it, right? You can either play it hyper-aggressive or you can play it hyper-passive. The days of hyper-passive have gone, right? I think in order to win a tournament like this, you got to have it like a light switch off and on at the right times you know but reject man these guys like put some tape on that aggressive switch i mean so far at the start of this tournament yeah it it, it got flipped on and it just she was harvey in the last circle go, fight man. less than 100 we, she was harvey with the hard doors on the screen you more than 100 bro no Is way okay? bro no way usually that's and eh, that's okay but could be better honestly eight points losing two players that's pretty good because when you're yep. down to three, you don't really expect to pick up another four. Oh, the fact that they did pick up another one, player got, I think one high five player got taken down. Them. If they were to go out now, it would be not too bad, in my opinion. I agree. I agree. Right? That's good points on the board, regardless. If you were, they were to go out right now, they wouldn't be the like only really team too in Japan frustrated no about it. Game. But I think now it's just about trying to stay alive, try to get like maybe a couple placement points to help you out for sure. Meanwhile, next Ria, right next to Death Wolves, but oh, he put that. That Only if Yami's playing work, boom best player sick. That Yo, thank you for the super chat, Kekora. You know I'm gonna take off. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, taking off immediately. And oh, I think oh, come down, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I think it might be because uh, they're smelling something else out. They're smelling some vampires close by. I don't know if there was audio confirmation that there could be a team, so they're grouping up for a potential fight. But next, Ria Wolf shooting off some shots right there. No lucky hits. And we're only in stage one. Stage two has not even happened yet. And we have two teams already eliminated and out. All thanks to rejects, of course. And we have... Are they still the trying team to catch two Falcon players? players? Ooh, high four, high Falcons. five? Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be tough. <coughs> only one elimination in this game. So they started off match one, remember, with seven eliminations, no placement points. Now they're down to two, so not the greatest start for Team Falcons, but if any team can bounce back, it's definitely them. Let's take a look at where this zone's going to go, Center though. Up. We're going to get yep. some of that PMGO toxicity. Now, it's going to be nice, and, no, uh, nice and easy here to start things off in Erangel. It's a pretty standard shift, but this zone does throw in a lot of question marks. Of course, you have Pachinki taking a majority of that. Then you have the open fields east of Pachinki, and then you get the high grounds. Potato Hill right east of that. So really dynamic territory coming into play here as next Ruya oh. does get a player knocked, and it is to the side of Death Wolves. And Death Ooh. Wolves DW aggressive. Wolf pack right now circling around. Looking DW for aggressive. Oh, nice oh, shot. It's going to be frozen right there. Busted out of the buggy and instantly confirmed. Beautiful play from Death Wolves, man. I really like the way this team plays. I mean, once they start working together, they their synergy, oh, their the synergy is pretty would ridiculous, them all. especially considering that this is their Next first is time playing in an event like this. Death Wolves really staying true to their name, just circling around like a wolf pack here. Now uh -oh. they have Next Ruya completely enclosed. Next Ruya did get that uh, revive, so it is a 4v3 situation, but of course positioning Superiority goes to Death Wolves and they find another opening with Yo, that he does, nade. He's playing this perfect. He needs to be very careful here. That nade's gonna hurt. You can just see the look on his face. Just wow. Off that. Yep, and that's gonna perfect be the knock. Now the, qu now the question, right? What's Death stronger? Wolf. Death Wolves or the Z-Wolf? And he's the last player up for next career. And they're frozen. Next Nova frozen? Nah, Actually, it's not. They just use the same name. That's it. Death Wolves, they're gonna try and hunt him down. He stays quiet enough. They may just let him go. Death Wolf is, of course, on the edge of zone, so they're not in too much of a rush to rotate or take up a strong position more center. They might just leave him instead, though, and Z-Wolf will be left back here as the lone wolf. Well, that's right. You know, as you can see there, he's got the PPB zone. And uh, with just Wait, that have weapon, the, uh, the old saying goes, right? No bark, no bite. Taking a look at the mini-map. Let's see what's going on with the other team's position here. So Falcons do get the center of zone, but they are a two-man. They are at a decent compound to hold. We have a D plus right to their east on top of Potato Hill. We've got Nova to the west of Pachinki. And we do have Zebra Masters holding down the east side of Pachinki. A great position to be in. You get the option of, you know, having the fields within your sight lines, within your control. And if the circle does go into Pachinki, you're the first team to pick a priority spot inside Pachinki 
zone some. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if the zone's going to stay centering up or we're going to get a crazy shift. That's going to be what I'm looking towards. Meanwhile, you got Nova rocking a 2-2 split here. What do you think about that? Uh, it, the, the only team I feel like that could rock these, you know, kind of big splits at this day and age, and I say at this day and age because, Jukes, you've said it many times. Oh, Nova is auto zone again. Meta has progressed, splits have become harder and harder to hold teams. Have How much percentage does a player get from cards pull for Nova? Player gets 50%. Gets so I think if any team can do a 2-2 split, a Y-2-2, it would be Nova as the circle does go east here towards the side of Potato Hill. Yeah, I think maybe they were holding that split just to see where the zone went. And if it went on, you know, to favor either of those directions, you would have seen them leave and join up together because that's a very difficult split to hold for a long time. Uh, but the zone completely leaves their direction. So they're going to have to take off here. And that's exactly what they do. But at the end of the day, Zute, this is their hometown, right? This particular area, they know like the back of their hand. So I'm going to be interested yep. to see how they rotate into this one. Yeah, Nova does have a split drop in farm and around. Seems Gatsby. like Hi-Fi is having troubles to clear the last Falcons. two remaining players of Team Falcon. Uh -oh. Why is like this again in the stream? It is Hi-Fi's. I don't know if they will be able to confirm the point, though, as we do see Ragnum Karia actually taking those points away. Yes, they are. Magnum Karia Bros trying to put some work over the high fives. Even though he has better yes. quality, but it's somehow you the ass to, uh, will sometimes pop out. Throw a little Molotov on there, light Rob's on fire, but yeah, Rob's in his position. He's not getting res no matter what. It's going to be really up to just that lead is monkey. Yeah, last player up for this team. I see, got another not to try and make something finish. happen, but uh, yeah, he's in big trouble. Yeah, monkey's just got to hope uh, no more nades come his way and circle high five is not able to hold the lead Maybe against falcon one placement point i do think uh top eight gets one placement point so still quite a long ways to go for uh especially with 14 official stream is Ooh, good the youtube one here. you sure and he's got four nades might be able to get a knock and a thirst but it'll be tough gonna be tough indeed yeah he's pretty much done for right here you're gonna have to be really 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 careful I just switched because, it from a youtube stream I mean, he was talking people some stuff this, about this, hey this you know what teams I mean, i'm focusing on teams i'm not worried about one of the teams he said i'm not worried about is out the seven Ray, could you confirm and they won match the, you, one like the with official stream points. is good and they're still in this one with four players up and looking to kind of have a good performance as well so we'll see what monkey can do meanwhile uh oh in the feed rolls of war getting into it with vampire yeah, that's on the west side of uh, Pachinki Hill as we are now tuning into the fight. Royals of War down to a two-man in a very tough spot. Vampires have him circled in. Another nade right there. Tony K gets a one for two special. That's a knock and a thirst confirmation. Can Vampire get stoned back up, though? That would be the best outcome for them. Go back to that full four-man. Royals of War down to one. Blue Zone closing in. He's really gonna look to play spoiler, of course. In the blue zone, I can't switch to the Alpha 17, in, guys. They already the fought that. I, think that I missed the I missed right the POV because out. it's way faster. Man. The Nova POV is way faster than the official stream. That's the, this Nova fighting this Alpha 7 literally happened like two minutes ago. The confirmation there, but they do lose stone in the process. And I was gonna say oh. Nova and Alpha 7 are shaping up for a fight in the north. This is a huge fight once again against the two titans here of this lobby. They went at it in the last match right towards the end. And now they're going it early here in match number two. Alpha 7 in the blue zone needing to leave. Ooh, they they got to. It's only 28 seconds left on the clock. And Nova, three people got knocked. Perba got finished. Para boys going to go down into the play zone. This is 2-0. Really Alpha 7 versus now Nova, 2-0 so far. From the inside, starting to put in some work on Nova. Oh, it's down to their last player. I want to see D plus Kia here really make a big play, which is to gatekeep Alpha 7. They have the whole north side to themselves. They have the edge zone within their reach. I mean, if they just... No, they only left the solo. So there's no point in the switching to the Chinese view. High ground in play for them. So we'll see how this works out for D plus here as Alpha 7 is now going to be leaving. They picked apart Nova. Nova just down to the one player of Dream. It's over. Dream YG don't know how strong the resilience of Nova is here. We're down to a solo. We'll see if he can somehow make a miracle rotation in here as he is going to try and rotate it. Yeah, he's got to hurry up, though, because this zone is really starting to close. Once it ticks down and we get into fifth circle, 
blue zone just starts chunking. So he needs to leave as fast as he possibly can. You can see his health bar just constantly healing. And uh, yeah, that heal strategy does not work oh, anymore. Didn't get any sure. Team Falcons yeah. are going to hold down the Wizard Tower the with the their zone. last remaining two players. So they're really hoping the zone stays on them because if they have to leave there, yeah, it's going to be tough to get out. Big rotation out of Falcons too. They were on the east side of those cars. Vampire fighting HC. So definitely picking a better position, an easier to defend the position with just two players. You don't want to take those houses as two because full squads will be looking their way. And it is pretty centered. Maybe Falcons will get another zone. IHC on the south side of Pachinki right here. IHC do have four players up, so IHC still have a lot of firepower left to work with for the rest of this match. And everyone's pretty much settled in. Alpha 7 actually sweeps all the way down south and found a little It's literally the same quality, guys. Next to Death Wolf. I just checked. Mm, okay, yeah, all the way down south. So they wrapped really, really hard. We're able to find that location. Tough one for qualifying to the next, next round. There's no, the there's so no next round. Dream this is the final. Down, this so is a grand is final. Gonna be Nova out early. Alpha seven. This is a grand final. Able to get away from I should that put that in the title. One player. And in zones like this, sometimes you gotta have to make that sacrifice to pay the toll, as some would say. And that's exactly what they did. Now, one team in particular, you talked about earlier Zute, right, was IHC. The previous PMGC champions didn't have game one or the game one that they were really looking for. But so far, one elimination, all four players up and not in a bad spot. Yeah, definitely not. Very workable from that position. They oh, are on the edge of I just zone. got better. Oh, that's 2G versus DK. Which is, oh, the circle ship? Oh, yeah. Oh, fill the oh, zone. See that now. Yeah, that is Falcon still. Nice. The in the tower, now, Vampire with a split. Has got to Vampire has three Alpha people seven. already. They did come out on top over Nova, you only have three but people? I Alpha 7 don't have any elimination points, so I don't think they got any of those points. Oh, this, this zone is going to be hard for Alpha 7. Let's see how way. Alpha 7 entered the zone. Here comes Death Wolf. going to try to make that hard push. They're going to go ahead and get to it's that gonna compound. It's going to be hard for Master. And they're going to have to push up right here. This area of Pachinki is very interesting because you have that sloping hill right there. There's still that pipe in between those two roads that's still open. But there's so many players completely, you know, guarding these ridge lines. There's just no way to get there without having to make some sacrifices. So the timing is going to have to be impeccable from these teams of the East. They're going to have to time it Bro, perfectly. Bro, PL have no PL. And you don't want to be the first but one in. Because like if you're two going in first, you're going to get shot at stream. for sure. But if you're able to kind of go ahead and time it right, you can get there second, third, catch a nice little third party, sneak in and get some eliminations. Definitely. It's all about timing here when it comes to the late game. And... You got to time that chaos coming in here as S2G, they do go in early. This spot is very vulnerable, but if they can weather the storm for the first couple of uh, seconds here, Vampire may just give up on trying to take this team out. Luckily for the side of S2G, Vampire are only down, or they only have three members, so their pressure is not as strong as they would like. Nades do rain in, but S2G are still surviving for now. Yeah, one does get nade though. Like I was saying, that is kind of a pretty vulnerable spot. I wonder if they were going to try to get to that pipe position. Alpha so Seven, far, very patient. Now, meanwhile, you got none other than the Zebra Every, Master. Alpha Seven still to waiting. Work onto D plus. Let's see nice how Alpha Seven rotate this. And then here comes some Rotate more around. nades. Ooh, and they're starting to get punished. D plus is position. Got him. This is not a good spot to be in, and I think they moved in too early. You were talking about earlier. You don't want to be the first team to move in. Well, Here they comes moved a push. In right in between Zebra Masters and the team on the east that did manage to get one of those knocks, which would be the reject team. 1v1 close oh. range here. Here's he Alpha 7's chance. Top. No boo. Gets Alpha 7 finally the catches the chance. We'll go for the point confirmation. Zebra one knock Master, down Zebra Master. A bit of a slip up there. You had four players up. You didn't have to go down there to finish off the last player here out of uh, D plus and that is I think one of those things that it just comes down to experience mm -hmm. Zebra Masters got a little bit too antsy and it could be just I mean a call out one that play right there just reminds me of so many times when you call out as an IGL oh, oh. they got the knock push and you push by yourself and the rest of the team isn't behind you you know any little miscommunication could prove disastrous so now Zebra Masters gonna have to do it down a player meanwhile uh oh we got the rejects against Alpha 7 here Alpha 7 with another player knocked. No eliminations to their name, but they have this edge. Great, Nobody behind wrong, them. Internet? This is really where they work best, but let's see where this zone goes. Yeah, Alpha 7 right now.
playing it slow, really using every little hillside to their advantage, and they do have the circle within hand here, and we do see a potential third party out of here from Death Wolves, and it actually might be Alpha 7 looking to third party this fight, as Death Wolves run in here, and do find the opening, and now Zebra Masters, still zero kills for Alpha 7, Zebra Masters. even though they got into the zone, fell apart, and now with, with the, the new circle, Death Wolves holding the prime position, Looks like Alpha 7 will be trying to take this position away from them next. Perfect finish there from Death Wolves. They finished that fight right on time. So now they can just RC focus on their kills? backs, make sure they're clear. Yeah. And they have perfect timing to be able to gatekeep Alpha 7. If they waited a little bit too long and that fight took a little while longer, Alpha 7 would have came and third party them easily. So now we can see Death Wolves. This is exactly what they need to do here. Apply that pressure. Let Blue Zone do the there work. We go. And start throwing all the nades you have. You can see Alpha 7 saying, Oh, I got to get out of here. They start taking Reroll. off. One of their players does to try to find a different position. It's very risky. No. But now he leaves the rest of his squad in the dust. As Agrella's going to try to be able to make it to Carrillo safe. Will he be able to get away? No, he doesn't. Yeah, Death Wolves looking really good out here. Their positioning, their timing, their decision making, all on point. And I love how they took that RC fight. RC 10 two kills? Seven, rather, rather than just stand Death Wolves have the eight zone. and they have a full and squad? They had an opportunity. They had an advantage to take the fight to the outside of the zone. And that is exactly what they did after they cleared off their sides, too. So Death Wolves looking really good. One thing I like about what you said was that he's still alive. You could tell, like, you know, at this stage, you have to be like one brain, one unit. You have to be decisive and you have to work so fast together. And that's what we see from Death Wolves, right? When as soon as they smell a little bit of blood, they are out there making sure they get those eliminations and they get them taken out quick, efficiently. Yeah. And because of that, that's why we see them with eight eliminations, not a single player lost. Yeah, we saw them do the exact same thing earlier against Nexria in the early game. That isolated 4v4, it was all Bro, IHC you know, in the Wolves World of Champs? That the last place? Right Falcons really holding down that Hyper Tower still. They're down to and Hyper one. Didn't IC can get revived. IHC forced to make their excursion out of Pachinki now since it this is team no is longer. This team is unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah. Very unpredictable. You give this any, you give a blue zone to any of these teams, they can like really, really like pop out with like ten plus chicken, ten plus kills chicken. The pipes and the dip they were in earlier. Yeah, I see you're going to be trying to press that. The reason why that pipe's so good is because if you just stay in there, like we see, it's really difficult to knock them. You can if you get a nice, well-placed nade or if you get angled out from Tony K. But you can, you can survive quite a while Very if patient. you're able to hold it down. Oh. And you can see right there, Schweppes you know, getting the knock on IHC. That's Kristen. why was it's so good. Say, it very patient push from, from that position behind. Team Falcons, though, they made that bet on that wizard tower, and it's really paying off because that zone has not moved from them. S2G. I see got finished. Really Stay still. Holding it down. A lot of crossfire support from the other members of S2G and Vampire too. On top oh. Of the hill. Now Vampire maybe realizing they full sending? Is a little bit split Vampire's up. full sending. In, Tony K in the front. Angles. Tony K up oh. close. And the run over the distraction from behind. I was going to say, you can't keep your eyes on just one player for too long. But S2G still hold it down. Oh, nice nade. Oh. And the nade comes in. The nade comes. Two -two oh, what a nade from Newsy. By the likes of IHC and Vampire working in unison, but Vampire what a push. two players up looking to get a reset. But IHC still got will out. be the winners of that three-way engagement. IHC really bringing it back in game number two. Man, we're having all the big names popping off right off the rip in this tournament. Definitely not disappointing, that's for sure. We got Regnum Karia there. With all four players up, six eliminations. This could be that wild card team that could really put in that work. Silas, previously with S2G, really leading the charge here. And meanwhile, you got Team Falcons just holding on there on that edge. Where are the Death Wolves? Oh, here they are. They're on the hill. The zone is not really in their favor. They're going to have to stand out in the open. So you can see them in their vehicles. They know they're going to have to take a fight here soon. Bro, I, I literally played the exact zone in PMPO and oh, wait, I think. The new circle popped? It does oh. go to them. They are in the open, but there is a tree and there is some, you know, elevated hill, some little divots that they can work with. But the main thing is, Regnum Karia have to make the next big move. And I think everyone's going to be focused on them. So Death Wolves looking good here in this last 
couple of zones. That zone, it's really hard to tell if it, Bro, if they have enough settings. cover. If they're barely there behind no the hill and they have coverage up there, they're going to win this. this match. I mean, that is such a great position to be in. This but is if they're literally stuck out the best quality the get. Things could definitely get scary. They're going to they have some vehicles so they should be able to blow them up and create like a little bit of a car wall. I think that's what we're seeing doing. Yeah, I think this zone's going to be very very tight. But Death Wolves are going to have to be careful. If the Falcon, zone goes north, though, down to Death two Wolves player. know that they're toes. So you can see them. Oh, here comes the push. I actually see versus and Death, Death Wolf. Free. That is so huge. Uh, completely for free. SIO does get the opening, and he's got that nade and DBS in hand. Zong in the front. Pressure with the DBS. Once the pressure is applied, SIO will feel comfortable enough with that nade. It's cooking. It's cooking. Nice. He's going to cook. He does. Oh. Godless got another. there. Godless from distance. Cooking that one up and just... On, um, I mean, right on time. Ragnar will take their <clears throat> position up on the hill and look to close this out. It is a three-way fight now. Oh, look at Bra. Be able to get these nades off, and they can't. Now they are. Bro, I feel like I'm watching PEL now. And I, I think a global team effort, fight, like, but this one's gonna be so tough. Silas, look at him. Already cut up. I feel like I'm watching PEL. Eliminations, and they're gonna. Nice work, Team Bra. Ragnar Karia stacking up the points. Here we go. It's Ragnar Karia versus IHC. Four situation. Godless about to get knocked. Get he toast. really needs to stay alive there if they want a chance. And Silas. one player just can't run. It's over. And he's driving him off into oh. the distance. It's just a hold down to Zio and Regnum have this in the back. Yes, they do. They've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And what a game. Just punched their chicken dinner. Nice. Just like that. Regnum Karia brought 13 eliminations. Nice, That's how you get it done. Team Bra, let's go. Big win. Big win right there. That's a Ragnar. very nice play. And Silas really stepping up there, leading the team. <clears throat> and that's a huge chicken dinner for them. We saw a lot of top names towards that end game, too. So High five throwing. They're still only getting heated. Starting to get heated up. They did, oh like, have, gosh, they did so have, like, beautiful. they did took out that's a few Falcon plays at the beginning. Not to win though. that game for them, especially considering that circle. Their timing was so perfect. When they decided to take those fights, you can see them just holding that little tree line. I mean, they hardly have any cover, but they really just executed this so well. Then they decided to go for that split, and just, boom, one by one, they take IHC apart. But seven, we finally see a little bit of life here from IHC. What do you think about that? I'm happy with what I saw there from my C being able to kind of team up with Vampire Esports, take the fight there against SGG, and afterwards the teams able to are doing Vampire great so far Esports as well. But overall, Regnum Karia, man, 13 eliminations, the way they were able to finish off that fight too. So much stuff happening as well. We saw fights between Alpha 7, we saw fights between them and Nova. Unluckily for Alpha 7, all those knocks that they did end up getting into the Nova players, they were not able to confirm on their side for eliminations but this is more what we wanted to see now we can start seeing how some of these teams are going to start playing this pmgo as we said before sandhawk is usually a little bit of madness now we get a bigger picture here of what could happen in this pmgo you know what could happen zute non-stop hot drops from reject what do you think about that <laughs> no. I mean, reject. <laughs> The second time is the charm, not just the second, the third as well. Because right after they are they charging that, while playing? They yes, they are. Three v four against another team. Yeah. Right afterwards, and I love how I was, you know, telling you after that first hot drop that they had, I was saying, you know, Rejects in Japan, it's a region it's like that's actually game. known yeah. for their individual fragging power, close range, their mechanics. And right after I said that, we saw the individual players pop off. I think it was Divine first, and that one v three, he manages to stall. And get a knock, allowing the two other players to come in. And Sara, I mean, he was cooking. He's he even called going to the bathroom. Take out that pan, toss it out like I'm gonna cook you right here. And that is exactly what he did. I I love that fight, man. I right? please stop hot dropping. <laughs> to answer your question, <laughs> we don't want to see any more hot drops, right? We don't want to see another Enigma Galaxy during prelims where they ended up somewhere along the lines. Wait, what was it? Four hot drops? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to see that here in a minute. Not never too soon. You gotta call them out whenever they end up doing dumb <laughs> things like that. <laughs> yeah, it broke my right, heart Jukes? because yeah, they 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 hamstringed themselves. I mean, we I think we could have seen them here for sure if they decided not to really put in so much work on D Xavier. But yeah, re team rejects. I want to see them get into at least one end game because if they don't do it sooner than later, yep. they're gonna have a lot of trouble in the rest of this tournament because we're gonna see what happened to those two squads when you just hot drop constantly. Man, it's hard to get out of that mindset and back to the game. You have to adapt. Yeah, and how about some of the uh, deja vu that we got there for a bit? How we saw Team Falcons going up against High Fives again, and yeah. High Fives getting the better of that. 
as two players ended up getting uh, pretty much eliminated. <laughs> Are we going to continue to see that? I don't know, man. I don't know. High Fives does not seem scared of Team Falcons uh, we, as we are going to be going into an interview here with Regnum Karia. That finished here in 2024 PMGO Brazil in the first day. And we are, I'm here with Silas from Regnum Karia Brass so we can talk a little bit about this last map. First, I want to ask him how, how, how is, this, is he feeling in this first day of tournament? We have a crowd here, and the Brazilian crowd is very known for it being like so crowded and so loud. And I know that the Turkish one has the same thing. So how I'm do you back at the right time. Let's go. Here in the arena. Wait, do you guys want to watch the Twitch one or the YouTube one? The YouTube one has a little bit worse quality, but like it doesn't have ads. But like the Twitch one will have this annoying Amazon ads popping out at the bottom. I'm feeling normal. Uh, I don't feel so much. And about the country, about Brazil, you've been here for a while now. How have you been feeling about the country? What have you done already? Uh, what, he, what have you done in Brazil already? Because Was it like being a pro? A is it stressful? So is it fun? Is it, it worth it? It's not worth it. It's fun and stressful. Let me see. <laughs> Poor Chinese audience, they can't even see the interview, bro. Uh, Brazil is so hot and people are so warm. They can't so even see the interview. You. Rip. A Rip to the Chinese audience, like map. watching China. Now they can't even watch Ragnar the Karibra interviews. Our, our, as our second winner in our second match here in our first day of 2024 PMGO Brazil. Let's go. We come back soon and see you soon. Great interview there from Silas as we did get guys, a chance where's... to hear a little bit of, a, of his Portuguese you guys with that did your He's going to be what? happy. He's going to be saying thank you for all those eliminations what's her, what's her that they ended up getting with Instagram, those 23 bro? points. That was with those 14 and you guys were talking about the wake up call there from IHC and Love we did some Pokemon Pokemon tactics. 10 eliminations. I mean, 10 eliminations the hard way, 7, right? With hardly any loot at all. These Nova guys are all aggression. Points. Like I Got said, you know, that is, that's good. I mean, yeah, 10 points. I would not be mad at that at all, right? Chinese audience the only see the POV of Nova players. Yeah. Top three, you're not going to be able to do it with just eliminations. You need both, right? You got to be able to do a game like Regnum Karia just did. You know, 10 placement points, 13 eliminations, 23 is going to be huge. How many days in the final game? So uh, three days. Hopefully we can see Team Rejects just kind of like they... Take a little bit of a break. Get to one at least at least one end game is what I want to see. All right, let's do. Like, like, starting from the next game, yeah. one, kill, on one, one kill, one kill, Novaka. If there's ever an advocate for just one kill, one push elimination up. points, if it's gonna be that high, it oh. would be me. But I'm with you, Hotchix. If they do want to end up winning this, they're gonna definitely find that they have to find a happy marriage there between those eliminations and those placement points. Like this was the fight right here. Fire? Such a uh, fight between themselves. And Smoke tutorials. Gaming and Smoke Gaming was just caught with their pants oh. down. And this is the deja vu that I was getting here. And I'm so glad you guys mentioned it too because Team Falcons losing those players there to high fives. Quite a big doing? surprise. But then they got a little bit of a of a revenge there towards the end. Yeah, they did. Don't jinx it. She fun. crazy watching that straight up. I mean, I'm doing push-up. At the start. That was pretty wild. You know, hopefully we can... See teams, you know, kind of calm it down a little bit here and get some place for because Regnum Karia, when they got promise this position, promise. they didn't leave. Nova to total eliminations, right you post your Shifan push up. Like one exactly kill, yeah. One kill, one kill, one push up. It's yeah, the same thing. That. We saw also fights right Shifan, here. Did you find her Insta? No, I was waiting for you guys. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you guys. You guys. And then the crazy part when it comes to the research, you guys did the best. You guys, you know. After that push, they opened themselves up you to guys just kind of learn it from the school the Alpha hard way. You guys it was like, just a lot of great timing from certain teams. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if we'll actually get a chance to see it, but Alpha 7 ended up getting uh, just great timing on them by Death Wolves. And Death Wolves was just able to, as Zute was saying, push out of a great position that they were and take the five to them. Yeah, a lot of just timings as Regnum Karya, yep. right? With the best timing of all into the late game. Taking Death Wolf's position from the high ground, third partying that fight, and then closing it out onto IHC. And I think at the very tippy top of, you know, the PUBG mobile competitive caliber, it just comes down to the timing and recognizing when it's your time to make the move, the mm -hmm. aggressive play. 
Yeah, you know what? Speaking oh, of that silence. timing, yeah, that's so silent, so good. Speaking of that timing, you know, uh, that push from Zebra Masters and Neil Zada there. No, that just looked like just a new team and some miscommunication. I hope they learned from that quick, because when I see a play Vampire's like that, good. it's either one, right? They called for a push and the rest of the team didn't come with, or he saw the opportunity, didn't call out that he was pushing, <coughs> and went up by himself and got eliminated. But hey, great game from that team. And man, Regnum Karia, look at them on the leaderboards. Yeah, with that win right there, they're going to end up pushing up to 31 points. Alpha 7 being able to collect some points there in the last match, but not to the consistency that we wanted to see. They did end up pushing there to the second place. Swing and Nova, Nova last, was another man. team that didn't end up having one of the best matches there as we saw them fighting with Alpha 7. And I think it was D plus here, correct me if I'm mistaken, that yeah, it was. pretty much took some of those eliminations from Alpha 7. D plus Kia was on that high ground and, you know, nabbed a couple points away and then... Only two points, though, as that is what I think DK have, will stop hot dropping like Nova and Pine in on tomorrow. The le leaderboards. IHC do bump themselves up a little bit, you know, after a disastrous start on Sandhawk, only getting one point. And a lot of teams you can see here are dropping down after having back to back rough games. Yeah, rough games for Smoke Gaming. D plus as well. I don't think we were expecting D plus to be here. Another team that I sure as heck was not expecting to be down there. What's going to be Boom Esports? Boom Esports currently just sitting with four points there where you heard us hyping them up, what they've been able to do. Prize so pool? Far, uh, just the first place will get 100k. The 100K yeah, they're USD. not. Uh, I mean, it, it's kind of tough. There's only been two matches so far, right? So I'll, I'll yep. give them the hot juice excuse card up to this one, right? I'll, I'll give them the first game because it was Sandhawk. I'll give them the first Aaron Gale. That's it. The card's been punched. No more excuses after this. You kind of, now you know where everyone's dropping. You're very secure, uh, have a good understanding of where everyone else is at. You got to be able to bounce back here in game number three. Yeah, and I'm so happy that we didn't get to see insane amount of hot drops. This is more of what Even we were used to. This is day, more bro, of I what wish. we wanted bet, to see. I wish I could as Next Three Boys is starting to get ready for the second match of Erangel. If I can get, if I can get a hundred hit per day yeah, by doing watch yeah. parties, bro, go I'm it, gonna baby. watch party Here every single go. PUBG mobile, mobile tournament match from day to the night, bro. Three. Zute, let's get it. As we start seeing this plane path, um, another little southern plane path, but this time coming from the east to the west. Yeah, a little bit better than that first one. The first plane path was just hard south and it just cut south. Didn't really hit start off, you know, in the middle here on the north side like we do see now. So we, we'll probably see, I mean, farm rejects again mm -hmm. potentially i mean they might just be you know contesting that spot straight up we saw it happen before in pachinki with uh, d xavier and enigma galaxy so it could be another hot drop potential of course rejects you know winning two fights back to back might scare the other team off here so we'll see very soon if there is going to be a, another hot drop guys uh, don't, path don't just don't start definitely fight, better bro. than the first one uh we saw in the previous match Yes, sir, indeed. So let's see what happens. Oh, I think they're there? dropping on each other. Oh, here they we are. go. Yep. Another hot drop. As we oh get my God. started I here. I told you guys, like, three, Smoke Gaming will, will like never it let it go. Let's smoke see, Gaming is a team that they won the comp. They're like, not comp out. The they lost it. They lost the whole tournament. I mean, I think that's as They will never let it go. You drop in. Like, we fought. I fought. I fought with Smoke Gaming so many times. Doesn't Even before they renamed themselves as a smoke gaming. We'll see if uh, what comes to fruition here as on the north side actually as to Oh this is this zone's good for Nova. Getting into this zone is very good for Nova. I think that's vampire. Oh. No, that vampire's all the way down southwest. Oh that's right. Yeah. Which team is that? Small little window we see here. Hmm. Can't make it out quite yet. Is that? Oh, it is. It is. Hot drop. It it is. Hot drop. All right. So they're going in Yasna. Now the one thing I like about this team is their ability to adapt. Right. You can see them going to different drop Does locations. Does 90 FPS lacking with streaming? To make things work. It yeah, on what so far it hasn't. You know. But at the same time, this is their first time competing at a zone? lobby of this caliber. I think it's both so, IHC uh, I and mean, Nova Zone. They definitely don't have anything to lose and everything to gain. So. Uh, even if they don't end up on top of this tournament, the experience alone is going to be huge as we watch Team Reject having to bust out some pistols here against Smoke Gaming, and they're going to go ahead and clean up that first elimination. Yep. Quick 
point for them once again. Hi-Fi getting a return knock right there in the elimination. <laughs> against S2G and getting the confirmation. So high five against S2G in that northeast is now a 3v3 situation. I don't think we'll see much more happen as you can see right here. Quite a lot of ground to cover. Quite a lot of you know buildings to clear. Both teams should be looking to just disengage this. This is not a clear cut fight from here on out. Alpha mm. 7 making their rotation already into probably just the north side of the zone to continue looting. Alpha 7 did drop Lakovka uh, very early as that's where their plane path started. So looking to get more loot and positioning at the same time. We do have a very western circle coming out here. Yes, we do. By the way, folks, we do know that this team name Smoke is... Smoke getting reject? I-Y-S, but for convenience, we're going to call them High Five. That's going to be their little nickname here for PMGO. We'll see how they end up as they do lose one and you can see them rocking that split mm. i gotta ask you a question too in the history of you you know playing this game casting it have we ever seen a team win first place uh that hot drop that hot drops every match in erangel i don't think we've seen a team that hot drops every match in erangel period <laughs> yeah that's true. Uh, that that you know has Qualify to the finals anyway. Like Yala's so, audience, bro, is crying inside. Same as the Shifan, bro. Shifan's really audience crying inside. Uh, so, rejects. I mean, if they What are these guys on your place, screen? It's, because it's I'm be watching first, it from Twitch. Uh, because you guys different. said. Different. A lot Twitch of different better things quality for, for the side of rejects. I for don't the live stream? Get first. So, I'm using Twitch to, like, uh, to watch. Even if they stop top dropping, party. you know, no shade on rejects. They are a team. I think YouTube is slightly worse. But, I mean, but like today's live, live stream quality is already like bad. The likes of so, Nova, Alpha yeah. Seven, Vampire, Fa like there's just too many you mm. know, star-studded teams here to get a, a easy you know first place potential over. Yeah, I don't even count on Regnum Karia with how they started. That I mean, too. Guys, yeah. yeah, you got Silas leading the way. He's been to the big show. He knows what it takes. So that's a big factor as well. I think in order to win a tournament like this, you because ev everybody can just shoot. Right, we know everyone's got that. Yeah, right in sound. Please stop spamming that. Right Otherwise, I have to. T I the have to time is, you out. Just, how can Don't you you're literally brain hate squad, to either right? like order or Jonathan, handle pressure? whoever you support. How does your team support? handle you know changing strategies on the fly? Because that's what you really have to do against a lobby like this, right? <clears throat> you you have to see the meta because it could change very easily in just a couple of matches, and you have to adjust accordingly. And you know teams like Nova are so good at doing it. Right, they're so Alpha Seven as well are so good at adapting on the fly. You know, saying, "Okay, we tried Edge, it didn't work. We're going to change this next game." You know, um, so Reject, I think what they do in in their hometown of Japan of just full on aggression works yeah. so well. But you gotta change it up in a in, at a in a tournament like this, especially if you want first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have a deep playbook and that's what some of the most veteran squads out here or veteran teams out here have they can make five different plays from the same position in regards to you know just what's happening at the time of you know an engagement a circle shift or even you know the most important thing of, of all you know reading the elimination feed making plays off of that so definitely adaptability comes to mind and we'll see if rejects you know have some of that adaptability or they could continue winning every single hot drop, you know, that they so like to choose. But we can see already, you know, that hot drop that we just had now only got the one point. They're a little bit delayed on rotation now, you know, a little bit more, you know, starving on loot because some of their split. Chief, you got this, and thank you for sticking up to every single so my live stream. Puts them at a huge and then congratulations to become my mod. Teams of like Alpha Seven, no, you've got this. You know, all these other teams you have, have the power. Looted their fill and have rotated into circle. Yeah, I mean, if we can get the map up, we'll see real quick just how well centered up so many of these teams are. And Team Reject are still way out there on the edge. And, you know, from a lot of these top squads, I think we de at a lobby like this, I think you definitely want to play center circle. What do you think about that? Because, you know, I think edge play works in earlier tournaments because you can kind of take advantage of those weaker teams that, you know, are maybe nervous and playing edge. But in this kind of lobby, every single squad is a monster. And the more you have to fight on the edge, the more players you're going to lose. And the harder Still don't get the membership, win. remember me? Yeah. Hello, it KPS. On what you're like, my viewers, like Lele, Green, like, you all, 
from they point give A Lau to point B like, to point C almost, to point B and depending on every shift. They literally nice gave, gave Lau like from edge position to 200 edge position, something members like in the chat. The circle shifts, <laughs> then you can play from the edge. It is still going to be very difficult, you know. It's not going to be easy by any means, but we see teams just that previous match, you know, have some decent success. Vampire was on the edge every time and it worked out. They had this to take some game. decisive fights and they did and they won. Same with, you know, uh the likes of the the Wolves, you know, from the south side. They made it all the way up into top 3 and picked up a good amount of eliminations too. How old, are, how old is Zute now, guys? Is Zute 20, 27? I want, I want to see some of that bolt action here on the side of Aaron Gale. I got that on my bingo card. Nice little snipe from order. That'll get me pumped up and ready to go here. More than I already am. Let's see where this next zone goes. Uh, and it's going to head right, right on Nova. Everest. Everest dead center. You know, IHC dead really center. No one's going to challenge that. Everest. That's one Everest of yet. One of mine as well. Oh, and look at a falcon! All the way in the north, in the blue. Down. Meanwhile, I believe it's IHC, the big names, at the highest point of this map. Yeah, Mount Everest itself, IHC holding this down. We have seen, you know, this is a tough spot to hold down when you're getting pushed on both sides. But Same some teams me? have really mastered you know, pressuring one side first and then holding that side off, creating a buffer zone for them. So that team, you know, trying to push that up on them chicken? is forced to fight other teams that vice versa tries to push up. There are a lot of good teams who, them. well, because so we'll you're like a later game, though. Let's see if IHC can, like, like put out, here's that spot you were talking like, with the, about. With actually, like, with that, like, Everest spot. We're talking about splits. No, but never scared It's very difficult, yeah. It's very difficult to hold the heat. That's two different power positions that is prime. In a circle like this, and Nova's just gonna try and take both of them. Yeah, I wonder if they're kind of just like doing that to see where the next zone's gonna go. The par problem is, is that we're gonna be seeing some teams coming late, and if they decide to full push on one of those areas, that split can be definitely dangerous. We'll see how it plays out though. Meanwhile, we got Zebra Master trying to shoot at some players on their way in. Next, Rhea catching one of the players from High Five. Oh, High Five is falling apart. Hurt. And. Yeah, IHC, ooh, doing a crazy split as well, coming on down the mountain, and it looks like they're going to be starting heading right back Guys, up. no spoiler, yeah. please. IHC, I like the proactiveness, right? They have Mount Everest, but they're not just going to stay up there and shoot out what they can. They're actually going to go down Mount Everest and see if they can get some third-party action, find some cheeky angles real quick, pick up a point, steal a point. So uh, the proactiveness working out, there is a little bit of a risk, of course. You know, if Zebra Master hit those shots, it will be difficult to get that revive from that low ground, but I see will stay up as four, very healthy, continuing back up onto Mount Everest. High five did lose two of their players on that rotation, and here comes D plus trying to breach up uh -oh. onto Mount Everest. Okay, well let's see how I is going to defend this. Here come the nades, going to miss the mark here. That's going to let D plus Kia know that hey, you know what? There's another team here already. You guys are late. Let's see what they do. Are they going to try to fight it out or head right on back? I think that's what they're going to opt to. So, you know what? We're just going to hold this for now. Yeah, D plus doing a small 2-2. Two -two. Good support. Probably the sidelines. same, guys. And they're going to just leave no one difference. player up there also. Just maintain Why? some presence, some info. But, of course, if he does get nated, it is um, not going to be too great for him. And he's holding this spot so nades are raining in and after that first nade i think he realizes you know what maybe i'll just <laughs> leave this position but with that new circle shift they kind of need to figure out where they want to go because their earlier position yeah. no longer in zone nova how do you know what died though are they going to group up now i'm looking at the mini map they are going to group up so no longer holding that greedy 2-2 you can see them uh forming up together as one of them do get knocked that's a strong position, and I don't know if they're going to get full slam yet. Yeah, I think Osu was holding that spot, waiting for the next circle. The second it popped, and he realized that, yep, we're going to have to go See, ahead. See, there are teams going to... The the they're eventually going to be teams on way. Everest. I actually are going to move later, up later the mountain, because they know that that's the direction that they're going to need to start Yo, heading. Yo, Death Wolf is knocked the Paraboy? Ran over by the Death, Wolf. Death Wolf is like full oh, in the Paraboy? Full in Nova? Down. Here comes Guizal. He's going to have oh. to make it happen here. Oh, the no! Get the Did he... Shot. Now he's gonna have to hit these no. shots here. Back and forth. Here they go. The peaks are oh. strong. No, did he want me three? He didn't want me through a Nova. Nova. He didn't want me through a Nova. Wow. 
was out right there in a 1v3. Shutting down the Nova team. That was a huge no. win for them. If he didn't get that last player, Nova resets back up to four in a prime power position. Death Wolves, however, did lose two of their members. But hey, for a team like Death Wolves to take down a four-man team of Nova Ooh, like that, dude. two players, I'll let that Okay, I'm going to switch into YouTube. This Brazil is, long, is in the house. A 1v3 coming from a qualifying hometown wow. team. I guarantee you even Alpha 7 is grinning after seeing that in the elimination feed right there. Their hometown brothers putting in work against some of the monsters in the lobby. That is how you do it. Meanwhile, IHC, the previous champions, right? It's looking to get that back-to-back. -back. Now trying to get some work on the Regnum Kari. A beautiful nade there. These are not easy to throw, considering Coming that there's so the much elevation. If you're going to knock it, it has to be perfectly team. played. I guarantee you, even out the seven is grinning oh, after seeing that in the elimination song. feed right there. Their hometown brothers putting in work against some of the monsters in the lobby. That is how you do it. Meanwhile, IHC... The previous champions, right? It's looking to get that back to back. It's not better. Trying to get some work it's on the just like a throw, Considering that there's so much elevation. If you're gonna knock, it has to be perfectly placed. I love how much pressure Zayol as a solo pretty much is putting out here. You see the rest of the team focusing on what's vulnerable. They're playing, right? Zayol may be by himself, but he knows if he gets knocked there, chances of getting pushed by Regnum on the low ground very unlikely. So Zayol is just taking free reign, doing as many peaks as he's want, pressuring them with nades, not scared to get knocked whatsoever. So really understanding the dynamic. Why long peak? Who's the when the enemy is already pro firing? Yeah, he's feeling comfortable, but he, I think he, he's just trying to be a little time. with his back. It's not. Right? I, mean, I don't think it's long still, still firing room because the enemies are fighting. Like, the they're literally, right they were firing at the same time. So like. I'd rather see Zyol focusing on that backside, clearing that out first, rather than focusing inwards. Instead, he's committing a very, very interesting split. He does get the knock, though, onto Wild. 77k. The zone shifts to ever so. So now IHC, they don't got to go anywhere. I like how earlier wow. he was saying if I was Nova Zyol, when we three, no, let me see what the Chinese audience is talking oh, about. Your name isn't <clears throat> Zyol, bro, Nova, like Chinese audience are literally <laughs> fighting with each other, bro. So there are a lot of haters on Nova. And, and there are a lot of like supporters. For his team. As just, you know, pretty much head heading straight in, in close range. And now I see up to three elimination points. They have the solo of Rogue holding the entirety of D plus back. It's just, I think they just understand how teams play, right? <laughs> D plus on their backside with four players, they have zone. They're probably just going to keep sitting there. They have no need to get holding the entirety of D plus back. So it's just, I think they just understand how teams play, right? <laughs> D plus on their backside with four players, they have zone. They're probably just going to keep sitting there. They have no need to get aggressive, so we're not going to be worried about that. Instead, we're going to just keep looking for one opportunities. Yeah, I think they understand how they play. You're right. I'm not telling you. This guy can just say, like, you know what? Yeah, I'll Action going to knock. Rogue, you handle that team. And God's Action got thirsted. Oh, Smoke Gaming is fighting Falcon. Yes. Look, look, wow. Yes. Wow. That's how, you, that's how you need to get it done. Just one man army. Every three plays. That's Falcons. Looking to get into fight. Right here. And, oh, this is not a good fight to be had. No zone is not close to them at all. They're getting picked apart slowly here and there, and they're getting pressured from the flank potentially too. Yeah, antenna is a good spot if it was in circle, but now that the zone has shifted away from it, Wait, they're gonna have Eason to find said, their way on in. The thing I like about this though is that it's pretty easy. Eason to get said the there's a guy with with with, with, and they with a guy who won me three Nova when we, when they speed. Get away with this, but uh, or get away from this. And unfortunately, it's proven to be pretty difficult because Smoke is making it hard on them. Now these teams finally agree to let each other go. But yeah, that's going to be at the cost of almost the entire team of Smoke. Meanwhile, we got Vampire in the feed. Finishing Rivas from Worlds of War. Yeah, that's on the west side in those two teams. He was not a 1HP. Who called him a 1HP, Ethan? Who called the enemy is 1HP from Nova? Is it order? in the fight out of zone earlier really hampering their progression inwards onto the next wait we're gonna replay that we're gonna yeah, replay that, that okay we're gonna replay that when we threw on nova to be able to secure some points meanwhile he since had a paraboy caught it one hp on top the guy behind meanwhile, the wall uh oh vampire oh. rules of war going at it right here back and forth cold goat one day oh that's it that's it gonna be that's gonna be all three players of vampire done for as tony k is too far away 
to get into this one. Maybe they had that idea saying that, oh, yeah, three players. You guys can take them all on. Tony K is going to make the drive. Uh-oh. He's in a lot of trouble. And I think he's actually onto this position. Oh. Hopefully, he's order he's won't get impacted by this too much. Let's see. Yeah, Tony K's got to go super aggressive here before the revives can come through. The revive and the heal that is Tony K. Is no one playing the phone? They're using PL. No, he's not. Over, Tony K, one we three. A little bit of a third party from distance here, but Tony K will ultimately get taken down. And I think Vampire. I don't know if I want to call that a misplay. You know, a veteran team like Vampire really just probably thought, you know, confidence-wise, we can just use three players to take out that team. But that was not the case, and maybe they should have sent four instead. Back to the drawing board for them as Vampire do get eliminated. Nova, if that's a lesson you're going to learn. Points. It's good to learn it early on. So Vampire, out. yeah, you know, maybe that so would work in some skin. different lobbies. Is oh, the but there are a lot of you teams. You have to send the whole squad. Are still playing. The guarantee if Tony K was there, that whole Which fight would probably Nova. turn Which out are, differently. Like, but hey, you know what? To the victor goes the spoils. Watch Chinese commentary. Who's gonna win this They're match? Dead. Alpha Seven still up. All four players. They're gonna be uh, at those warehouses just north of Everest. That can be a really sketchy position to rotate to. Rotate away from. To be as honest, the, the Chinese stream has the best of quality. Not gonna lie. As Everest S2G very very right, close let's to them. Let's and meanwhile, the English must stream. be happy to share this Everest mountain with IHC. They said, IHC, you worry about all those players. We'll deal with you later. Yeah, man. IH, oh, the shots. Wow. Coming out from Zyol, just lasering everyone. But I think Alpha Seven did steal that point away. They blew up the vehicle, and confirmed the point. So that is not good for IHC. That should have been theirs, but they're up to 80 limbs already. WBG will yeah. be number one right now. Uh, I doubt it. These teams are like literally the best team the in the world. I mean, and, and I, I think teams. It's hard to say a team can understand. just like by right? default like, hey, if you're get the first here, place. IHC, be honest. You handle that side of the mountain. We'll handle this side. And then we'll worry on who's going to get first and second later on, right? Yeah. I mean, why even fight each other now? Because if we so fight each other broken? right now. We're getting third party and we're out of here. So yeah. smart play from both of these teams. <laughs> yeah, we'll take second as IHC with 20 Elims. Okay, so Eason is basically giving out, giving us plus. about like IHC one Nova team you say. Eason said, Bring me, said a one and HP, with four and Long, so Rush, really and God. Wow. Not. Order was mad and asked here. alone, Imagine why didn't you weigh me? Did oh, we just get a 1v3? The so that's basically their comp. And players. thank you, thank you, Ethan, for giving I was about to say, have you ever seen a team dominate Everest Nova. like this? Especially in a lobby like this? No. I mean, that's crazy. Yo, I mean, that whole from up the top has, is just wreaking havoc. Well, so many shots, Falcon. so well placed. That it feels I feel like, like unlike other teams, Falcon is a team that yeah. do and that a little bit so worse on the first day so and even in the upcoming days so, they I mean, chase I like the, a great all the teams really, really, really hard and play really, really hard. Long range position. Or, uh, the long range precision coming out of every player of IHC up there. Keep in mind, they're shooting at multiple targets and I don't know how much loot they have, but they have to make the shots count. It has to be accurate. For them to still be taking shots with that much ammo left, I mean, every shot is probably landing. So, Issa, is it from Paraboy yeah, or just, Dreamy? Don't, you are trying to do is play keep away. You don't want any team to come close. You don't want to get, a, you know, rushed at all. So, if you could just put on that pressure and force them to stay where they're at, you're going to be in a great position. Bro, the zone I feel like Long, further, Long is, is still going to get place. roasted so IHC by a lot of people. don't have to go anywhere. Regnum Karya, though, are going to have to start heading up that mountain. And it's going to be tough because you got Next Ruya right there next to him. Seven eliminations for next Ruya. Dreamy to the one HP. Okay. Oh, I actually one of the HC player got knocked. <laughs> they do have to move in. D plus still just being the friendliest of neighbors to IHC I have ever seen. Surely <laughs> at some point D plus. Oh, D plus is about to get like, sandwiched by two teams, like, like three teams pressure, actually. Right? You don't have to take the fight. Can I still but hold this? For me, it's you have four players, so you should be you know. Fighting, getting knocked, revived, and then maybe thinking about not pushing. Right now, D plus with four players is just not doing anything, I feel like, with their... <laughs> uh, I want to say number advantage, right? 
We yeah. can see they have a number advantage, but maybe they think it's a 4v4. Even then, in a 4v4, with your backside completely clear, you, you, you have to be doing some sort of proactiveness, and D-plus has been, hasn't been doing any of that. It looks like D-plus Kia and IHC are in a school group project together, and D-plus Kia is just rubbing the shoulders of IHC, saying, hey, man, you're doing a great job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, they better be, but IHC better be careful, because... Who knows? I mean, Deep Plus Kia can come at the last second and take all that credit. Nova you know, got one kill. Out, so that is That's something they up. have to really, really be careful for. Yeah, they could uh, slap their name on the project. You know, you know she finds disappointed when he's hungry to come in at seven ish. Take the take a chicken dinner, take a couple eliminations, and it looks like they might look to go. Why Nova's not using DPS? Sometimes they just couldn't find it. it coming. And I think Deep Plus realizes, okay. Now for sure. Is my stream uh, laggy for you guys? Why? Nice when I watch it, I feel like it's laggy for me. I, I don't know why. They hear it. They smell something coming. So I actually is focusing all. Is it laggy my stream? Three v four situation. I almost want to say it's an even fight, just with how hot IHC are running right now. IHC running straight to the teacher to turn the paper in without letting D plus Kia put their name she on. It looks like Nova Cool Boy. Yeah, let's see if they're going to be able to sneak it okay. over. Yeah, as they're starting to put some shots down the, the way. OBS. The longer this fight happens and the more noise they make, though, the easier it's going to be to third party. So both of these teams need to try to hurry up and get this fight done sooner than later. Yeah, you can already see next Rhea. Nova last player didn't have a DPS. Say, we'll that was Dreamy, that. right? And Dreamy is the one who died to DPS. going to have to try and hold it down. 1v2, nice knock though. Wow, I think that's gonna help holding stop both a sides. Bit. Yeah, now forced to kind of hold a 1v2 on the other side. Bro, and IHC continue to just be one guy's on holding every side. Every one team, front. I said it earlier. Imagine if they had four up here, man, they'd be dominating. Oh. But even oh, with three, they're dominating. And Rogue Bro, goes Ro down. Ro 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 he had a big hero play with another team flanking them, doesn't get the opening. and IHC will go down to two. D plus even get the revive on the knock earlier. Uh, now I IHC see got wiped. will finally be taken apart. And uh, it actually took two. No, even Alpha 7 getting a point there onto IHC. So it took three different teams to chime in to finally remove IHC from Mount Everest. Oh, IHC putting in so much work and not getting the credit that they deserve towards the end. As yeah, the pressure was just too much from so many different teams. You can't compete with DK and, uh, when it comes to the CQC. Now D plus Kia are on top. Alpha Seven are big chilling on the bottom, looking to soak up some more points. So far, only two eliminations. And this could be get one of the place one points here. This hey, could be the comeback game for DK. After they got like clean wipe by Nova and Finan, and not a bad position in the zone. Not at all. Right now. The other team Rufid is lagging. Like stream is good. Points. Yeah, that, that, that was like. Ruya. They have racked up to eight. And if they could somehow win this fight up here, 2v4 against the likes of D plus, next Ruya will definitely shoot themselves up the leaderboards. But it's going to be a tough task as D plus playing very conservative. So they're not going to, you know, just throw it all away doing a crazy push. So it's going to be very tough for the likes of next Ruya with only two to win out over them. Yeah, absolutely. You can see D plus. How many matches remaining? We'll have three right more. Now, trying to catch one of these players from S2G. Holding it down. And they have Papa Blue to their advantage. Yeah, he's going to have to run out in the open. Hamzi's in big trouble here. Nice shots through the smokes. Getting those hit markers. They see him now. And whoo, right through the smoke. Once they saw the direction he was running, they're like, oh, yeah. We'll take that point real quick. Alpha 7, very central to this circle. They're on the bottom side of Everest. But they should be able to All climb up. Now still alive. Knock on the cold goat. That's huge. Razy's going to have to run squad. out of open. Actually, With I think he's kills. just going to stay in the blue and deny the point. Yeah, deny the point. Deny every point possible. Razy gets the heal off. Makes it to the next piece of cover. Looking to stall out. Maybe for another position. And oh, it works yep. out, though. Royals of War went out right before he did. So wow. they laddered up a placement. Take that placement point. Oh, now, here we go. Refresh. The hometown heroes are still alive as next Ruya and D plus Let me Kia refresh now. are. Savor went out right before he did, so wow. they laddered up a placement. Take that placement point. Now, here we go. The hometown heroes are still alive as next Ruya and D plus Kia are still in the mix. Let's see how this all plays out. Is uh oh how many matches left? We have three more today, but we have two more days. Yeah, zone 
stays up on so the that's high 15 matches in total alpha 7 does have a small foothold in the form of Carrillo in that next circle d plus have to move up just a little bit but more or less all three teams kind of have a little bit of a zone in their play so it might come down to maybe go nine, nova met some brazilian girlfriends goes. while on their way to mm, the girlfriends to to the top side of the mountain now. <laughs> maybe because uh, if they could able, if they're cleaning that quick, then they'll have a, a clean fight against Alpha Seven. But I think all these teams are just opting to just let the blue zone do the work. And uh oh, Carrillo has the MG3. That's the weapon to have. But he's definitely at a disadvantage when it comes to position. The problem with D plus pushing now is that even if they push over and only one of them get knocked, Alpha Seven is going to strike fast, and Alpha Seven have vehicles. From the low ground that could be fast enough to you know make a timely third party so i think d plus realizes this so they can't even risk taking that 4v2 on the high this is just like either. chicken chicken so, dinner prediction by ai that bro that's, that's to not, the blue zone nothing worth to see to be honest last three teams into making a play yeah you're gonna have to make a decision Six uh -oh, mafioso's got a groza not quite the best weapon to have from long range so he's got two CQC weapons. It's gonna really up to see if, if Alpha Seven can get close. If they do, I think. Why do I feel like Alpha Seven really can win this, guys? Plus Kia to play keep away, keep them down that mountain, apply that pressure. It's so difficult to do though, especially with Alpha Seven with all those vehicles. Yeah. Circle, about to close into nothing now, very soon. One more. Yep. There, there we, go. we go. Stage yep. nine. It's gonna be a three-way fight. And I think it, Alpha 7 win this. It, it's a tough one because, okay, Alpha so D plus have the high ground, but they have to move towards the low ground, no. which actually gives the low Alpha ground seven more needs of to an move, advantage because you can see Alpha 7 have those little small bumps to work with. D Bro, plus imagine have to run Nar into wins open, this. And with their backs against the next Ruya, this could be Alpha 7's game. Yep, like I'm saying, I think D plus key is going to get sandwiched here. If Mafioso does find another one of the Rebel gets the big knock there. And now, all these shots, you gotta know that next Rui is coming up on top. And here they go behind. Oh, Applying that pressure. DK. Yep, exactly how we thought it was gonna play out is happening. Oh, and next Rui is a DK. Oh, it's over. Alpha 7 chicken, bro. And soak up another chicken dinner. Oh, <gasps> did he just dinner. apologize? In Did it just knock two of the nades raining in being hit from all multiple sides? And that is Alpha 7 taking oh. out next Rio, but there's still one more D plus player. 1v2, it is doable. The positions have been changed. D plus with somewhat of an advantage on the low ground, but the numbers and favor of Alpha 7. Here comes a play K with the shotgun. He needs to Oh, he got one K! And he does 1v1. 1v1. K. No thirst, bro. K. What are you doing? Gets what? the third. in their hometown and oh boy what a finish did you see the player cam from next Rhea when he got taken out i i, I didn't catch it actually i Bro. was looking at alpha was the dk with the, the dk like player with, with the k trying to thirst or he's trying to do some fancy movement like 200 meter head fire like and two had double headshots up, maybe they would have been able to do it but no sir i mean alpha seven when these guys see just one small opening they are taking full advantage, and man, two chicken dinners I mean, here in their hometown. These guys got to be so stoked. That's one point. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, one you point is see, one you point. You can see right there, Carrillo actually smiling this time <laughs> around. I love that. I love seeing that. I like how they got the first chicken dinner, and he was still locked in. After that one, he was like, all right, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling okay now. Yes, uh, they are. As we take a look here at the end look at this man i mean alpha 7 took advantage took out next ruya and then it was up to k nice little dbs action in the cqc but it was mafioso with that groza that finished things off seven i gotta hear it one time i know you want to say it give it to me do brazil oh man it got sketchy though not gonna lie it got, it got very <laughs> sketchy there at the end with k almost clutching it up mafioso though you were talking about the girls that not being the favorable weapon for when he was trying to shoot from very far away earlier a little bit closer that's all he needed you can see everybody Bro, celebrating there alpha two seven there. two chickens consistency though 
We've been asking for consistency of Alpha 7. Is this a power right of, the bat, of like playing, playing your home country? Dinners, you couldn't ask for anything better. We just need to continue to see this type of performances from them. But a big comeback. I mean, let's talk about D plus because D plus was able to make a huge yeah, comeback coming into this last match. They only yeah, the woman behind the points, coach, not like not the sure. D plus. I don't think we so. That's probably the that judge or something. Here, and this is now more of a D plus that we were expecting. Being able to get those elements, being able to control. Bro, the angle, imagine you know all what? of let's the four Alpha Seven players get playing, married, and, and also they have also have the home hometown the like buff, bro. Marriage buff plus the hometown buff. They will be unstoppable, bro. Thank you so much for being here. And first of all, I want to know. Rivo needs to get married before the star of PMGC. Muito obrigado por estar aqui. E agora eu quero entender qual que é o sentimento agora, porque já vocês já conseguiram a segunda vitória de vocês no dia de hoje. Sentimento é. Not when gaming or the product producers, right? Yeah. A gente treinou muito para isso e a gente está preparado e vamos embora que só foi três partidas, então tem mais dois dias ainda. Vamos embora. They are very happy with the second winner right now with the second chicken dinner and they are very prepared for that they have prepared themselves for this day but it's only the first day and they will come for tomorrow and also for on, for sunday agora vocês conseguiram definitivamente abrir uma vantagem Alba Seven does only does good in, only does good in the first day for say but like what if the create a huge gap in first day so, uh, we want to understand there are still three more games left, and they already right got like now, claimed uh, the two chicken out of three. Uh, 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 Bro, if they get a one more, the gap is gonna be kind of huge, to be honest. They will choke on the last day. They will keep their confidence. They will talk with the team always after the matches. And they will <laughs> Look at Rivo. Rivo's confident. Rivo's like and easy, bro. Anything, easy. And nobody will take their uh, happiness right now. Thanks so much for the interview. Muito obrigado pela entrevista. And go Alpha 7. Vai Alpha 7. <laughs> Vai Alpha 6. Obrigado. That's, that's what they were saying. See, I understood this time. And yes, yes, I agree with you, Bombshell. Thank you so much for that translation. But this Alpha 7, that's I mean, they went yeah, from a non-favorable position. Oh, but the three, thing bro. is that they played it out so well, Hajix, because they just let... Ran right over by the dead. I mean, long did it got a lot, guys. Like, don't say long and useless. Ran over like... By the dead. I mean... Are creeping up Harry boy IHC are gonna move first the mountain because they know that got the run over and they need to start heading meanwhile Peru boy gets an uh, order knocked it ran over by the dead and lone turned on one player oh, instantly not gonna lie alone here comes Guzao. he's gonna oh he was dreamy who got knocked first okay have to make it happen. then the last here one would be order right oh the DBS gets the nice shot. Now he's gonna have to hit these shots here. Back and forth. Here they go. The peeps are coming in strong. And the death wall oh. shutting down Nova. And hit these shots. Have to make it happen here. Oh, instantly shut down. Here comes Guzal. He's gonna have to make it happen here. Oh, the DBS gets the nice shot. Now he's gonna have to hit these shots here. Back and forth. Here they go. The peaks are coming in strong. And the death wall oh. shutting down. There gotta be someone in Nova. In this kind of scenario, I feel like I saw this similar stuff like before. In Nova. There gotta be someone who can like slow down players. For example, if Dreamy said he's 1 HP and Lone said he's going. And there gotta be a guy who said, slow down, wait for me, and stuff like, call like that, you know. Otherwise, it's gonna be... And the death shot I think this will, like, keep happening if they don't fix this problem. The nice shot. Here comes Guzal. He's gonna have to make it happen here. Oh, instantly shut down. Here comes Guzal. He's gonna have to make it happen. I mean, first of all, oh, instantly shut Dreamy, down. The having a Here confidence is good, but, like, it's literally three versus one. You shouldn't go out and take the one. Why would you go out and take the one and instead of like waiting for your player, waiting for your team, right? Literally, you all, you got like th three Death Wolf players already. So first mistake is on Dreamy. And then Dreamy called it out. Oh, he's 1 HP. 
Make it happen here. Do the I'm not sure if Lone talks or not. I feel like from my understanding too Lone, I don't I think I don't think Lone I don't think Lone talked. I could be wrong though. Yes, get the, nice but the second shot. mistake would be like Lone. These shots here. Back and forth. Here they like rushing you too fast. Are coming in strong. But why do you take but why why order is so oh, where is order? Shut down. Oh, order is the in the other Down. building. Here comes Buzal. I, I, oh, and order, order is healing as well. Order is healing. Oh, he's gonna have to make it happen here. Right? Oh, the DBS gets the nice. Yeah, order is healing. Order should have called out. I'm healing. Wait for me. Stuff like that. Shot. Now he's gonna have to hit. Yeah, that's why order was late. Order Back was healing forth, literally. The peaks are coming in strong, and the oh my god. Oh, shutting down Nova. Order wow. was low. Was out right there in a That's 1v3. hard 1v3 the Nova on team. Nova. That was a huge win. That was a Nova. huge clutch from player, Death Wolf. Nova resets back up to full. Where's my cursor, man? Where? Wait, what? Z Wolf. This this MVP these MVP stats don't tell the whole story, man. Hey, no, they don't. Yeah, wow. Really, like kind of like joking about him when Death Wolves took out majority of his squad so early on. Almost lose. Yeah, we were. So then he just kind of like just came out with just another player and just said, "Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and Wait. do all the work myself." I cannot what find my play. cursor, guys. Okay, there. It Next you ended up with twelve eliminations. So for him to still be able to get eight out of those twelve, Ooh. I mean, I. I, I I wouldn't have a disc. We wouldn't have this right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Well, I don't fault? think I would be able to break it. Because, uh, uh, I mean, Dreamy, zone, Dreamy now, made a mistake by rushing the last Nova guy Nova himself. He was overconfident. Not being Dreamy made the first the mistake and Lone missed. And Lone out of Nova, right? we saw the flashes of made the second mistake. Here at the star in Sandha, but right now, it's not, it's not what we were expecting to see as we look at the Bro, overall Zute standing. Sexy. You can see Nova massive Whoa. fall off all the way down to seventh place, but a big jump up there. Alpha seven in first place. Random Karia drops and even more jumps us as next. Nova drops to seventh place. To Hope this place. doesn't affect them. Seven positions, man. Seven position jump is insane. Why Lone missed his shots? Big jump is not, Lone not didn't really high. miss his shots. He was he just like the guy had the wall as a cover. Did. He literally the used that the cover themselves. quite nicely and with four. a nice play fire got four. Lone. If I they had four, they could have had a chicken Lone and maybe two. After low, after Lone was low, like, Lone should not, shouldn't peak him at again. Leaderboards are should just he just should just wait for Kia order. Also, to be honest, I mean, he should just hold the he should have just hold the need, like. You know, a lot of flag for not. He should have just hold the. Game, but hey, maybe that's what they needed. Hold the know, wall. Just some nice hold his position and wait for order. To be honest, or wait, kill that guy, finish his pre-fire, and then come out of the cover and kill the last guy of death front page. So. Get a little bit more comfortable, and then maybe next time around we'll see them more confident and being more proactive. Yeah, and Sue, I hear you talking there about the slums not having good performances. I mean, we are we, this some is time the massage. halfway point <laughs> of day one, right? For any of those teams that are towards the bottom of that leaderboard, I got a chance to see high fives. All that trash talking during the interviews, during those videos. With, okay, one push I mean, up is it? Been able to see Nova got a one kill. Uh, okay, one push up. Falcons, but we really haven't been able to see much in regards to placement points. And then you go over to some of the other teams that are towards the bottom. Zebra Masters. I feel like Zebra Masters has had good plays, but just their timing is off on certain You're situations right. and their decision making is a little bit lacking. I mean, it, it, going back to the first Aaron Go, we saw how many grenades they were throwing on D plus. They were getting those knocks too, but they just weren't able to confirm it into eliminations. And here in this last game, they weren't able to do much either. And then now Smoke Gaming, that is two times now in Erangel. We were talking about teams kind of hot dropping. Smoke Gaming, you have lost players right away from the get-go to reject twice in a row, Sute. Mm -hmm. Please give us a change. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're fighting over farm too, which is like, right? it's not that crazy of a spot if it was pachinki it'd make a little bit more sense you know dead center good loot fast rotations but uh, over farm like it's not worth fighting over and i think they uh should realize by now with just one more aaron go left today they're literally fighting with pistols jukes <laughs> they're fighting with knives with knives dude. Not Literally even with knives, <laughs> we saw them just going like, ah, ah, leave us alone, please. Now, I mean, I think if you're smoke gaming after that one, you got to leave. 
Like I know, it's, yeah. I know it sucks. I know that's not what you planned for, but you have no choice, right? You gotta leave, find something else, and just make it happen. Yeah, and and then for reject, right? We've been able to see them being able to get all of their points. All their thirteen points come from just eliminations. <laughs> they need to find at least some placement points. If you're getting this much eliminations, imagine what they could do if this team can find themselves in a top five situation. You know you can frag out. Why not start getting those placement points? And who knows? Maybe a chicken dinner is going to skyrocket you up that leaderboard. Like we've seen some of the other teams being able to skyrocket. Even though they didn't get the chicken dinner next Ruya. We saw them being able to yeah. pump all the way up to the overall. And then on top of that, I see as well. So all they, they need to do, at least from my perspective, is they need to start focusing a little bit more on those placement points. The LMs will start coming. Mm -hmm. It's going to be it's gonna be tough, though. It's, it's not as easy as it might yeah. sound because yeah. everybody is trying to do what you just said and so you know there's going to be a lot more clashes to be had jukes uh, yeah i think that just wolf though getting so many points it's gonna just help their overall mental game you know and that's what it really takes is it's like you said seven right when it comes to reject I, that's why i was so stressing i want to see one good late game performance if they can get that under their belt then they'll know what it feels like and they can kind of continue that on over because wolf just I mean, you could see the frustration. I mean, just slamming the desk. Because, I mean, I would also be pissed if I got eight eliminations, have a good high ground, and lose that match. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel good. But hopefully, that motivates them, right? Not demotivates them. You scared me there. I saw that hand go up. I saw it go down. And I was like, you're a lot stronger than I am. We need you for the rest of the day. <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. Hey, forget, Don't be smacking that desk anytime soon. Forget D plus soon. key. I'm about to break some Ikea. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> if there's anybody going to be breaking furniture over there in Brazil, it might end up being Boom Esports too. I mean, we were, I was hyping them up. I was saying... Winners of PMSL, they might be able to do some of this crazy stuff. They might be able to just surprise a lot of people here in day one. And so far, man, currently sitting in 13th place with only a total of eight points. Not what we wanted to see there out of the Indonesian team. It's, it's uh, you mentioned halfway points. It's not halfway in the tournament, but halfway into a, a day. That's when you need to start turning things around. Because if you don't turn things around now, you're going into the second day starting with a very negative mindset. So for all the teams on the second page right now, they need to really start showing up or we might just not see them show up ever. Yeah, no, I was looking at IHC right there. Finally, finally, we got a chance to see what they were capable of. You guys kept mentioning too during the cast. Imagine if they would have had just those four players. I oh. think IHC would have actually taken the fight to D plus a little bit sooner mm -hmm. and not waited so long. And it was actually Everybody, D plus that What are we discussing now, guys? Are we discussing the 1v3? So other teams got Anova? involved. I think he took, what was it, Jukes? It, I think it was like three teams total, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It took him to uh, destroy IHC. I mean, I was straight up telling Zute when we were casting it. I was like, I've never seen a team dominate Everest like that, ever. Yeah. I mean, it's so insane. I mean, we've seen teams, you know, hold Everest, you know, fight as a full squad, one team at a time. These guys were, like, literally taking entire squads by themselves. The suppressive fire was just ridiculous, dude. Not just suppressive. It was, it was destructive, all right? True. Suppressive is when you fire shots and they don't peek you. Destructive is what IHC was. They were firing shots, getting the knocks, and getting the point confirmations. Just all like 360 degrees around Mount Everest. I see really showed us like a master class. Teams should target it, Alpha 7. Like no teams will Everest, now target Alpha 7. Players with a it's four man last team oh. right at their backs too. Yeah, when we talk about the PMGO so far, Everest finishes too. A team that comes to mind at least that we got a chance to see during the prelims was Team we Falcons. Gotta switch I to thought the Team Falcons nah, might have been able to they, do something they especially with the Everest, but when I saw their position, I was like, they don't oh, have that's audience at all. And then on top of that, it's, I believe we like saw a, them getting into fights there with doing, Smoke Gaming like, as well. It just live, ended up backfiring. Like I mean, uh, Team Falcons, we, we've been another team. Like, there, there's just so many good teams right now in the PMGO, and you're currently looking at one, too, that I'm sure they're going to end up responding to so anytime soon, Nova Esports. But going back to Team Falcons, not sure what they were thinking there within that fight. I thought they were maybe going to end up pushing Everest a little bit more and try to challenge some of those teams, even if they were towards the bottom of Everest. Time to pump it up. Yeah, Team Falcons currently standing in 11th place with 14 points. They're gonna, definitely going to have to make it happen here sooner than later because you got, you know, Regnum Karya, Alpha 7, already with a 20-point difference. Look at that. 
watching it live and <laughs> on mobile. Hey, that's what I'm talking. That's that's some straight up mobile gaming action right there. You know what that man said? He said, even though I can feel the atmosphere, even though I can feel the crowd, I still want to hear those casters. I still yeah. want to hear what they're saying. <laughs> well, looking up they're going to be able to inform me a little bit Hopefully, more. Hopefully, Order is not too pissed. Because so from, from my video. understanding, Order, hey, you know, hey, if you're listening, he's not like Jimmy. You, if it's Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy would have said it's all right, guys. You, you know, let's focus on the last game. Right? But I feel like yeah, Order I mean, is like short-tempered, to be honest. He loves, you know, PUBG Mobile esports. He can't get enough of it. He's got to watch it, you know, in person and on the phone. Double supporting. Okay. I like it. Hey, next time. Next time we'll be there. <laughs> yes, 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 indeed. You know, he's getting pumped up. Maybe he's in the comment section, right? Doing some nice little in game IG yelling, saying, hey, they should have done this differently as we get into another Aragale match. As we have some of the teams there from the prelims, we have Team Liquid Fury. That's where the players that were on your screen, and you mentioned it, Hot Jukes. We are going to be going into this final Aragale of translate powerful pov one i was already translated with that kind of the fight but the thing is two, but i need to slow their down. pov is so much faster much than yeah i mean the official with the pacing of the action it feels like we're well into like day two halfway right so many teams just really showing up clutch moments already being had all across the board from multiple different teams this does not look like a day one to me seven this looks like day two this looks like a day three where everyone is showing us what they got and man to see this happening so early into the tournament i can't wait to see how the story is going to unfold I'm with you, man. I'm with you on that, and I think maybe that's why I was thinking about day two because the decision making does seem on point for a lot of the team. Usually on day ones, we see some more hot dropping. We see a little bit of uh, I'm unsure of what some of the other teams are wanting to do, but everybody seems pretty set on what they're wanting to do. Everybody, it's watch Paro really POV. You can hear that the weather was event. really pissed. And if okay, this so I will, I will watch it back. Okay, after this game, I'll watch that when we three. We are going to translate that whole thing. We're going to be. We're and to see how older like this, is we're just gonna be on the top of yeah i feel i personally feel like i personally felt have, especially with the order would be that we've been able to see now with this plane path here i can't wait to see what this circle is gonna be we got any chance to see okay i gotta i gotta i gotta pay attention to the nova pov now I, otherwise i, I often miss I actions love like, to get another milli finish i can't miss more actions oh this circle is gonna be hard for nova this is a good circle too we might see some madness and milta you know those milta finishes with all those different compounds does really provide some good entertainment so we'll get a very south the southeastern circle right where the plane path pretty much ends and no hot drops anymore for smoke yeah they're leaving that farm area and very good decision out of them rejects will be able to loot in peace we see on the west side vampires does have one player knocked already he looks very separated too i don't know if they'll be able to get that revive I think it was there to Royals of War. We'll have to win and see on the replay if we do end up getting one. But yeah, with this, I want to see which teams are going to start rotating very quickly. We have seen teams getting caught in rotation, especially with certain teams anticipating them. I can think of the top of my head already. Team Falcons, high fives. I mean, we saw what happened with them earlier as well. Team Falcons is currently going to be in Neville. How long are they going to want to stay there too? Because if you stay there very, very long, depending new, on which their circle guys, is. Guys, new going, player for NHP. You're going to have Boom Esports. I mean, NHP, Boom Esports, Fosker. we know what they're capable of. Who's they Fosker? They haven't yeah. had the best start. But this is now the second half. For some of these teams, for some of these players, after that second half mark, they're trying to switch it around. They're trying to turn it around and make it a much, much better day. And that's one team. Boom Esports looking to do that. And if you can, for some reason, end up camping Team Falcons whenever they do end up leaving that, uh, that military island, Oh man, you couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, boom, really. So what's your Chinese to, uh, team? No, they're uh, not show showing. They're not showing Nova at all. We haven't heard much from Chinese them POV. whatsoever. Way down. Aryan, I will switch right the there, Chinese so POV when I think it's necessary. So we'll see what Boom has in store. I mean, this is a favorable zone for them too. It's pretty yep. much they have prime pickings of wherever they want to go. Circle one, even maybe even circle two, they'll have. Because the girls are chilling you. Open for them as well. So we'll in see one what way, Boom Oscar. can do. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the map right now. Who else has a favorable spot in the circle? S2G on the east side, looting up shelter and prison. This is a good circle for them too. And rejects, we might see rejects come into the late game now too. Because they can just pick a spot and hunker down now. 
You heard me talking about it. I want to see some placement points out of that team. We know that the eliminations, they can put them up as they've been able to do in the first three matches. But I want to start seeing those placement points. And earlier, we got a chance to just briefly see S2G taking some shots to Smoke Gaming. Smoke Gaming, I wonder which plan they're on. Usually they say, you know, plan A, we're going to be landing farm. Plan B, we're going to be landing a little bit west of a uh, of, of farm. And then plan C, which plan are they on? Maybe they're on plan F at the moment because they, <laughs> they were running around like a chicken without their heads. Meanwhile, SCG knows exactly what they're going to be doing as Regnum Karya. Regnum Karya is just allowed. taking their time, um, up everything that Rockstar has allowed. to offer. Players are using and you were mentioning but these skins, skins all teams have the same skin. All well, team players, they I mean, all have the same point, skin. They're going to have just so much time to be able to loot up. Hello, Animal House. Welcome, welcome. And hopefully... The main thing, it comes down to position themselves in a great, great spot. Because if for some reason we have seen it happen before, you could have two teams crashing on you and you don't want to be caught distracted. Definitely not. Especially near center zone, right? That's when things get really She runs hard rate. You're 60, bro. You can chill. Get third yeah. Partied. I'm so chilling. Have to really lock things no NHP. In. Next, Ruya, the first team to actually make a rotation on their way in. I'm looking at the mini wrap right now. They're driving past the, or by the team of rejects rejects still finishing up their split loot around farm next ruya definitely a little bit faster Clear, as, you have a ton of work the plane before feel the bad of rejects and it looks like next ruya will be taking up a position just north of the rejects team you see right here on screen we'll see where they end so. up they're, right now they're on uh the west side of shelter on the hill you know Right next yep. to that road that divides the circle. Why is the right audio now. so low? And Rejects now finally done looting. And they're going to make their first rotation into the zone too. Rejects looking. Another team that's going to be looking to set themselves up. As we were just saying, they want those placement points. I'm going to be looking at some of the other rotations you know, too. You see Rejects here now Most finally getting into a much better position that we saw earlier. Uh, we well, see Alpha 7, at least from the map me. that we're able to see. And to can I illustrate to all the viewers of which some of the other teams are rotating. Alpha 7 finally deciding to push there out of George 4, and they're going to be looking towards going north of Jasnaya. So a very wide rotation. But keep in mind, this team, Alpha 7, is usually familiar if they do end up getting to Lipovka. Lipovka used to be one of their dropping spots, at least last year. So they will be very familiar with all that terrain. And looking at the highlight here of Reject, I'm not sure what that's going to be. What What's going on here? Okay, they're just spotting somebody. They're, they're getting some information. Are they wanting to go for this push? No, 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 no. Do right. exactly what IHC and D plus were doing earlier. Just become good neighbors for the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's also that the replay, you know, show his uh, swift lean peaks. You know, that quick scope in, lean peeking left and right. I, I think the broadcast team heard, you know, is shouting out rejects mechanical skills. Definitely came into space when they were doing those hot drops. But even then, you know, you you see it right there. Guys, don't spoil. You don't just scope please. in and if you stay spoil, still have to bang and spot you. something out. You gotta don't spoil jiggle the left and right, the even. If you're just, you know, not under any pressure, you gotta keep those fingers. Why is everyone guys. using your outfit? Replay, or <laughs> I don't know. PUBG Mobile officials Shit. somehow yeah. think this is outfit this? is oh. best. Like, no, I, I think this is live. It's global. It's happening. It's happening right, right, right now. It's live. This is we not a live. replay. <laughs> Zebra Master on that rotation, and a lot of teams all rotating in now. Pretty much, <laughs> four, five teams not rotating. That's it. Everyone else yep. have rotated into this first zone. Nova ends up rotating as well, and with Zebra Masters. I want to see a little bit better decision making from this team. They have put themselves in certain situations where they could definitely end up getting points. But just the decision making is either a little bit too slow. The timing is off for them. I'm sure they're going to be looking to improve that. And I was mentioning earlier, Nova is going to be pushing into the circle as well. And I wouldn't be mistaken if that was possibly Nova that we got a chance to see I there was, yeah. at the end. High fives there at the top. Rejects is looking to just keep an eye on them in case for some reason high fives decides to get a little bit spicy and sends it to them but at this moment it would be insane if we do end up seeing that usually they end up being good neighbors they end up sticking around until the later circles when they are forced to fight each other guys switch and seven i love this first zone it's because you can have so many different power positions right next to multitudes of other do you that got knocked by far It's IHC. IHC. So what happened was Paraboy knocked the one IHC player out of the car. 
And then I probably got knocked by HC's off angle and HC pushed on Nova. They're coming for you, they're coming for you. Bro, it's not me. It's a stream. Yeah, that's that, that's how that's how it happened. Switching back to the global one. Down the middle is this giant mountain top that you can't see over, so you're just gonna have to drive through blind and hope you don't get shot. But as you drive through, there's wizard towers here, wizard towers there, there's ridges there, ridges here. Thank you for the super chat. You feel like Nova still has a lot of coordination points, issues. So it's just one of those rotations where you just gotta gun it and hope for the best. And a lot of these teams, you can see Which right here. Laggy, bro, yeah, bro, driving by. That's rejects the, right there. The getting Chinese shot stream at. is laggy. I think the Brazil, like the quality, like signal is not good. With. And they do indeed, but everyone else is still kind of just moving in and about. It's cheating, area. man. Everyone targeting Nova because yeah, something else Nova to remember with this. There are no, that we have seen think, in the past. I, I don't think yes, I there's a lot of trees Nova. that can provide cover for you, but if you the, are driving around, if you're driving over RC, one of those ridges, RC and you was get just stuck, like, it's pretty much bye bye for you. We usually get teams, see teams eliminated so IHC quickly if they do end up crashing in situations like this. But right now, you were mentioning Reed literally positioning themselves in a good spot, trying to save his teammates. Boom as well. Because Paraboy knocked the one, and then I just see got a revenge the on Paraboy, knocked the Paraboy. So they have to revive teams in eternal, to location, and that's when I actually all the all pushed on wanting to Nova. Fight. If they don't have to, we're talking about good neighbors. Boy, this is the epitome of that. As a lot of these teams are just waiting to. Slow it down a bit and smoke gaming. This is what I want to see out of this team. How is this team going to react? A bunch of misfits, a bunch of veteran well, they're not players using out of Brazil. No idea. They've been here before maybe they in regards to maybe they haven't something. started off a tournament really, really well. But it's a completely different story. Look, see, like how this fast this Chinese event. stream is. Everything is on your side. All the eyes like the, are on you. The pressure is like their official well. Chinese stream is even faster than the team POV. To band together. So and clutch it up and start changing their day. I think today. there's there it's are gonna be, gonna a, gonna be a lot of spoilers too. either in the East Coast public mobile chat and Only also in my chat. So far, they're gonna need to no big candy, big no big candy for PMGC for PMGO. For any of these teams, no matter where the circle goes at this point, unless if it falls right on top of you, yep. there's gonna be so much there terrain, is. so many sight lines to work through. Definitely See? one of the most knocked, the heat, knocked, here knocked him here. I, oh, Gets taken out of his car and by off none other, from of course. Demo. Paraboy, the long-range god, like him. ripping him out of the vehicle. And looks, so look, look how HC does some return fire out of the actually see so HC aggressive. Working well, knocking Paraboy in the next circle. I did not see this one coming. Oh my god, seven. what a circle! Hard Jeez. to the north. All of a sudden, dead center. What's this circle like, no guys? What is that this circle like? had all the cover in the world. Oh man! Oh, I think this is a Greeny is not aware of the off angles. Yeah, if you hated that earlier circle, you're definitely and gonna no, hate this one. As now bro. we're gonna be looking at IHC just taking Rock the fight just here like... to Nova Esports, wow. and boy, they are taking good care of them. As now it's only order being alive there for oh, Nova Esports. Is he gonna be able Rock to survive? Just and single-handedly wipe Nova. Even know. He's wipe more than long, likely gonna end up wipe, backing away from this fight. And just saying, sorry guys, I'm not gonna be able to pick you up. I'm gonna have to let you be. World the champion. Versus the war of the champion. They don't want to have to back, back to back. War the champion versus the two-time war the champion guys. And the rest of the squad, except for order, ends up getting eliminated. Good push here by IC. IC saw an opening. How come Dreamy didn't? OG was the player that ended up getting a How come Dreamy angle was not aware that the, the guy who knocked Deadpool. the power so like he was, was he already like as they were coming from fire. Military like island, know and where right the guy now, was. so far, he shouldn't be not getting knocked. on the favor. As one of the players is knocked, but they like, are being able to trade there. Frozen shouldn't be getting knocked from, the, holding on from right that now. angle, Smoking to be honest. Down to two players. We'll see if they're going to try and, you know, be aggressive now. As, you know, when you're down to two players in a zone like this, chances are you're oh, not making it into the next circles. This is looking bad for Nova for now, guys. Point. So I do like seeing this. They're going to try and go aggressive instead to secure the potential elimination points instead. They already got one knock. Dreamy and Lone not playing at all. That point. He's going to drive right by. Get that KR, point. And, yep, and I thank you for the super chat. Jet they are the able to anticipate aggressive teams and way. aren't able to make the choke to hold like the old days. Team, They're just falling down like cars. Down to just two. Castle. For a Damn, team that bad. needs the points, you can tell why he was a little bit risky. 
taking those risks for whatever point it is that they can After get. After this game, so I'll go watch the match. They have one v three points. clip. The only mm, problem the is that NC. only two players are going to be think... alive, and boy. We're just gonna continue to I see feel like no crazy, crazy is probably rotations, really pissed. crazy, crazy fights. Like, honestly, and I can't wait to see get which teams are gonna be standing there when we get even to the stage five, when we get to circle six. Madness is gonna be going gonna, on as we also gonna, see like, Zebra Nasser is taking the fight to IHC. To Not sure where that is currently you're, you're, happening, you're, you're, but Zebra Nasser is gonna be able to eliminate some of the IHC players. And here we go, we're gonna be switching over to it. Jimmy or Matters, only one player of theirs is not, but they were able to take care there of IHC, at least some of the players, and they're gonna have to worry because Vampire Esports is trying to third party this. Yeah, IHC biting a bit more than they could chew right there, taking a fight with Nova and then right into Zebra. Finally, they get a little bit disoriented as a team, and a couple of, them, of their members do go wow. down. Of course, IHC still putting up a fight as they do knock one of the players and Vampire Alpha made seven. party. This has a circle once again, goes north Jeez. again, and this whole time it's actually been favoring one team and one team. One team. All these northern ships. That Alpha is Alpha Seven, seven yeah. sitting in now the God Is this gonna be another Alpha Seven place. chicken, guys? If there was ever a chance for Alpha Seven to get that back-to-back -back chicken dinner, three wins so far out of our out of four matches, this would be especially with the circles Bro. that they're currently getting, and we know the position. Even though they got two wins, like they're the not past. that Vampire far. Esports does end on the up third party in this fight. They're going to be taking care of like the that Zebra team Bra is like and they're going to be looking 34. to reposition themselves because they only have three players. They need to be careful. Zebra Masters ends up getting eliminated. I see only two player alive now. It's going to be Godless and Rogue. Trying to rip a If I watch Chinese stream in low spoil, I'm not watching that. After safe. nobody's dead, play it slow. I, I slow your that. roll down. Try to I cover your watch. angles because there's going to be so much third partying going on. We see on the elimination fee to reject a bunch of other players from I'm high watching this getting whole thing with you guys. Madness going on. Nah, Madness going to ensue. As now we're going to be switching over here to Rolls of War and Regnum Karya. Regnum Karya trying to defend it. They're going to be coming in. It's going to be just one player of Rolls of War here. I mean. It, Sorry, next Ruya. Next Ruya. I was thinking about Regnum Karya for some reason, but it's actually going to be next Ruya. One player alive. He's going to be oh. throwing a nade in there. If that's oh. going to connect, he's going to knock one player. No. Switch it oh. to the shotgun. Ah. Can he connect? He's missing some ah. shots. He's going to switch to oh. his other gun, the Scariel, and he's able to connect there, <gasps> saving his life. And now he needs to be careful. He needs to watch out for those angles because he could end up third party and getting third party as well. Yeah, that got a little bit awkward. Both players missing the oh. shots, dancing left and right, trying to pull out the next weapon they the next dancing. Rhea will come out they on top only losing good. one player but they lost probably their biggest player so far for today that is in the forum <laughs> they're literally Z dating Wolf. and dancing but as with a each three other. man with the edge of zone they could still work out a couple more points looking to gatekeep now potentially the vampire team that's knocking on their doorstep <laughs> we do have boom still with four players three elims Coming in from that southern side, working from uphill, downhill, you see one of their players driving by the next Ruya players. You can see Frenzy there trying to scout, but he needs to be careful because he's going to get picked off of that buggy. That is going to be tough, and he was none other than Falcons. Casters? We haven't really been able to see okay. much there out of Falcons. They're wanting to showcase their skills now. They're wanting to remind the the people that bit. we are here. We are here, and we are a menace to reckon with. So be careful if you do end up passing us. I see everybody currently alive, and we've been talking about it. Team Falcons currently with four eliminations. They're gonna be hard. Yeah, to you know, long smoke and movement. seeing which she teams are close by so they can start. Bro, you guys are showing long so hard. The next Ruya is gonna be aware that Team Long was is very close to them, and they're gonna. I personally feel Long actually got a like a good, really good like come over guns, like from Team Falcons. Feel. You can see like, how like proactive feel of the Falcons gun. is. Like, they come in, drop down smoke so immediately. Long is hot. I feel like Long is hot. Like when starting this game, to be honest. Is even said. Especially before they got a 1v3. Lone is hot, to be honest. More ground. Falcons moving together as a unit. Very cohesive, but the work's not done yet as Next Ruya did split up a little bit to provide some multitudes of angles of pressure onto the Falcons. Trying to trap Falcons in. Looks like it's working so far. Falcon vs. NR? Working, and as we were seeing this fight, we're wondering what was going to happen with Vampire. Oh my so god. Vampire Alpha 7 got the zone again. Right now is working out wonders for them because this zone will never alive. leave the freaking compound. We're also wondering what happened to Boom. Boom ended up getting eliminated by Alpha 7, so a lot of madness going on there. Meanwhile, Silas from Regnum Karya has three eliminations, but let's go over to next Rio Kind. We know what they're going to be going up against. They're going to be going up against Team Falcons. Team Falcons are going to be able to pick up that player that Nova. was not. And next when I was zero kill, a little bit more now no push up for me. Just two players. So those off angles that they were trying to get to, mm -hmm. 
uh, didn't work out as well as they would have wanted. Why are they not using shotguns? I, I feel like because they probably they didn't find it. You gotta risk it a little bit. Otherwise, they would have used a shotgun. Such a strong top tier team that they have the numbers advantage, and if you let them work together as a team, it's not gonna bode well. As one of them does get knocked, the Falcons pro probably get that revive and look to finish this fight out. They're gonna need a really good nade out next Ruya. But who oh, the good nade instead is from oh. the oh, Icy. Icy gets point, but another return nade. He's gotta go in at this point. He's the last member up. He's gotta make the hero play. And no, two And Nar really gave Falcon, Falcon a hard time. I see, two say, man. I hear you, Sute. I hear you hyping that man up. You know what? Let me just shut down that hype real quick because I would like to reset. I would like to continue. <laughs> Why are you the third control? And I would like to continue because to I collect this. Just got used to it. And they did. It used that. to have some advantage using the third Korea. control, but the now that one of the players did no have, obvious disadvantage for the third control. Falcons and now Team Falcons. Remember, Vampire Esports. They knew which teams were going to be fighting here. They're going to be able to relocate themselves. Noosey is going to be taking out some shots to Team Falcons. Action is going to get eliminated. Wow. And here comes the push from Team Falcons now onto Vampire Esports. Wow. A lot of third party Falcon going push on. one team and after Vampire another Esports team. Vampire Esports reacted to that so well because remember, it seemed like they were going to continue to go on the west and maybe go for a weird wrap around. But they heard all this fight and they say we could possibly get some points here. And they end up working on their way. But now it's going to be a 3v2. Yeah, that one point steal for Mafioso, way down range, you can see there in the distance, was actually probably might have been pivotal. Because the only team that I would say could really challenge Alpha 7 would be the Falcons. So third country is better man, than the first one? Uh, not anymore. So that was a big pickup for the likes of Alpha 7. And it also slows the Falcons down enough to the point where maybe Vampires can even win a 2v3 against them. Vampires could. The only problem is that Reject is on the horizon. Reject now wanted to see if they could possibly get into the action. I think they realized that this might be a bad spot. So you know what? Let's end up backing up out of this. And the circle is going to be closing in. These teams are going to end up figuring out if they can continue on this fight or if they're going to end up backing off. I see it'll close in in about 18 seconds. Top looking to see if maybe Rejects was going to be trying to flank around them. Rejects still not sure. I know they hear those vehicles. I know Reject is thinking about it. I think they're just waiting to see what this next circle what? is going to be. Why so Cody look at like the war zone? Um, about now. Who's he going to favor? Is he going to continue to favor their Alpha 7? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Alpha 7 is still going to be in the zone. And these two teams are still going to barely be in the zone with Vampire Esports having at least one player fully in the zone. Oh, Newsy. Things are really starting to heat up with these circles. They may be sharing the zone in the next zone, but they know... Oh, well, Newsy's coming! Up here. And Vampire, with that opening knock, Newsy's getting close. We'll eat a lot of nade damage. I might deter... Oh, Newsy! He's, he's not scared. The DBS in hand. He finds the second... Now, a 1v1 situation. Schweppes versus Icy. Icy with the nades. But Rejects with the timely third party. Icy will pop up. Might get both of them in the back. So, UMP in hand. Oh. Icy 1v2. Rejects is good, though. Rejects will finish that out. And Rejects making the decisive decision to take this high ground. And Rejects gets off easy right there because I thought Icy was going to be able to surprise these players as they were focusing a little bit more on Vampire Esports. Vampire Esports currently with four eliminations. And Rejects Why are they now, shooting boxes? Three eliminations shooting at the boxes. Why are they shooting hey, boxes? I mean, this is the first time you guys see each other, if I'm not mistaken. But to start doing that right now, relax, relax. Okay, relax a little bit. That was a <laughs> I was not expecting that they are out of Rejects today. I mean, I think that's just a way for Why Rejects box, to hype bro? themselves up, right? Keep up their mental. Just, like, anytime you eliminate anybody, just shoot their box and be like, I'm better. <gasps> and honestly, Rejects... Rock didn't know there's a one a guy. start on Sandhawk, I mean, that confidence, it's Oh, they didn't it. know. They oh, he's, he almost stepped on them. Getting into the late game. And he Rejects almost stepped on him, bro. Has always struggled on a global stage, so maybe what they really... Oh, know he got spotted. To just keep them going and shooting loot boxes, hey... If that's what works, that's what works. You sold me. Yes, if that's what works, go for it. I, I won't be surprised anymore. Now I know what to expect there from Rejects as we do have IC. IC was able to finish off the last player there from Vampire Esports. 
as Reject does end up backing up. And meanwhile, bro, this is another Alpha 7 chicken. The other teams are doing because oh my god, what a circle blast! Push towards Alpha 7, for Alpha 7. And Alpha 7 just keep getting angles, keep being able to defend that area, that compound where they're currently are perfectly. And on top of that, being aware of where all the other fights are going on. As you can see, those shots are going to be coming in from Alpha 7. So Reject having to hit the floor. Keep on throwing those smoke grenades and hoping that they stay alive a little bit longer and hoping that Alpha 7 stops shooting at them because Regnum Karia is also going to have eyes on them. Yeah, and that is Regnum Karia that gets a knock right there onto Duelo. And no smoke, the smoke wearing out. Rage reaction going up. Maybe he thought the smoke lasts a little bit longer. Definitely don't blame him for trying to get that revive because having two players up there would be pivotal. They want to make it further into this match. Now, their fate really just decides or depends on where the circle shifts. I don't think Duelo will be able to get revived. You can see right here, Regioso with no smoke. So he's not going to be able to provide So many baddies in Brazil, too. And Ragnum just eyes locked dead onto the rejects. Denying that revive. Really wanting to confirm the point as well. And oh, act somehow he has <laughs> crawled over. I don't know how. It looked like they had everyone's eyes trained on that shield. Did RC shoot get the Falcon? Rebound. Yeah, they shot their boxes. They got so lucky no right there. Regnum Karia decided, you know what? We're just going to stop shooting at you guys. We're going to start focusing on something else. And he was able to make that crawl to his teammate. And they are going to be able to get this is final, yes. right there for Rejects. As now they have two players up. And we're going to be switching over to this fight. This is what I've been wanting to see. I mean, if there was... We mentioned it earlier, too. As soon as you saw it, too. Oh, Cintec, my you God. Said, if Alpha there was 7. Ever a time... Literally seven, got all win. the zones I in mean, this, this game. Is, they got yeah. so blessed with the circle. Every they single the circle they, they have zone. Here is that they're continuing to be proactive. They're continuing to not even joking. People. They're continuing to be aware of where everybody is rotating and making sure they make their lives a little bit more difficult as they are trying to make their lives a little bit more difficult here to random cardio. You see the shots there coming down from Carrillo, but hopefully they don't get a little bit too tunnel vision with what's going on there towards the towards the <coughs> east, towards the north, with uh, Alpha 7 and Regnum Karia, because I see still alive, and we do have other players still alive as well. Yeah, I think, though, at this point, everybody else in the lobby realizes that's probably a four-man squad at the compound. Oh, he's still We're peeking? We're basically just fighting for second place at this point. Still peeking now, Rio. You see I shots see you. raining back, but even if they get a knock, I mean, you, no one, you can't push this. You just can't. You cross out into the open, allowing for every other team to shoot come at to you. My you crash stream. into the compounds. The other teams are shooting at you, and then immediately you're met uh, against the likes of Alpha Seven. Yeah, I think Alpha Seven's god complex here is pretty much impenetrable, and everyone else is just gonna look to get elimination points onto each other and fight for that second place spot now. That's exactly what they were going to be doing. And something I wanted to mention, I mean, if there was ever a time to see how confident Alpha Man, 7 Revo is, has improved a, to a see lot. Just now. Yeah. Revo, even though he wasn't full health, I think he had about he, maybe Revo, 25 left. Revo's, he was still Revo was picking, ready he good. Was saying, Kari, I mean, pick me. I, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm comfortable with where I'm currently at. And this is why, as Mafioso is now going to be taking on some shots there to Regnum Kari. Do you guys think Nova can get one more chicken? No wonder can get one chicken. Is the chance for some of the other teams behind them to possibly try to get a better angle on Alpha 7 and try to third party this fight while 77k in this little broken shack right here trying to stay alive reject <clears throat> trying to figure out what they're going to be doing and honestly this is just uh, you were mentioning it is just such a oh my god for all of the just other give teams. the they just need to hope they get the timing right and the alpha 7 forgets about them and they focus fully on regnum karia but it's easier said than done as alpha 7 you can see mafioso there now being able to spot some of the players from ihc and soon more than likely going to be spotting some of the players from reject as well just so give the champion, uh, give the trophy to Alpha run. 7 already, look, look at where he is right now. What he this ran song. on foot from the open where Duelo is down to that little divot past Mafioso's eyes. So, I mean, that puts him in a great spot. That might even be the spot to get him. I think Carrillo is the IGO now, no. right? Every team is in this next zone already. Yep. It's going to go to stage 9. <laughs> and all the other teams basically will be on the edge of the zone, meaning they I think they all kind of have to go in almost at the same time against the likes of Alpha 7. So I, I, your your guess is as good as mine as for who's going to get second place. As for who's getting first, 
Uh, I have a strong belief Has that it seven, is right? gonna be Alpha no, Seven. No, she find Alpha Seven not gonna win this. I'm telling you. I was, I was looking at. I can. Oh. oh. You never know. As Ray Joseph, you were talking about the what? Was able to do earlier. Well, guess what? He makes. McGrill he just got turned down, on, and that's gonna be a bit of a tough pickup there for Alpha Seven. As now they're not gonna be able to cover all their angles. Now is the time for everybody else that's been trying to get a little bit closer, get center of the circle to reposition and cover their backs too. As Alpha Seven now has to focus on that pickup, needs to stop looking at stuff. But meanwhile, Rebel, Rebel, saying his eyes focus, his eyes are locked in on what some of the other teams were gonna be doing, on what IHC was gonna be doing. As he was able to knock one of the players, McGrillin does end up getting picked up, and with that. Amazing, amazing knock there by Rejozo. It opens up the door to Reject to now end up surprising a little bit more of Alpha 7. The only problem for Reject here is look where IHC is located. Where did the zone go? IHC shouldn't be their biggest concern because Alpha 7 is going to push out first into Rejects potentially. IHC is going to be just crossfired from Alpha 7 and the likes of Ragnum Curry on the north side. So this is an all-out brawl now as the circle is closing in. That's a big knock. That's good for the likes of Rejects. Now Alpha 7 don't have a full four-man pushing into them. And Rejects Ten will kills? survive with one. IHC still alive. Is this like 11 Godless kills? On the backside. He knows a Rejects Wait. member somewhere in this Tall field. 12 kills chicken? And we're down to three teams. Godless jumping up and down, trying to peek over the top of the smoke. Rejects Alpha 7 does not even to have to move out. And get that True. second place. As Alpha 7, well, they're in no rush. They get that reset. They're back up to 4. They are back up to 4, and they know that Ray Joso is going to be close by. They know that that player, the last player from IHC, is, is going to keep it in the This is the most the boring game so far. With that Groza on in him, PMGO, I feel like. Ray Joso. I've a never seen a... Going through. I've Ray never Joso, seen a... Like this. He could he end up surprising them this even more, but blast. the good thing for Alpha 7 is that they've been able to spot him and he's going to be able to take quick care of him as Carrillo ends up knocking him. Here but we Alpha go, 7 Alpha 7 play now trying to go for really the back-to-back. Like -back. Three wins so far today in four matches. McGrillin gets knocked uh -oh. by Godless. And here comes oh, Godless, one with three? We're going to have Revo there in front of them. Here's comes the oh, he didn't even manage to hit Revo. He didn't even manage to hit Revo once. Back -back wow. Check the dinner shoot. That is three so far today. Three so far? Three out of four? It's, it's the home crowd. It's the home crowd buff. I mean, there's a reason why almost everyone in the crowd has some sort of Alpha 7 apparel. It's because they know, man. Alpha 7, this is it. This is their chance to finally secure. I, I mean, we're only into day one, and I'm already <laughs> celebrating. And I, I, should watch, I should watch myself because, like, I don't mean yep. to be the bearer of bad news, but Alpha 7, they've had this maybe not – this big of a lead early on into the tournament but they've had that first place before before the tournament has finished and they've lost it before as well this is only day one this is still extremely early over the course of the three days you don't want to be the bearer of bad news well guess what i'll be a bit of a historian because you are absolutely right alpha 7 has never had a start like this before at a global event mm -hmm. to the point that they're able to get three chicken dinners in just four matches but they have had the lead before, and they have conceded the lead too in day in the day three, whenever it matters the most. So we'll see if they can actually keep up with this type of performances. They just need to be consistent. And the good thing though here is that they were blessed by the circle. They need to yeah. thank those circle gods by what just happened in the last match. But not only that, they took full advantage of it, and they ended up with 12 eliminations, Hot Jukes. And yes, they did, but it's time to go to an interview. Let's take it on over to the main stage. Quarto mapa no nosso primeiro dia de PMGO aqui no Brasil, aqui em São Paulo. Eu tô aqui com o mafioso que está sendo saudado por toda a torcida brasileira presente aqui na Arca. Muito, muito feliz depois desse quarto mapa, terceiro mapa que vocês conseguem pegar a vitória. Queria te perguntar principalmente sobre o favoritismo que vocês chegam aqui no campeonato e que vocês têm concretizado cada vez mais, cada hora mais. Qual a sensação disso, principalmente considerando esse favoritismo de vocês? Cara, a sensação é muito boa que a gente vem treinando há muito tempo para chegar em um campeonato mundial e mostrar nosso nível. E a gente está com os pés no chão, a gente não pode deixar se levar porque a gente ganhou três partidas e vamos por mais. Perfeito, eu queria te perguntar também, aí ah, quero perguntar da torcida, já já a gente vai falar de torcida também, já já a gente vai para lá inclusive, mas antes eu queria te perguntar qual a sensação para você agora em 2024 de estar enfrentando times que são campeões mundiais, assim, coisa que você já fez no ano passado, vocês foram muito bem no Mundial no ano passado, como é que você se sente aqui, principalmente enfrentando a IHC nesse fim desse último mapa? 
É, eu me sinto honrado a, a saber que meu trabalho, meu esforço está valendo a pena jogar contra esses times aí que são os melhores do mundo. Mas a gente também treina muito para isso e não vamos ficar com medo deles, vamos para cima e tamo junto. I guess how do they how do they feel about the uh, basically they are facing one of the best teams in the world right now IHC and he basically said that he feels honored with that but they are not going to be afraid about anyone they're going to be Bro what are you guys so you guys what are you guys talking about in the chat Por último eu queria te perguntar sobre a huh? torcida a torcida que tá gritando muito por vocês I just came a back super barulhenta que vocês têm como What did I see guys I guess about all the crowd we have here and how did they affect them during the game. É, a nossa torcida é a melhor do mundo, a gente não pode nem Bro, they are switching players to the interview, bro. A gente tá jogando ali, tá sempre escutando eles aplaudindo a nós, quando a gente mata alguém, a gente consegue escutar no fone. E eu sinto muito honrado em fazer parte desse time. E guys, let's you, go. you guys are sus. Perfect. You guys are so sus. Look at me. Basically, 74. Is the best crowd in Not the even a bump in my heartbeat, right? Screaming when they kill somebody, okay. it's always very loud and everything. So they are basically honored to have such See? a nice crowd. And now she finds 70 heartbeat rate. Right Easy. Right Easy. Let's go over there. Bubba, 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 bubba! She finds not even you breaking a sweat. 69 now. Okay, I don't know about the number 69 though, but easy. Meninas, que trabalho incrível que vocês vêm fazendo junto com a organização. Gente, eu tô muito. PUBG Mobile should have more tournament hosting Brazil. I don't care if Alpha 7 is dominating or what, bro. We all audience need. Those Brazilian casters and hosts. 69 at the wrong moment. <laughs> she even got her Easter ID under the table. Can at least one of you find out what is her Instagram, bro? For research purposes? Bro, she literally lost her voice. Wait, who's... Damn. Thank you guys! <gasps> Nova is depressed as AF, guys. Nova is depressed as AF. <coughs> and boy, oh boy, even though I have no idea what was just said, I can <laughs> just feel the passion. I can just feel the happiness. I wouldn't be surprised <clears throat> if come tomorrow, if Alpha 7 continues on this trend. If you're honest, the cast is just staying usual. It's gonna turn into a carnival, hot jukes. Hot damn, by the end of this, we're gonna hear an interview from every single one of the Alpha 7 players. 22, oh my god. I mean, you can even just hear the interviews, right? Four, three out of four. Three match, chicken dinners out of four matches, bro. Of their lungs. I mean, you wow. could not have asked. Who's, who's this new player part. Alpha 7 has, though? This is my first time player seeing player him. Which team he was, I mean, which team did he play previously? Fire. And as much as we are hyping she finds crush I mean, the I, one girl. Sute said it earlier. This team has <laughs> done not even breaking a sweat, man. If you bring even if you bring Xiaoyo here, bro, man, she finds heartbeat rate is gonna stay below 80, bro. And that's gonna be the biggest question mark, I feel like, Sute. Yeah, I, I, just, 69, I just wanted man, what? to say, Jukes mentioned, you know, we might get an interview from every single Alpha man, 7 really sus. We're interviewing not just the players, we're interviewing the fans, the <laughs> owner, everybody in the crowd, because that's how many chicken dinners it looks like Alpha 7's gonna get. They're gonna get one for every Oh, it's from Vivo? I player, see, I see. Fan, whoever in the building at this point, man, Alpha 7, they are on fire. But yes, like 7 said, did they no. hit those? They've the, had the, the lead before. Really? No. Not a lead like this, though. This is unprecedented. But she can they close it out <laughs> Shut up, at the missed. very end? Uh. If there's any time to win it, I mean, it is, it is. you see the crowd, you see the hype. This is. Home territory. We said it from the beginning. Oh, home seven. Fifty nine. Home turf. Oh, this is when they need to get it 59. done. Fifty nine. Wow. 
they're not even not that, crazy. that far ahead. Oh. Yeah. I thought That's they'd be saying, further man. ahead. Like, but how about two more in the back for Alpha 7? Real quick, 16 points. 16 points separate each other. Where is uh, Peace Elite? Second place. Where is our researcher? Peace See, Elite. Worried, I felt like I would Peace Keeper Elite. More, especially yeah. with what they've been able the to guy do, who's handling I, the Peace Elite crazy. Instagram. He, he literally has every single one of Chinese, Chinese casters in Instagram. He should have. He should have. For both y'all's mouths, I swear, Zute, if you curse Alpha Seven right here, right now, you're gonna get the entire country of Brazil on you, bro. Right? Come on. I mean, this is a legendary start. I mean, this is what they've been waiting for, right? They've been waiting to get mm -hmm. that belt, right? They, I think they already have the watch on their wrist. At this point, it's just two more days to just put that class. If Alpha 7 right? gets I mean, one more chicken, organizers should have stopped this tourney. It is scary that they have three chicken dinners. The zone lock is insane. Close. But man, I mean, there's still a lot more action left to go. It's really up okay. to see how they finish. Let's watch that. And the crazy thing. part, too, is that some of the other stuff that we didn't get a chance to see because we we're just so focused there on Alpha 7 and how they finish off this fight, right? Even during the match ranking, I ended up seeing Team 5. <coughs> Do we even have it? Maybe from. Wait, he's not showing. Which channel is showing the Nova POV, guys? Which channel is showing the Nova POV? This one? Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's watch this fully. See, the quality sucks, not just my stream. Purpose, revive, revive, revive. Smoke up, smoke up and revive. Revive, revive, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming, they're coming. One shot, one shot, one shot on the buggy. No, so the, let, me, let me kill that guy, knock, knock. Dreamy said the one HP, Dreamy said the one HP, that guy one HP. What the fuck? What did you say? Why don't you weigh me? Order is asking, why don't you weigh me? Why didn't you weigh me? Wait for me. I, I, I don't understand what he's talking about. The mic is too bad. They said that they got one with three. What? What? Is Eason? Is Eason in the chat? What? 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 What are you, what, what are you saying? I don't understand. I don't understand what he said, but he seems mad. Yes. So Parabur got knocked first. That's why Death Wolf are rushing them. Yeah. Dreamy said the one HP, one HP. Dreamy said that he's for real one HP. I mean, I guess this player is indeed like one HP, to be honest. I can't understand what it all, I can't understand what order he's talking about. Unfortunately. 
I just think it's about them just kind of they still haven't started yet. Kind of air they still got two more days left. Then we know once this team starts firing at all cylinders, and we get to see performance from them, just like we saw from Alpha Seven. Yeah, I mean, for everybody asking those questions about Nova being different, Nova. It, oh, mean, thank you. Uh, different players than last time. Uh, and their their IGL come away. Kind of formed the entirety of the way Nova plays. Just, uh, so he's no longer a part of the the roster. So. And I, order I said, it, yeah, yeah, like, now I know. So, not like the meta of old, order is basically shouting. And you have to take more fights. Did we, and like, play style was a did bit we get more, a 1v3 like, overall his when he's 1hp? Was a bit more, you know, rotation -oriented, what the fuck? He, he was like, still, what the F? When you take out the IGL, did he 1v3 us like with 1hp? Basically, that's what he said. He's, he was basically shouting. That's why, like, I have trouble understanding him. And we see that right now, I think, with Nova. Yeah, and that's exactly what we could be seeing too. They could be getting adjusted to the heat of Brazil. But make sure, you know, if you, if you're able to get your hands on that Realme 12 Pro Plus, it elevates your photography experience with 120 zoom, 20 times zoom. That's right, support zoom. And not only that, how many games left? Two more. Two more for today. How to be a portrait master. They muted, they muted the comms after after that, so I don't know like what they talked. Increased quality, I can't. The real me, twelve pro. It doesn't work. We're gonna be looking at something. There's no difference between the fourteen forty p and uh, and be honest. No difference. The real me, 12 Pro Plus. We're gonna be looking at some teams to watch. I mean, I, I would be surprised if Alpha 7 wasn't there. We wouldn't be able to do it. But here we go. This is kind of what we've been talking about. IC, we saw what they were able to do there. You were mentioning what would happen to if they would have more players. I feel like we got now two scenarios back to back for IC. What could happen if you actually Aiden, had those four You're players? back and I know what we'll get chicken. There's a live, and I'm hoping that at some point for Can IC. Can someone tell you why Jimmy left? If you we, we've watch seen my PL watch parties, you would two. know that uh, they, they drop down Jimmy to left because he can play with the order. The play styles are different. But it, just imagine a scenario where they rack up those el elimination points and keep Jivan, we can, more into the late game. That's we can just barely a hear you. Potential for them. That is a chicken and a How about now? Mike test one, two, three. Mike test one, two, three. Amount for this tournament in particular coming out of IHC. So we'll see if you that feel happens. Nova would come back. Another team that we saw out there in the teams to watch. Hot Jukes. Team Falcons. You heard me talking about there earlier. They just need to have those placement points. I mean, they're currently sitting in fifth place with 23 points and out of those 23 points only five are from placement point and the next one after that fourth place has 10 placement points in the next three so we we need to start cool silas first place maybe continue with the elimination points but let me see those placement points as we are looking at the elimination leaders yeah you can just see silas leading the charge right there i mean regnum caria are definitely a team you got to watch your eye on i'm not too worried about team falcons yeah because jimmy loved because he can't play with order he's just yes about getting that right game right getting that perfect place where they get the zone and they get the obvious plays just like kind of alpha 7 did in that last game i think if the team falcons get in that position we're gonna see him get a chicken dinner with a ton of points it just hasn't happened yet so i'm happy to see teams that even though they're not having those crazy pop-off games they're still getting consistent points regardless and for next three i'm looking at t wolf remember am i right boys didn't he get those eight eliminations in just one match so you're telling me all those eliminations only came from what was sorry it? beast i have to time you out you can you can yeah. spoiler you can spoil I, I guess so just one pop off game, but it just goes to show if one player could pop off that hard in one game, imagine you know the team popping off. So, the, the Regnum Karia definitely a team to be wary about. And we still have two more games, guys. Right? Two more games. Alpha 7 has three chicken dinners, and Regnum Karia is not <coughs> that far behind. So, this team has been putting in work. And special shout outs to Silas right now, you know, leading that team with the 12 elimination points. and just doing great work for the team yeah 12 elimination points out of the 26 that that team has and if we go by what regnum cario was able to do in the prelims even though this is a completely different lobby with higher quality uh, teams out there keep in mind regnum cario did end up getting a chicken dinner during the prelims in miramar and they were still able to even when they didn't get the chicken dinners they were still able to back it up with eliminations as well so even though we are so hyped out we are in such a high that alpha 7 does have those three wins like we were mentioning they are just 
they're pretty much so close that all Regnum Karya needs to do is for Alpha 7 to have one bad game. Regnum Karya gets a chicken dinner, and even though Alpha 7 does have those three chicken dinners, they will more than likely end up passing them there on the overall. Oh, man, it's totally possible at this point. You can just start seeing the pressure start to ramp up. As we're going to start heading into Miramar, Zute. We haven't talked about... Bro, are they the guys there are so range. young? What do you think is going to happen here? Uh, well, based on the way the games have been playing out, with just how well the top teams are playing, it is... I think it's going to be a little bit more circle-reliant. And when I say that, I mean, like, even if you're the best team in the world on a map like Miramar, if you get one little bad shift and you have to fight into another top tier team, that top tier team is going to win it. And I think I feel like all the top tier teams are just performing at max capacity. Let me refresh. Like Miramar, if you get one little bad shift and you have to fight into another top tier team, that top tier team is going to win it. And I think I feel like all the top tier teams are just performing at max capacity right now. So it, it's going to come down to a little bit more of rotations and circles, I think, than ever before in, in other previous tournaments. We were, we were talking about cheating now? About some what the heck? As well, as well, this team, Rose of War, I mean, we have seen them take the fight there. Some of the top teams as well and being able to come out on top. But currently, when we end up looking at the overall, they're just sitting in 11th place. So it's not good enough that they are able to win some fights here and there. As we saw them practically just showing the Mexican flag. And this is what they're fighting for. Not only oh. just... <laughs> Leon Chief on green? What? Beautiful. What are you I talking about? That trophy looks like. I, I wish we were there. I wish I could take a picture with it. But you oh. know what? Next time. Next time, indeed. Speaking of beautiful, Sushi at 57 in the chat saying that we all look good today. And I'm telling Chief you, you're cheating on who? On you, with you, Bu. I'm better. cheating with you. And you're right, man. I mean, it's And so you're cheating with FS. The energy in the building has to be just popping off because Alpha 7, right? The host team are doing exactly what they need to do. And if for some reason Alpha 7 does end up pulling off another Or PM Joys was boring and PM GC was fun. In the first I mean, it was it's fun. PM Geo 2024 Brazil. PM Geo 2024 is fun. It's just last game, I feel like. That gap that we've been talking about, Juice. Yes, we are. And I think it's going to have to start happening in Miramar as we head on over to the desert. It's just going to change things up big time. It is gonna be changing things up big, big time. And look at this plane path all the way to the west. She might thought you were going to Brazil. I know I didn't get a movie. Junkyard, La Vendita is gonna be a little bit tougher. You know, you're gonna have to get hop on those vehicles and start sending it your way. But I want to see if we're gonna get maybe any hot drops. We saw some hot drops early on in San Joaquin. Then after that, I think we saw a couple. You could kind of call those hot drops in Erangel, possibly. Possibly. Is this the chance here? Could we get a hot drop, Duke? I think it's possible. Better plan path for Nova. Chat, you know, he commented and he said that, you know what, he's expecting and predicting a D plus D. Uh, I think, I think your angel was, is Nova's see, best map. If we see reject hot drop again, that'll just blow my mind. So we'll see. Shifan, I need you to like your video on this course so that I can, when you see, what do you mean? Like, watch your video. What video? This is going to get crazy. IHC seems to be pretty close to another team as well in Monte Nuevo. Yeah, and I really hope that rejects with what you were talking about there. I hope that they don't end up hot dropping because that last match. How's your bra team really doing today, Shifan? Oh, my bra team is really strong. They are, I think they are second place right now. The circle going towards Despite the fact the first place in team got like three chickens, they are still holding the second place with like... Three placement points. Oh, the no, gap is not too wide. Three eliminations. That's what you want to see. But you were talking about. Oh, DK versus the IHC. D plus Kia very, very close by. And this could be another hot drop for D plus Kia. We saw what happened with them earlier in Nova Esports. Nova was able to do Bro, very, DK. very quick work of them. I'm sure D plus Kia is going to be looking to make a difference here. Not want to see it be so easy. <gasps> Bro, team just one, <laughs> one guy thirsted from world. Team Bra. I as they were green you just the cursed them year looking to put another belt around their waist it's gonna be tough the alpha seven starting out so strong but it ain't over yet there's still two more days left to get played folks so make sure you set your alarms bright and early because things are heating up big time we're in the early match here and, and the loot is so low you can see nobu just has a uh just has that regular pistol shotgun right there that is not what you want 
Demo OG back there. I saw. I think I got a chance. Live so late in Chinese live war in zone three. I know, I know, I know. But we don't have access to that. Also, the player, our viewers don't have access to that. And now what? Guess what? Dragnum, the team that we're talking about, the consistency. They're currently going to be getting into a fight here with Death Wolves. They're going to be able to knock one player. But we are jumping into this fight, and Regnum Karia is already down one player. They're going to make sure that they don't lose any more. Nice this player doesn't have any armor, no helmet, nothing to his name. And he's still going to be making the push. Can he time oh, this right? Very nice very play. Can he push out and actually eliminate that player? He's gonna Not going to lie. He's going to keep on chasing. What a madman this guy is. He's going to be careful. If they find a shotgun, he's going to be in trouble. He has no vest, no helmet at all. But they really want to take out the Death Wolves. Here comes Regnum Garia Bra. Trying to be able to find some angles here. Just doing nothing but suppress the fire. But a nice little knock there from Death Wolves might just shut him down. Now here oh, comes the shotgun, but that's bruh. better. Oh, way to get it done. That's going to help at least stop that fight for a little bit longer. There's no ammo. And, ooh, that pump shot. He has it, but I don't think he had any 12 ammo. ammo. That's right. He didn't have any ammo for it. And on top of that, he only had eight bullets there on the vector that he did. Oh, wow. Look how confident this player is. To convert some, some of this eliminations. And now he just needs to worry about one player left of Devils. Bro, that player? Right a boy. And I think right a wow. Boy to just clutch up some more points for his team. Just needs commit. to get a better angle here. And he's going to back off. Uh, I don't think he can back off afford it. I mean, he, just trying to leave this is going to be almost impossible. They're going to chase you down. So, uh, man, they were really hurt, but after so long, yeah, now you NRX looks so play. young. Regardless, it's going to be yeah, a NRX looks so young, yeah, so Death strong. Wolves. And uh, three eliminations, all up from one player here on the side of Regnum Karia. That was crazy, too, because I mean, when we jump into this five ranks, where he literally got all three kills in the hot drop at a disadvantage, but man, Death Wolves just started falling apart there. As some of the teams, some of the players didn't even have any ammo or didn't have that much ammo. So they have to think about, usually we're used to seeing just all these players pre-fire, get ready for it, just hold that angle, pre-fire some more. But they had to be a little bit more tactical here with how they were going to take care of the ammo that they had at hand. Oh, man, that's so tough. That's why these hot drops are so toxic. You know, you just have to kind of have the luck of the draw of what kind of weapon you're going to get. Now, they're going to start hunting down this final player. Uh, but man, did he haul it. I mean, he's been <laughs> running. He's been kind of, kind of keeping a little true to his name. He scurried straight away and is just going to try to get some placement points for his team. Get it right, a boy. His name is like that for a reason. We're talking about what was going to happen with IHC earlier. Ooh. And now the plus Kia, the plus Kia is going to be able to get the upper hand on IHC. Now they're going to be making it here into a 4v3. You can see the plus Kia. Maybe they were just looking to not run into the issue that some of the other teams were just able to run in with Random Kari and, and Death Wolves wanting to have enough ammo, wanting to have some uh, some armor as well. This could be the turn of the game. Sucks as so much well. reload. It's going to be getting hunted. Uh, mine's here. fine. Three players of D plus Kia are going to be going into this building, but luckily for Rogue, he does have a shotgun to his name. Yes, he does. So let's for Nova 10th? Yeah. What happens here is Deepluck's Kia is going to start on the press. They know they have the man advantage here. Rogue's got that yeah, pump shot. He just holds Nova in 10th place. They have not earned any points himself. in the past so few Deepluck games. Kia no. Are smart. They, can push together they weren't. And make sure they got they wiped by AHC ones. One by one. Every single one of them has a shotgun. And Rogue's all by yeah, And uh, they got wiped they by uh, Alpha 7 ones. I see it's going to be in big Twice, trouble actually. for them. I mentioned earlier, Demo OG does have the M249. He's trying to find those angles, but right now he's not going to be able to find any here on D+. Plus. Yes, they are inside the building, and guess what? Rogue doesn't want to wait. Rogue wants to get the fight started, but he needs to be careful because he currently has no armor. Dude, so nobody isn't ready, bro. Use that TPP to my advantage. I mean, I predicted their final rankings to be like 5th and players. around 5th. Yeah. So 5th to 6th. I see feel like, they're trying to personally... Do the with the submachine gun. I mean, they still have like 10 plus road. games. Go. Now oh, comes the push. Is he going to be able to knock him? He's not going to be able to knock him. He say he's going to get finished by D plus Kia. And you were talking about it. It's not looking good here for IHC as they only have two players left. That was the right play from D plus Kia. They, they, they got the initial finish on one player. And then they noticed that Rogue was isolated. Hey, send the whole squad. Take him out. And then now you're in a 4v2 situation. IHC is still split up, so now D plus Kia. What do you think? Will 4 a.m. play better than Nova? Probably. It depends. 4 a.m. is like a really yeah, yeah, it's, it's inconsistent it's team. Sometimes they can be really strong. Sometimes they can be the dead at bottom. Like so, you cannot really. We can't really tell if like if it's 4 a.m. playing instead of Nova, how strong will they perform? 
gate right in front of him. But it does look like Bro, DK winning like a hard drop. Here in the situation. And IHC making their smart move right there as they are grouping up like you mentioned. This is probably maybe the turn of events that you wanted to see. Demo D was able to get some shots there on one of the players from B plus Kia when he was running around. Meanwhile, I wonder if there's any utility here because if K can throw a oh. grenade right in the top. Oh, oh. It's over. oh no. Oh, what? Lock, but somebody was able to actually IHC was able to knock one of the players too. Demo, Demo? G with that M249. The only problem is he doesn't get he doesn't have that much seals after this one. He's gonna start looking for some because it's just gonna make it tougher and tougher. And I think they might just be able to reset right here with that player unless he decides. Oh, but something's to still alive. Top top place. No, no, no. Go for that reset. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Yeah, I think D plus Kia, just hey, take the time. Yeah, it's still stage one. You can eat some blue zone. I know you want to prioritize circle, but just get these. Yo, she even host a forty four. Don't even lose a wow, single player. Wow, with NHP versus Nova, I don't think they care about now. like 44. The the wow, to be honest, demo, your eyes are on the PMGO. Oh, oh double hold the next on the even third floor. Get this finished quickly, and here comes D plus Kia on the charge. Oh no! IHC doing a great job of shutting them down, and things are falling apart for D plus Kia. What could happen oh, if IHC had all their bro! Imagine he that's managed to not knock the player there. Saying, well, guess what? They don't need all their players. They just need two players to be able to clutch up and start getting elimination. Start getting those. Oh players. my oh, God! Did they just one v two? They had the numbers of one v two, two, two versus four. They just two versus four. Wiped DK. Disgusting. I Man. Mean, these guys are no DK's like CQC is really good, but like, like the I don't like these hot drops, dude. DK, if they want to place higher squads, than just 10. On top of Everest, and it just goes to show one little mistake at this level, even if it's just 2v4, they're going to take you out. Now, here comes Royals of War versus Rejects. Reject trying to back This is the IAC we love, and we know. Are behind them, trying to see if maybe they can provide some cover for their teams. Right up on that building, Rolls of War. We were talking about them just now, saying that they've been able to play. Don't knock the demo. I think they are all the mass. That fight was really, really long. To be honest, that just happened in D plus. They're showing why they're the world champ. Yeah, this, this blue zone is gonna start ticking, and they don't really have that many heals. But let's focus here on reject. You're gonna be able to spot one player there from Rolls of War. He's not gonna be able to connect as that player was on fire. He needs to be careful as one of the players does end up getting knocked there from reject. Rolls of War trying to get those oh, angles. Tonka with the right angle right there through the window. Rejects trying to make the push, but it's a little bit too what late. This? As Royals Reload, bro. Just taking care of them. Here we go with the 1v1, but they are just too much for Rejects. I just Sending can't back to the lobby. survive. Royals of War wins this engagement. And they I feel like they could win. find some bandages, but like, Reject I don't think they can survive it to the, like, the last zone. For them no. as they just continue on with these early, early fights. And it had been working out for them a little bit. Uh, but they just it, it, it was bound to just go the opposite way eventually and that happened to be the situation here now Nova Yo, Gino Sopi about time you joined my membership. Welcome. Welcome Gino Sopi. Welcome. Welcome What do you think is your strongest? Thank you and Gino's. Thank you Gino's. That's tough. That's really tough mm, I don't know. What do you think? I think Sandhawk today <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's off of some centers all. Uh, I didn't check. You know, kind of playing. No, it's not. They are not. I personally not. was talking to you know Zuta. I was talking to you too about how I don't think the split really works so well anymore. How do you have a membership? Because uh, you weren't uh, uh, gifted the sub from uh, you know, my viewers. It is them as this next zone oh, goes dead center onto one head <coughs> squad. Vampire Esports. We were talking about. Oh, Vampire Death Center. Because this for once, Alpha Seven is not like Death Center in the zone. And they are also going to be inside that zone. Going to be none other than Team Falcons, and they're looking to get those placement points. It's all you are not going to get a free membership, so you bought it. Thank you, Genos, for the support. Appreciate it. <laughs> Better luck next time. It's nice. With your uh, give them members. That they would have after three Alpha Seven is campers. Alpha Seven is no campers. They can fight. They can put up a fight really well. My goodness. It's just like they were, their circle was just too happy. good. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna be doing whenever we end up. She knows I got it for free. Ooh, it's gonna get crazy, that's for sure. Like uh, said, we'll have an interview with every single one of the players as here comes Carrillo. Oh my goodness, just straight up dominating the final player of the Death Wolves. You can just hear the crowd going nuts every single elimination they get.
And that crowd is going to keep them hype. You heard them say, Mafioso earlier saying that they could hear him. Every single time they get an elimination, they could hear the crowd in the background. And boy, as somebody that has played Hot Dukes, you have played an Atlanta event before. You have heard that crowd. How much difference does that make, especially considering that Alpha 7 are the hometown heroes? I, I will say it makes a big difference depending on the kind of person you are and player that you are. For some people, they just can't handle pressure. So sometimes that crowd actually makes things harder, right, when it gets the, uh, the highs and the lows. But you can see Alpha 7. They're so used to the pressure by now. These guys have, have gotten top three in two PMGC tournaments. As a matter of fact, a lot of people thought they should have lost. They should have won the last one, barely losing it out in the last second. So uh, I think for a team like Alpha 7, the crowd just hypes them up more and more and more. And hopefully they continue that streak. And like you mentioned, with falling short so many times, they 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 feel like they're just oh right what a spray! Who's right there? Wow! Fluya, as they're gonna end up el eliminating Regnum Karia, and this is the. Chief, I imagine doing push-ups for Alpha Seven. Seven. Nah, I'll Alpha do push-ups for Nova as well, because if Alpha Seven ends up with a great match here, boy, that gap is gonna be building and building. And the crazy part too is that there's only two players alive from IC. Yes, they're gonna continue to do work, Ooh. but if Alpha Seven ends up with a win here, we could have. Have a much much comfier gap and as i'm saying that s2g ends up knocking one player from alpha 7. yeah and i'll tell you what alpha 7 needs to stay up they need to create that big gap and one thing i want to see in future days future games is is for them not to let off the gas you know i don't want to see alpha 7 switch to passive once they have that lead because that's how aggression is what works best for them right yep. 59. The fact they don't make Damn. any second thoughts any second decision and I hate to see when teams do that. They get a big lead, and then they're thinking, oh, let's just change it up. All we got to do is get five points. And then we see them get passed up on the leaderboard. So they got to be careful, because even though IHC has two players up, seven, they still they got five eliminations. <laughs> That's insane, man. That's insane. You know what? They ended up getting four eliminations earlier from D plus Kia. And on top of that, I think they ended up eliminating one player from Regnum Karia too, which is just absolutely ridiculous. You're going to see Team Falcons there being able to hold off next Rhea, trying to see if they can maybe end up surprising. New Circle still going to be locked in on Vampire Esports. Team Falcons, though, barely in this zone. They're going to be looking to maybe position themselves a little bit better. But if you can, while you can, Team Falcons, continue to get this point. Next Rhea, giving you some options with the points. Keep going for him. Hey, and I was gonna go back to high fives. Sorry, but I got lucky that day. Talking about that team. Oh, wait, you know what? We'll go back to this because Royals oh. are Royal Wars from fighting Nova. They get enough. We reject, they won more as they're gonna be taking the fight over to Nova. Nova's in big trouble, man. Wait, was Nova doing the 2 2? Points came from that first game, right? Yep. I mean, they have not been able to have a good performance in Erangel. Now it's not looking good in Miramar either. We have to figure it out, but all boom is fighting a seven. The boom in the feed, you can hear the crowd get silent. Oh, they yeah, traded with, with a nice little return shot, huge. And now we're gonna switch to that fight. Here we go. Oh, and both on fire. That they need it here. Alpha seven currently with two players knocked, but boom is nearby. Boom is a team that hasn't really been able to put up. Man, nobody got caught today. doing splits. Oh, Red Alpha seven winning right now. They are just too much. As boom esports says, no, 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 Alpha seven, slow Alpha. down your roll. We don't want you guys to get up <sighs> on the leaderboard. And for the teams that we're looking to make that change, for the teams that we're looking to get those extra points, what a better time to do so now that you have first place and second place out in the lobby waiting for the next match. I mean, it's time to like come back. Right in 13th place, I see come back. Maybe the top squad. That's going to be huge for just your overall mental help you bounce back. Yeah, it's at the end of the day. But if you can get a good game here and a good game in the next Miramar, That'll definitely put you in a good position <laughs> going into tomorrow. You could see the look on the faces of the crowd. 2024 right? Nova doesn't use DVS. What do you think? Happy, but still a lot I still don't. I don't know, man. I'm over here jiggling because I just saw what popped up on the screen. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Demo OG from IC continuing to get eliminations. I don't know where he was getting wow. the from. There you go. They get eliminated as Demo was the last one of the only two last players standing. But they <laughs> end up getting eliminated. They still end up with six eliminations. That is solid for that team, considering what happened at the beginning. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm saying is like when you have a bad game, you want to still put up something. And I always say like six to eight points, because then once you get that good, you know, circle, good map, you pop off, you go crazy, you get that 20 point game. That'll put you in position for first place. So great way for IHC to when everything goes wrong to still hold on and get those beautiful six elimination points.
Meanwhile, look at this. This is a huge opportunity for a lot of yep. teams to start, you know, gaining on this leaderboard. Yeah, not only boom. I mean, these are teams we're looking at now. Falcons of Falcons with, with like full squad. Falcons still a full squad. This is now how they were looking to start. Well, there are so many full squad long in this I match. Smoke. I think I saw smoke by earlier. They Next might be Suya of Empire. On them. I fight needs to be careful here because they are going to be just barely on this on on the edge of the circle. Team Falcons having such a high ground. They're going to be able to take shots on any. Oh, would the game be pissed? The chance to do it and now, now we'll watch we're it back. Have a bit of a switch up here. We'll watch it back up for the game. Watch Holly die. We could end up Bro, if Nova finish, is alive here, literally they're a dead center. We'll have to at some point position themselves a little better unless they get some bless, which would uh, be crazy. That would be crazy. I'll take an urban finish right now. That'll be interesting. Meanwhile, you got S2G inside the warehouse holding it down in a very, very good spot. This could be their comeback game. Chinese team have more confidence on anywhere. We saw using AR. AR. Do a pretty solid rotation. They moved very quickly into a good spot in this circle. It's just going to depend on where that zone goes. If it goes to Los Leones, oh, we're going to be in to, for a huge long circle game. We will be on that, but guess Did what? Did you see what that we are seeing 40 plus survivals in Los Leones 3 in May Ben, the lobby is a faster phase? They I think the reason why the lobby is fast because now the top global teams that that been on are kind of understanding the game better. Like, it too. like it, this, this is the reason why I said like I I'm watching this Noah, feels like I'm watching PEL because teams, teams actually teams third party and take the advantage and not waiting and camping like not like before. I think that's the reason why like we're seeing a faster one instead of like you know just like 40 plus people in the final zone and stuff. Getting pushed by Team Falcons in Team Falcons. We're talking about splits. Look at this split right now. Oh, Falcon. Speak of Vampire and Falcon. Right they got in the fight. Holding this edge of this zone, and they have Icy up close. And the problem is the timing of this, because this next, next zone is starting to close, and they're gonna want to be able to get a little bit of breathing room here, just in case it does hard shift. Wait, Falcons doing doing a two-two split? Gets an initial knock. Icy is lit to hack, and Tony K gets that knock. You see Next Rhea getting in the mix now. I mean, there's just third parties all over the place. Next Rhea saying, you want to take that fight? You forgot about us. Well, let me remind you that oh. he's going to end up getting caught there by Schweppes. Schweppes is going to turn around and see if he can possibly spot some of the other players from Team Falcons. Team Falcons wanting to go for the push here. I think they were a little bit too split. And it's starting to show as high fives is close by. The oh, Paraboy the with the low range. Um, knock at the high five players. Very close. And I'm sure Team Falcons is not looking forward to this. Action does end up getting eliminated. And so far out of this fight, Vampire Esports has gotten the better of it. The only problem with Vampire Esports is that they do end up losing on Tony K. No, yes, they do. But you see Schweppes put in work with that gyro on that player cam. Moving back and forth, trying to catch some... Hit markers through the smoke. Rolls of War. Colgate catches Frozen from next Ruya. Miyaki catches one of the members from Team Falcons. It's an all-out war here for this central position. I know it's still stage five, but they definitely want to be able to get some breathing room in case this next zone hardship. Nova still zero kills. Going to be stopping anytime soon, and it's just <coughs> it's going to be top. The last player standing there for Falcons. I doubt he's going to be able to pick up. I see that was not in crawling. A team that is looking to add some more points. A team that I personally want to see more out of. None other than Smoke Gaming currently good position right there. But let's see where this. Oh my is gosh. End up going. Nova. And he does end up going a little. Oh, bit if Nova got the full Urban, squad Nova here. War, S2G, all those teams, even Nova right now, they're going to be happy that they're not having to fight their way into this circle, Hot Jukes. Yeah, especially Nova. They're a two man right now, just holding some buildings, getting some oversight. So they're in a really good position with this zone shift. S2G are probably in the most dominant. They have that warehouse right there, which is going to be super beneficial in case that Wait. zone decides to go sneaky. Look at that. Now you got Why two? Boys, look, bro, Hi-Fi is even more aggressive. Building. Like, look at Hi-Fi split. Tap, tap, tap it away. Trying to get some extra points on the board. And Monkey trying to get the crawl. He might just get to safety. And it looks like he does. And Colgo getting some eliminations too for Rolls of War. And here we go. The push. I was wondering if these two teams were going to end up fighting. Smoke Gaming needs the points. And they are wanting to take the fight here to Rolls of War. Is Royals of War going to stick to it? Or are they going to decide to back off? And I think one of the players is trying to get a off angle there. Or trying to get a little bit closer to his team. We were praising earlier how Team Falcons always, even though they do end up being a little bit split, it's always close enough that if a player goes down, they're able to reset right away. 
maybe that's exactly what the world of war player was doing in smoke gaming at the moment slowing down their push because they don't want to be exposed once they go over that ridge and they want to start focusing a little oh. bit more on rex through on next three as next three is going to give him a chance there to get some knocks and possibly turn them into some elimination points mean hole has a really disgusting angle to next Ruya. they're pretty trapped they're going to lose all their vehicles and that sucks because they really really needed them in case this next zone decides to go anywhere away Nova has them. to be top five so or no chance to come back. Out those vehicles alone has crippled next Ruria big time. Rural oh, high five is taking, though, it's getting, coming in hard with taking apart by Vampire. So far. Lost one for high five. Hit him eliminations and not just on any teams, right? Some of the top teams too. I mean, the, everybody's a top team here in True. this lineup, but boy, for them to take the fight with what we were seeing earlier and right now, Controlling this little compound is working out wonders for them. Now Smoke decided to back off a little bit more. Try to focus on next three. I see if they could maybe end up finishing some of those other players. Top still alive from Team Falcons. Absolute madness. They, 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 sometimes I hate and love Miramar. And right now with what I'm seeing here, I absolutely love it. As Vampire Esports currently has three players alive. Yeah, well they're on that other side of the map. Seven eliminations too. So they're starting to get warmed up. Here is that planning phase because of the where because of how the layout is of this circle. Now all the fights have pretty much come to a stalemate. They're waiting to find out where this next zone's gonna go. So teams hopefully have their vehicles ready to go, except for next Rio because they got blown up. They, next Rio is just hoping that that zone comes to them. If it does, they'll be in a great spot. If it goes away, they're done for. And if it starts going even more to the urban, all of these teams are just going to be hurting. As you've seen, Team Falcons, even though they were trying to make pushes, even though they were trying to get into fights, they end up getting eliminated with a big O donut, with big O zero points. Not what Team Falcons was looking to do, considering that that team has been consistent when it comes to the PMGO prelims in regards to Miramar. Not how they were expecting this to go. And now for S2G, they're going to have to start worrying about Boom. Meanwhile, oh. they have a high fives player that's going to be very close by as the circle closes. And my goodness, does it close in an interesting spot? It sure does. It gives a huge advantage on over to S2G. S2G has been chilling in this warehouse for a hot minute, and they're not having to worry about anybody so far. The only problem is, is that if we see some teams come on from that right side of them right here, just kind of just, you know, leapfrog in between the little coverage there, that could be problematic. So we'll see what and how this all ends up. Meanwhile, you got Nova <coughs> up on top, <laughs> yep. just still just putting in some work from downtown. Nova with only two players left, Long Skirt and Paraboy still alive. I mean, we you talked about it earlier. We saw what Paraboy was able to do there with the long shots. He might have not been able to confirm that into an elimination, but he could make some of these rotations or some of these fights even harder for some of this team. So the opportunists that they are, I'm sure they're going to be looking to get some points. Nova usually, as we get a chance here to talk about some of these teams, Nova usually does start very slow. I think Nova still has zone. At least from what I've seen in the past. And they pick it up. It's like they take their time on the first. But like the next zone, Nova is dead. Nova would be dead in the next exactly zone. What's currently going on with Nova? Yeah, I mean Nova's always been that kind of team, right? Always been a late tournament. Order is pressured. I don't think order is pressured. I feel like order continue to play. He's been maintained. He's like the. Continue to soak up a bunch of points. That'll be huge. But they did go out early here. Vampire, Worlds of War, Next Rio was in the mix, but they just went out. So we could see some of these like seriously in this tournament every team is fighting for the first place because only first place the reward is decent like 100k the second place is getting 50k and it goes like even lower than those because he's gonna be throwing nades and he needs to be careful not oh to be they don't have a zone here. actually it's gonna be a tough push here luckily for him he still has they a little do bit of I, th I think yeah they do they do they do we'll still have zone. Gonna be in zone it is gonna be for long term but i don't think it's gonna be nice Parabu Parabu got one please confirm so that i can do the push-up he's gonna end up sending it to the long confirm line. please the Parabu. that there's another player right below him that's gonna okay that he's gonna be up there and they're gonna be waiting for him to just jump down oh yeah they're not making it off this off this hill here so right now you can see Parabu and long just trying to get as many points as they can as possible the zone centers on up s2g getting very zone oh no parable got knocked bro did my push did my push up curse paraboy knocked long i think has to just not even worry about him try to get wait points on the why didn't paraboy go to long yeah, you're not making it down this mountainside 
Yeah, and that's what I was worried about there where Paraboy was. None of that. Why didn't Paraboy go to Lone? It's going to be tough for him to be able to even move Lone. Oh, does did he got camped by the Zebra with. player? So he's going to see if he can maybe collect. No, he was, it was not. Any of the teams that are going to be fighting here. Smoke Gaming taking more of a southwest angle here on this fight. As they're going to try to surprise Vampire Esports. Vampire Esports, remember, they lost Tony K earlier in the fight that they had with Falcon and a bunch of other teams third party. Vampire Esports could possibly be able to hold out Smoke. I don't think Smoke is going to want to fight them, though. With everything here, Smoke honestly, gaming. I don't know who's going to end up winning this match. All I know Lone's is that dead. S2G is going to be looking good, and that is it for Nova, only being able to pick up one elimination point. Yeah, oh! I would have liked, like, liked to have seen them kind of circumvent and just battle it out with Royals of War, but this is the part where it gets troublesome, you know, especially since they're in last place. They just desperately need points. They don't want to do any risks. And that is a risky, risky play. So they're just going to hold it out. The problem is, is that they're right out in the open. So there's not much that they can do from there. Uh, we'll see what they have to create some smoke walls, drive up and try a crash. Look at the fight. How is he going to be doing? Boom, still alive. Boom, looking to get those points. They already have five in eliminations. They have all of their players standing, if I'm not mistaken. And Royals of War, we saw what they were able to do earlier to Noah. We saw what they were able to reject. They're wanting to take this fight here to a champion, a PMGC champion in S2G and S2G throwing nades. Meanwhile, on the other side, Vampires were 18 people alive. Wow. At each other, Three full sure squads. Make the rotations a little bit easier, but SGG has just push up cursing Nova. Ray hauled off here. I mean, Nova would be dead. So like, I predicted Nova would be dead, team. like, after that zone. Unless so, the push up was like a rewarding. It's a reward for Nova. But even then, Jukes, SGG is so safe. It's a right Nova now, privilege. That is gonna be so difficult. Yeah, bro, that, that's the only thing. Nova, day two buff is gonna be a thing. Is this angle here? I was surprised. Let's, let's pray. Let's pray and hope. For. I think he just had to send it from that angle. Bro, there's no way S2G, S2G would lose this. I mean, I'm surprised. Yeah, we're not seeing any kind of utility getting yep. thrown here. And because of that, we see S2G able to finally take out Rolls of War. This side is now clear. S2G only got to worry about a couple of angles now. And with S2G, while this fight was going on, Vampires Esports did end up getting eliminated. So now there's only have to worry about high fives, which only have one player. Boom as well is going to be around. And Smoke is going to be making on this push. Smoke looking to finally get some good points here on the leaderboard for themselves. S2G oh, what a chaotic now to make a fight here. between all the teams. Can he turn around? Can he knock the other one? He's not going to be able to convert that into elimination, but it's going to make it a little bit harder there. S2G check in. Boom, Esports. And that gives just enough time for some of the players from S2G for them to... Yo, the high five players still survive. He's still surviving. Snowix doing his best impression of the trophy in the middle of the stage. Not moving a muscle. And he has not this entire game he has stayed there just trying to get these placement points not to get not giving any audio cues he can be a problem here because s2g is battling it out with boom oh s2g and there's trades back and forth between both two left for s2g and boom doing exactly what they need to do if they get the knock turn that into elimination point right away meanwhile oh this huge nade on between boom esports and s2g jump on it jump on it jump on it he, he got eight, eight kills to worry about for boom and boom has the high ground they're gonna be pushing from the bottom he's gonna friend is he got eight kills he's gonna get the knock and it's gonna come down here bro did he got 10 kills as boom esports indonesia finally get a chicken dinner did he got 10 kills guys big big way for the PMGO Brazil, and that's what we wanted to see, Hot Dukes. Oh, that was huge right there. Frenzy, that was all Frenzy. I, I, I think he got 10 kills, guys. Once he got on that roof, I mean, it was just like shooting fish in a barrel right there. 14 eliminations, 1,400 damage. This is a chicken dinner that they desperately needed. It is. 14? Are you kidding me? Ooh. This is the boom that we were hyping up. This is the boom that we have been talking about for the longest time. Coming into this last match, they, I mean, they had 35 points. Solo 10 kills? You know, it's nice to I have, think he got 10 14, kills, to be honest. 14 eliminations? You gotta be kidding me. Huge, huge. Wow. Indonesian uh, comeback. Rocket launch them up the leaderboards right on time, too, because we've seen some big point sponges, especially yes. early in this tournament, too. Yeah, it's a lot of the big point sponges, however, got taken out early, as we saw, you know, top of the leaderboard, then second, and then third, almost like one by one, like a domino effect. So, this does make things quite interesting, though. 
So what should the Chinese dream she find much match started? Queen Boom Esports. You were talking about it too. Hajik Frenzy there with the jump up on that roof, making sure that he Do you guys want as soon as Do you guys want like the angle that he Do you guys want to watch the last last the match in PEL? Like the the Chinese stream? And on top of that, Frenzy just went for it. He knew that that You guys want to watch it like right after this match? No interview, no break, just directly watch the next match. What do you guys think? Let me let me make a vote. Even better. Oh man, it's a sigh of relief, right? That's what it looked like there because they definitely needed a game like that to put them into a good position. Match That's what six. Talking about right is all these teams have this pop off potential, right? So you, if they're able to get some decent stream. points in, you know, the other matches, the second Chinese they get the opportunity, stream. they're gonna capitalize it, and a, and a fourteen elimination chicken dinner is gonna shake. If we have it over like eighty five, we'll all switch it to like the Chinese stream right now. Get a bit more interesting. It's no longer the top dogs. Well, we have a few top dogs now as the middle of the pack kind of moves up a little bit more. We still have one game left today. And if this, if a, if the same thing happens again, where we see more is 50, it's literally 50, 50 guys. All of you said yes, but it's like literally 50, 50. Day with like multiple teams neck and neck near the top three of the leaderboards. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Chinese stream. Match is the the game already like started. If we switch it right now, we can watch the game. Get the eliminated very early on, and they were like, "Okay, if Alpha Seven stays alive, if they get points, boy, we're gonna start seeing an insane kind of gap here from some of these teams." But for Alpha Seven to also get eliminated, it kind of gives that big push for for teams like Boom. I mean, Boom going up forty six percent of them. Before this chicken, dinner, <laughs> they had a total of eleven points, and with this massive win, it's just gonna propel them up that leaderboard so it's gonna as Sute was saying it's gonna make it tough tighter and tighter but you know what let's go English is better you guys wanna you guys wanna interview or not because once I switch I can't switch it back otherwise you know you guys already know what happened right we have 49 percent like <laughs> there are a lot of people you want to see the Chinese stream guys you guys are making me a hard choice for the main event, they prepare something in specific. You guys are. Switch? Switch? And then I translate? Yeah, on Chinese stream. On Chinese stream, the game already started. <laughs> Switch this girl now, hot. Rep it! Okay? Okay. Switching. Okay? I see none of you say no. If you say no, you better type it right now. Fuck it, let's, let's see the Chinese one. Bro, I swear the quality is much, much better. What do you think? How about the quality? The quality is much better, right? Oh, it's DK fighting HC again. The quality on the fonts also? Yeah. The quality is so nice. The quality is so nice. Oh, Gun is knocked. Oh, he hit his backpack. DK后援的成员也想要过来，帮助一下前年战场。但是SC这里一楼也已经留人了。对，现在呢，对于DK来说，没有办法去拔掉肉鹅的主要原因，就是因为自己的药物储备不够。这样的一个修腿，在缝
不着急，知道对方是喷子，一定要拉开身位。如果主动进攻的话呢？ But、why we watch the mainstream team now? This is so much better because this is in Chinese. I thought, I thought the majority of you guys would enjoy the English one. 对，刚才一个是在这个围栏的缝里面，刚才又是在门框里面，差点把对面给穿倒了。你看他很聪明一点，就是当对方喷子响起的时候，我就不跟你在贴脸的位置作战了，我跟你迂回嘛。防止可能会被你一喷喷倒这种情况。对 ，Is it me or the spectators are nicer too? What do you think? Is it me or the spectators are like better? Now, it's become like DK attack. DK attack. Both sides are the same situation because there is no DK attack. So, we can only use the gun and the support to open the door. So, this area could be a very important place. Oh, sorry. 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 O
应该是，呃，也能缓一口气儿吧。因为如果对方药物够的话，其实硬卡你，你一点办法也没有。对。How many days they gonna play? Three days. 再来看一下 NBA 啊。因为因为上局比赛的话，他是提速选择来到了狮城的南边。嗯。呃，虽然说没有接收到一个比较好的圈型，但是整体路线上来说，那对，那么这场比赛对于 NBA 来说，他是接了本局的以及斑马大师的顺位。是。在对面的位置，这个时间点的 NBA 是可以把控住马路另外一侧的。Bro, this is so clear. This is insane. The difference is actually insane. 已经开始向全州进发了，所以选择呢继续的接顺位。嗯，只要能够接住到对方的顺位，那么在阶段三。三分之一的点位也足够。This quality is actually insane, bro. I can see little every single ridge on the map as well. High five. Versus next year. Let's see. NHP lost the two battles against the next year. Let's see if High Five can do any better. Oh, wow! High Five player got knocked and thirsty. Monkey got thirsty. 和 booms， 蹦小圈，就选了 third party。看，他这里是一个小反坡。对，他需要还往前拉近一些，才能够看到这里的战场情况。哦，枪声能够根据枪声判断出来左侧的信息，但是他看不到。这是现在有 Vinny， 难受的一点。Vinny Gupta， thank you for the super chat. How match started too early in Chinese stream? 来，爆杀哥这里，先开一个，再放到一个，很可惜啊，对方的一波。I think it's probably because Chinese stream doesn't really shoot. Doesn't show any like doesn't show any uh interviews. Player interviews. They do a quick. They do Chinese stream. They do a quick break and then go to the next match. I think this is why Chinese stream is like so much faster. I feel like. Let me guess, guys. The global stream. I don't think they started the game. Did they start the game already? Did global stream start the game already, guys? Yo, Vinny, thank you for one gifted member and congratulations, Jakey, for getting the membership from Vinny. Thank you. Eternity. Oh, Nuzi got knocked. By whom? Wait. Alpha Seven is killing people again. 混战没有留恋于分数啊，但是毕竟他们进圈的这个位置还是处于一个强侧的。Why A Seven getting zoned every single time? 可以是没有办法回到后面去帮自己的。Oh, Nova versus Roll of War. 在朝 N V 这个方向展开进攻防线。呃， Order. N V 这里。Oh, Order crushed in the compound himself. Oh, order! Order got knocked. What was that? 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 Okay, I mean Nova still holds a pretty good compound in the circle. Okay.还算可以接受。这个大仓的点位。嗯，毕竟有位置可以去待了。但这不，这一波的最终结果呢，就是因为北部的蝴蝶效应。因为LW在北部一线拉开，然后VP在北部，呃，想要劝架，在进
He said that Parabu got one kill just now. Bro, lucky. Nobody's lucky. STG is like only one. Is like only three men. Wait, no kills. Oh, the cat is the caster high or something? I was about to do the push up. Oh, Rizzi is down. This is from the bomb. 那这样的话 ，S Two 你也被困在了一个小低坡里面啊。这个小凹坑现在看起来的话，也并不是一个很好的位置。那旁边的话，蹦只要是靠近自己的状态，拿一个车过来挡一挡，可以非常舒服的。呃，在 S Two 这边挡一挡的事儿了。蹦在圈中再一次的发起了主动的进攻啊！这直接就想要过来踩在头顶上打了。这是完全没有想到的。积分榜第四名的蹦在上场比赛呢，收获了一局大击过后，这场比赛呃，在阶段二、阶段四都是选择非常主动的进攻。嗯。Falcon ninth place. S two G is 慢节奏进来的嘛，他被蹦放倒了，蹦就直接要干他。这，蹦说，我方圆百米的位置，我不能见到活物啊，对，不能。我准星一打开，我看见你在这走路，我身体难受啊，对，我必须过来清你。但蹦的每一步决策呢，都实现了。对。阶段四马上就要刷新到阶段五。呃，现在 Boom 的话是因为刚才自己非常强有力的拿分啊，嗯，是把北部的这个小凹坑也给全部空下来了。现在他们踩住了圈里最靠中心点的位置，下一个圈大概率也不会被刷走了。这里这里也是一波主动的进攻，大巴大师在倒地过后扶起来，自己又一名选手倒地，双方是有了一个人员的互换。Alpha Seven. Oh, Alpha Seven is gonna third party the fight. I feel like. 消息了，本来全往北部去刷正愁，没有圈点可待呢。现在 A 七可以把这波架劝下来，踩住他们的这个点，作为自己的下一步。Alpha Seven already got a thirst. 完全不着急啊，这波劝架就是温水煮青蛙。嗯，因为你们两队都在圈边，我在高点的位置是可以观察到。Yeah, Alpha Seven is coming. 动向的。是的。已经有一辆车直接贴过来，再进点。但是不能着急进房啊！现在点不清房里面具体的一个动向，需要几个人一起过来。这波集火雷给到了最大的压力，再翻出去就要吃到对方的枪线了。塞拉斯这里是完全没有想到。哇哦 ，seven elms for alpha seven already！ 非常的精准了，在门口的位置那颗手雷炸完过后呢，他呃升到是失聪的一个状态，但是他依然是预判到了。Alpha Seven 有可能会从刚刚呃这个南部的小房区推过来。Oh my God, they're checking every angles too. Bro, Alpha Seven the teamwork is like insane. Literally, the their micro play is actually insane. Like we watched the five matches, but like we like the spectators didn't catch like. 同样，现在 H C 以及 Boom 也都是一个三个人的编制。如果说 A 七这局比赛在自己身边持续发力，找回自己当时那种推边打法，很有可能把今天第一天的比分就来到了一个极为领先的单独一档。现在我觉得七十分档已经是稳这个稳稳了，稳稳的了。嗯，就看是七十几分了。是。Get the kill, get the kill, long, get the kill. 正北部跟 Falcons 有一波交火，而且这个交火呢，其实对于 N V 来说是可以拿到分数的。Ah! He's playing without attachments or what? He did, he did this, I can't really tell guys, is this like a spectator glitch or what? I can't really tell, none of the bullets connect from Lone. Dreamy secured one kill. 露出的话，看一下 NV 能不能接收到这个消息吧。呃，因为现在队伍的数量变得更多了一些，稍微有些小复杂了。孟阳已经顶到了。I'm personal. I'm I'm a little bit confused. I was like, is that like spectator glitch or what, bro? Sara 已经撤退了。I don't know. 撤了。那对于 NV 如果想要去打这波架来说的话 ，Nova getting aggressive. Oh, Nova versus Falcon. 要小心一点啊 ，NV 一定要小心一点，因为对方一旦。Probably a common mirror mark, see through ridge. But how come? How come? How come? Dreamy secured one kill though, because Long Long is literally at the rooftop. 
Oh my god. This Alpha 7? Holy shit. It looks very scary.那我拿一个淘汰也是一分等于刷新过后呢给到了一个同心圆的位置 what is the photo? These players look like so AI generated. I think it's because the lighting is like lighting is very bad. Bro, I feel like Alpha Seven is gonna be their twenty 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 kills chicken man. Mm, 其实会限制到龙跟帕尔博尔以及孟阳会合的。马格瑞林这里道具非常好。哦，龙拿回。Revo。九九的关卡。终于是有了一定的收获。但我觉得这个地方不能久待啊！你既然对对方造成了击倒
What's our heart symbol? That's my heart. 哎，这里受不了了，他直接顶到 bomb 的前点位置。那这波对于恩威来说是一个好消息。两支队伍只要能够在北方区打开，那恩威从北方来的推进就可以展开。That's literally long. This is your time to shine. Dreamy got a mafioso. Oh, Alpha Seven now. Long. Okay, three push-ups. No, no, no. She found one to three push-ups. Okay. Oh, but there's a boom. There are boom players. Paraboy. Oh my God. I'm gonna do four now. Dreamy got knocked. Oh, Frenzy. Uh, I'm not sure. Frenzy is the, the player who got ten kills. Long. Long is reloading. Nice. It's good. It's good. Long got it. Long got it. Five kills. Five kills. Oh. 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 Nice. Seven kills for Nova. The six, six kills. 在找位置，但是 HC 他这里是有圈点的。进来的 demo 一辆车拉了过来，就在这个半坡。HC versus Nova now. 用最快的速度顶到前点，想要给 HC 压力了。而且这个位置是一个很神秘的位置，对方主动干拉。Oh, Pepper got one. And there's it. Seven kills, but got needed. Where's the support? Where's the support for his players? Where's the support for Fireboy? Oh, Rock is moving up. Dreamy. Fireboy is about to get thirsted. Spread out, bro. Don't get naded. HC 那边呢，已经退回到南部的圈边点位，而北部的高点还有 Falcons 的枪线。Long feeling a little bit confident himself, but don't get too aggressive. 来说打了很多的连续作战，但没有机会去舔对方的物资，所以导致 Fireboy 顶到前点没有办法通过手雷悄无声息的去解决对方。Long has zero nades. 自己的位置一旦暴露呢，前点防线一旦被对方击垮，后面的两人将会被圈边的战队无限的去压缩生存空间。嗯，对原威来说，是。小范围之内的连续作战啊！对 ，Miss the music, the P.E.L. classic and a circle music. 往前去压的，因为他感觉到了周围有队伍要来劝架。对，不过好在是顶在前点那个人一直都比较给力，可以给到后面的队友把人给补起来的空间。所以在场面上来说的话，一直能够保持有两杆枪在作战。是的，循环的枪线呢也给到了 N.V. 进入到决赛空间。Welcome, welcome to the live. Welcome. 这场比赛，埃及在拖拉机的这个位置应该是被。Yeah, I think that's that spectator glitch. 锁定住了，知道这里有人。阵型在被不断的压缩，先把对面的再去修理一下啊！哦，一瞬之间呢 ，RC 这边倒地两人 ，Falcons 应该是要向全型的西部发力了。这是太沉迷于的修载去了。经典的位置，肉骨的一波买点是没有想到的，一波对枪，看一下梦瑶，不弹枪，对了，枪赶紧低头，好消息是终于倒了。那今天哦 ，Jimmy， 看 Jimmy， 哦 ，Jimmy got it，Oh my God，one HP， 打赢了，这波快真的非常的不容易。哦 ，zero HP。Dreamy with that clutch. So good. The quick scope DBS is doing wonder in global. RC 这边已经把自己的队员全都扶起来了。那么 ，Falcon 这边能不能够再对 RC 造成击倒？如果有机会的话，那 NV 这边将在决赛圈有一定的机会直接。You versus one, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the ring. Nova, two versus four. Four people are still in the 
Bro, this is so delayed. This is like Paraboy still alive. We're literally watching two streams. Bro, this is so delayed. Like, like even Alpha Seven is still alive with the full squad. Do you guys still watch this? Do you guys? <coughs> Do you guys want to see the translation of like there comes for the last match? Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll translate, I'll translate. Let's see how Nova played this. Dreamy said... Uh, revive, revive. Dreamy said... Uh, no, 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 no. Smoke me, smoke, smoke me first and then revive. We don't have a circle, we don't have a circle. <coughs> Paraboy, there's a guy reviving his teammates behind the truck. Do you guys have meds? Because Paraboy is out of other drinks. Do you guys have a drink Par as by Paraboy? Par you don't have drinks? Paraboy, be careful. There's a guy in front of you. Yes, yes, right there, right there. I, so I saw him, I saw him. Right there, proing, right there, proing. Oh, this is the spray we want to see from Paraboy. Easy knock. Got nades? I knock one there, I knock one there. I'm nading, I'm nading, I'm nading. I knock one, knock one. Oh, dead, oh, dead, oh, dead, oh, dead. Stop on my, stop at my yellow marker, stop at my yellow marker. There's one more, there's one more team, one more team in front of us. One more team. Come, come with me, come with me. I hit him in two, I hit him twice, I hit him twice. Low, play slow. Nice, nice. One more, one more, one more. One revive, one revive. Long said I'm healing. Now they have better comps. They definitely have better comps than the, 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 than the match they got a 1v3. Orange marker has people. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's moving with the cover. He's moving with the cover, coming to us. Nice. I'm reviving, I'm reviving. Parable, you hold it, you hold it. Okay. Paraboy is not talking too much in this match, to be honest. He just said okay. And asked for a match. Help Paraboy, help Paraboy. I got needed, I got needed. Can you smoke? Can you smoke? Can you smoke me? We need to fight this team. We need to fight this team in front of me. One guy behind the jeep. One guy behind the jeep. Be behind the jeep. Behind the jeep. I got him half HP. Move up. Move up. Move up. Did we kill the guy in the jeep? No, 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 no. no. He, he ran back. He ran back. We can play there. We have zone. We have zone. We have zone. Dreamy said that. Dreamy said I'm just gonna stay there and be a snake. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta wipe these 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 teams that left. These guys that left. I think they haven't left. They wanna fight us. They wanna fight us. Listen to me. Listen to me. Play slow. Listen to me. Play, play slow. You guys are not in the rush. You guys are not in rush. Yeah. 
Where are the zone? Where are the zone? We gotta fight left. We gotta fight left. Let's go, let's go. Let's fight left. Let's fight left side. Did they? Did one of them make a knot? In front of me. In front of you. Use, use your shotgun. Use your shotgun. Bro, they're calm. They're, they said nice. It just said net. Nice. They didn't even check like how much HP Dreamy had, bro. Oh, Dreamy is lucky. Dreamy has like a full set of like level three armor and helmet. That's why he didn't get knocked. One, one guy. Try, try to, try see if you can knock people from the left, on the left. I just come, just come, just come, just go and fight them. Just come and fight them. Just go and fight them. I think Dreamy moved too much. Otherwise, he could probably knock the knock the RC player there. They're coming. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good, 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 good. Okay, guys, what the, the funny thing is, and now let's watch the global stream, which is more, which is more delayed. That could be good. Oh, it oh good. my god, what is this? This global right. stream is like, yeah. that one's good though. At least like no, 10 no, minutes delayed, bro. Up to two. Pump it. Oh, he's got the MG3. This could be it for Nova. Here he goes. Oh, mm. but he didn't see the other person there. Beautifully played. Ain't no there. way, bro. Great, delay uh, after delay, bro. Full right. Yeah. And give that Tomorrow, make confidence. sure you guys stay tuned for my stream. We'll we be watching three feet now. Falcon at the same time really in the wide stream. Chinese man. mainstream, Nova Team POV, and then the global stream, bro. We will never miss a single action. Bro, we will never miss a single action tomorrow in my stream. shut that down. Yeah, and with two more on the supporting back lines, IHC <coughs> may have to stop. We are too free, bro. Knock. But if they had four, how, they how, would have how, how many kills did they get? And that could how, be how, enough how, to how push out the two do, players do do? of Nova. We will never know. But Falcons also working with three against Regis. Regis has been playing this very quiet, but they Eight? have been picking up Elim still up to four and potentially sure? looking to take the chicken dinner out as the only four-man team left in the lobby. I think Rejake were forced to kind of turn that aggression off with just a little bit, right? Just try to play smarter because they're come so early tomorrow. Yeah, I'll set up the stream early boys. tomorrow. Oh, they I didn't, I didn't know like they started like now they're gonna have to start chasing They started him, before, before their scheduled time, so Man, that's why I, like, that I, like, I scheduled my stream there. like. And that has just been huge for them. Now they're going to have to rotate most likely in the other direction. That's exactly what Seven, they do. Seven, nine. Out. I don't trust you yeah. guys. Let me see the overall. Falcons timed that rotation really well where it didn't give Please, Chinese stream tomorrow. To, if tomorrow you know, set up the global stream is still like is in a tough spot, but this. still rejects fine. And I mean, the quality seems to work from a poor position. The quality seems and now just some a couple bit, of right? nades, and we may see the Falcons the stream, go out. In the quality, do they improve the a little bottom, bit? Can he, can he see icy there? Just left three stream tire. at a time. There's that tall grass, it's kind of hard to spot. But Sarah's gonna go ahead and throw a smoke out there. Tomorrow, That's kind of a Chinese stream smoke, only. Actually. I don't like that at all. It just eliminates his sight lines completely. Uh, so they're gonna go ahead and get that smoke. I don't know. I don't know the reason for that smoke at all. I don't get it. I think he's trying to isolate the don't tire player. Don't you push up? You got that as for the game. What, Going for the one v two. Quick peeks with the scar L gets so one already. Because they the same point. And just one what left. The shot is yes, coming through. Oh. And the shotgun. Yeah, What's that? The shotgun that is the bit. DPS yeah. from Zero distance. How's he alive? How is he alive? Nova hanging in there literally by a It's thread. literally 1 a.m. for me, Meanwhile, guys. Team Rejects need to start pressing the issue here. They need to start putting some work on the, on the Falcons. Nice knock there on the top. It's going to be huge and divine with this angle. Oh, just absolutely SG, shredding the Falcons. I mean, these yeah, but, global yeah, teams are the all aggressive. Taking out Rejects they with catch up four. To go for it. Especially yep, like with four up against the two players of Nova. Rejects 
looking to get their first big dub and to end the day <coughs> on a very positive note. However, oh, the Nova kind of um, really wants this stuff like too because Nova yeah. has had well, a bad day as well. At the same time. We talked about it, right? We talked about how bad Nova so dude, needed up, to have a comeback sleep. play and for them to get a top two I'll finish is going to be I'll, huge. Can they pull off a miracle though and do a 2v4 for the chicken dinner? Let's see what happens. The reject, so good at aggression. Here comes the pressure, and that's going to be too much for Nova to handle. And it's the Japanese legends coming out with a chicken dinner right when they needed it. Yeah, big win for Rejects. And everything we were wanting to see out of Rejects, I mean, it's like they could almost hear us, right? They started Ooh. playing more and more, you know, consistent, played it a little bit slower, made it into late game with multiple bit. players. And finally, like at the end of the day, they get a win. And Falcons, that wasn't a bad game, but they're here for the championship trophy. They're here to get first place. They're not here to finish top three. And I don't think they're happy with the day at all. Yeah, you could just see it on just top space, right? Just looking up, just disappointed. You all have Wi-Fi tomorrow. Two more days left to go, and, oh, I forgot you mentioned, Grain. Thank you for the yeah, I mean, super it's chat. Not looking good, because they want Trans first Nice translate. Place Thank you, Grain. Thank really you so much bad. for the support. And Alpha 7 Thank you for the $5 so super chat. far ahead. They, they did everything they needed to do here. You could see the stress building on Falcon's face. Same with eh, Nova. They look a little bit better as far as guys. Space. Don't roast but, alone, I mean, please. Nova's don't roast alone on so socials tonight. For the long haul, right? They long is already slow, depressed. So they are not guys. Please stop roasting right long. Let long. Let alone have like right, so a piece of all two days, here, man. and that then we roast there him. From okay. After we were wondering what was happening in the don't first roast, two don't matches roast him, bro. of Aaron Gill, they were able to perform in one, but they just kept getting kind of hot drop, and things were just not going their way. Long, for them long, to yeah, long is, long is great with the chicken dinner. Everyone against makes, Nova makes too. Mistake. Nova, you just mentioned it too. Sute Nova is usually slow. Go roast the FF, bro. Go roast the FS. Not MF. They were looking to come in. Not do right you missed a 10 shotgun bullets on one player, bro. Oh, man, what do you um, think, seven of that match? Right? Roast the FS instead, please. See, Not player missed a 10 points bullets well. on I mean, a guy a with to zero off, HP. No? Yeah, I'm happy to Not see a it. single I'm shot to connect. See it. And then another team that we did get a chance to see there towards the top four is going to be Team Falcons. I mean, Team Falcons is one of those teams. I was wondering when we were going to start seeing those placement points. They started finally showing up in regards to those placement points. And now they look, talking about they look Dukes, exhausted. We Boom Esports there at the end, too, trying to get into those fights. They look trying exhausted. Trying to help out Nova between Alpha 7 and them. I mean, so huge. Boom. FS shotgun is crazy. Right? The last part Bro. of the day, they put up fast and they fast and they shotgun play. The end of this one, reject was in 11th place before this game. FS so should have changed his nice IGN to shotgun dog, to be honest. And that's just gonna boost them up big time. They'll definitely give them that boost that they need, and I'm sure going into. I've seen people miss like three shots, five shots, but I've never seen on them. But you know what? Let's a go guy into who the guy <laughs> missed like <laughs> almost like ten shots, bro. It's over, and I'm here with Sara from Reject, the winner of this map. So we can talk a little bit about this last map, and also about this whole day, our first day of tournament. First, congratulations on your map. You were amazing. And also, I want to ask you, how are you feeling in this first day? Do you have an overview about how you're feeling? Uh, first of all, uh, we are honored to be standing here in the Brazil. And we could hopefully to take a chicken at the final match. Yo, take your yeah, hands so off the mic, uh, Saira. Yeah, lucky. Sarah. The Sarai. Is that Sarai? So, we are so Take your excited. hands off the mic, bro. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, how are you feeling here in Brazil? Because you've been here for a while now, I imagine. So, what do you like the most about the country so far? What do you say? What do you like the most about Brazil? So <laughs> what if he said you? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's so good. And also, he said it's I good. You he should say it's you, bro. Did you feel in this last map? You were in Midamar. Did you feel comfortable in this last map? <laughs> yeah, it was comfortable, and uh, our like strategy was uh, so comfortable to stay calm and communicate each other out well. So it works. She from processes. Thank you so much. I'm doing it for you guys. Thank what are you guys so talking much. about? And I'm literally doing really it for soon. you guys. We have an another interview with the MVP of the day. See you soon and keep tuned.
Sarachi Tista, bro, MVP Sarai of the should now literally she said, what's the best, what's the best thing in Brazil? He should literally say you, bro. From, uh, that's seven, gonna, bro, that's gonna explode in that clip. That clip is gonna explode in. Elimination games? Yeah. Oh, it could be anybody. We saw, we saw that one, uh, you know, top player, Silas. Was up there in number one with 12 <laughs> elimination. Like Alpha Seven, of course, is the easy pick, but all four players. I mean, look right there in these highlights. Look at the elimination. The players are half sleep. It's, like, it's gonna like, be a long day for there's them. There's no standout. Six matches are a lot on Alpha Seven when they win these games. Everybody's picking up kills and eliminations. So it's kind of hard for one player to take. Yeah, all I'm the waiting for the worst the MVP of the day. So it's it's tough. I'm still leaning towards Alpha Seven, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is if it isn't an Alpha Seven player. Yeah. Yeah, you got me thinking with the silence one that there. From I mean, is they, they did slow down a little bit though. Brandon Cario had a bit of a slowdown <laughs> there in the last two matches, especially the first Miramar. That that would be my biggest question mark for Silas, but he was putting up great numbers and then Rose was putting up great numbers you? as well. I mean, it, it can go. Shut up, I think he, he said honest. food or we something. We have had so many good performances so or far. Or he said today. good. Not only just I think he said good. Being able to get those three chicken dinners, we saw Regnum Karia being able to get their chicken dinner at the time, and then boom, a team that was that we're wondering what was happening with them. They just jump up on that leaderboard in the last match, too, and I can't wait to see what that leaderboard is going to be looking like, especially... All right, guys, so match. now we got to choose now. PL back and forth better and or PMGO better? Up on the end of the day because After what we've seen so far. PL better second to last match, and then have another or PMGO better? So, yeah. um, I'm, gonna be interested I'm not to talking about the, uh, too, how these the games, though. Adjust and make changes because I think uh, we definitely saw some things of concern for sure, Zoo. It, it's sh there. There were a lot of things that you know teams need to work on that <laughs> you need to better. improve on, and then there were a lot of things that teams <laughs> did really oh, well. Oh, Revo, the MVP, well, 16 Gio kills. Gio let's uh, go. The performer. He of used the like day, 50 throwables. Is going to be the Alpha Seven player of Revo. Surprise, surprise, surprise to absolutely nobody. Revo 77K with that MVP. Let's go into an interview with him. And I'm happy to have the performer of the day with me. Shoyo is just too beautiful and cute. Is Shoyo versus the the uh, the host, the, the previous host? Which one? Shoyo versus the previous host. Romana Sharma says Shoyo all the way. in more than 1,140 heals. How to maintain that in the next days? Você teve 16 eliminações, fez mais de 2 mil é, de dano nas partidas. Como é que Damn, você vai conseguir hard. manter essa mesma, essa mesma performance nos próximos dias? Acho que o foco é sempre ganhar, porque é o importante. E as kills vêm como consequência, então a gente foca sempre em ganhar. E Viu, a kill é sus. consequência, então eu não foco nisso. He's more focused to uh, keep the, the confidence of the team. He's more focused to keep uh, the great... Uh, performance of the team and kills, eliminations will come as a consequence, <laughs> but he's sure very happy. And what was the talk with the coach and with the team before today? Because you guys had. Do you guys think Alpha Seven can still be the first in place total, tomorrow? Seven one points. Como é que foi a conversa com o coach, com o time antes do dia de hoje começar? Porque vocês tiveram no total de 71 pontos. Foram melhores. Patrick says, "Chifan, I know the name of the female caster. You're lying, Patrick. Unless you share it with us. Otherwise, you're lying. A hundred percent lying." We então, don't trust you, focado, Patrick, unless you share her name in the Instagram, bro. The crowd is very loud here. <laughs> they are very happy. And he basically said that they know they should have come today here very prepared because they are representing Brazil. They are representing Brazil in their own country. So they prepare themselves very well. They have, tr they have practiced for long days. And they came here very prepared. <coughs> and to finish, would you like to dedicate today the today results for someone in a specific? E hoje você gostaria de dedicar sua vitória do dia de hoje, o melhor dia de vocês para alguém ou para sua torcida? Bom, eu dedico a minha mãe, a todos os fãs da Facete, e isso é por vocês. E vamos embora para cima, é igual a Facete.
I would like to dedicate today to my mom and to all the fans of Alpha 7. And I'm here doing my job for you guys to make you all proud. Thanks so much for the interview. Congratulations on the day. And we'll see you guys where is tomorrow where, again. Where, where is Patrick the liar? Patrick the liar. Where did you go? Come with the poo. And I will end my stream. So shout that we all can go back home and do some shout like out right there, especially science me, projects. The biggest Alpha Seven fanboys out there. He said he wanted to. <laughs> Did the show you not travel with them this time? I think show you is, is in hey, Brazil. You know we'll we'll take well. that. We'll take that. Any more uh, Alpha Seven uh, fanboys out there with me? Dukes, Tute, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That, that is gonna be pretty good. That's there, all. Seventy-one points. Seventy-one. Seven and guess what? Yeah, so, like literally double the points of Nova. I'm a nitpick in the first here. game. Okay. Alpha seven. And I apologize. Uh, IHC fifty-one. Wow. I, 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 IHC. That's They're actually a great points, showing man. from all IHC. Considering they have like hard drops back to back in Miramar. And this team's here towards the bottom. They're gonna be looking to turn it around tomorrow. Smoke Gaming today. and the Zebra Masters yeah. surprisingly are not doing yeah, good. I mean, if you want to nitpick, sure. Maybe this lobby is too hard for I them mean, to get the kills. I don't think there's ever been a team to have a what do you guys perfect, think? perfect day. You know, where they get every single. And also, do you guys think DK will hot drop Nova in Pinan tomorrow? The, the fact that Alpha Considering like they basically the lost every single hot drop. Is is know, it? I think DK lost me, every single hot drop today. They've been here before. Let's see if they could keep that running, Jukes. Ooh, I mean, uh, look, we're all hyped for them. You know, his <laughs> mama's proud of him. I mean, Alpha 7, crazy, crazy performance with 71 points. They're so stoked. And I, I guarantee, 7, I know the reason why you said that. The only reason why you said that was because the PMGC. Right? I have trauma. Mm. Oh, Patrick is the GOAT. Patrick the GOAT. I got it. Patrick is the GOAT. Patrick is the is our like team leader for our science project, bro. Good night, everyone. Science project time. See you tomorrow. I won't be late tomorrow, okay? Não se esqueça de participar da nossa hashtag PMGO 2024. Isa, it was very nice to be here with you today. Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you, you so much. You're so talented. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of you watching, you all of the world. Thank you so much for having us here in our Brazilian stream. Thank you so much. And don't forget, this is our first day of tournament. Our first She's day actually of quite famous on IG, We still bro. have a lot of more content and a lot of more action to show in the next few days. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to use the hashtag. She BMW has like 270k on, on IG, so IG can know who you're rooting on Instagram. For the next days. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you to the host for taking care of us there on the stage and taking care of all the interviews and everything going on over there in Brazil. I heard a lot of whistles tomorrow. I want all right, to hear guys. some drums. See you guys tomorrow. Continue Hope on, you on all do your uh, science project yes, fine. Picking, as I mentioned there, I just, I just have a little bit okay. of PTSD. All right, guys. What has happened in the past there with Alpha 7 Hot? Yo, I mean, sense. Sense. shout you know, out to Patrick, the, chat. the clutch the same thing. in the chat. Had that concern that and uh, uh, let's do oh, let's not be able to meet up tomorrow. <laughs> Strong, so I mean, you could have asked for a better start. Let's do a science team, I mean, science stream. Now, nah, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick is the leader. Them. He's what our I project leader. See, Patrick is gonna take the lead, bro. The gas. I don't want to see them say, "Hey, okay, we got a lead. All we gotta do is just get some points." No, no, no. Play the same game you played today and grab. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. Oh, NHP. Well, we'll we'll talk about NHP tomorrow. To okay. I'm very. I'm extremely tired today. You know the points. You know, get. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Heads. Okay. But that's easy. Bye, bye, guys. Done. I've said this before. I'd rather be the second place team. Don't miss my the stream tomorrow, though. though. To chase Even the though place, you know, don't do your science project too late. Otherwise, position, you're gonna miss my stream tomorrow. Second, okay, guys. Third against fourth against <laughs> all the teams. <laughs> Two seventy-three k plus one. Rapid. I see you. I see you. Okay. I see you. All right. They had like three very hungry Mongolian squads going right after them and that was Bro, tomorrow was I'm, I'm, gonna I'm gonna be fresh i'm gonna be very fresh hopefully this time you know being home in brazil okay. that could help them out bye bye guys you're talking about